we've just had the first group of Britain's Next Gem contestants in. Weren't they fantastic? And this Wednesday, we've got the second group coming up. They will be given five minutes each to show us a short demonstration and to give us their top tip. Now, after that, just two from each group will make it through to the second round. So make sure you join us this Wednesday for the second group of Britain's Next Gem. Hello? <laughs> this is very strange. Good morning, lovely jewellery makers. How are we doing? Can you see us? Can you see us? Okay. Oh, you, there we are. There we are. Oh, that was very it didn't strange. Cha it didn't change in our monitor and we thought, well, we're not live yet. <laughs> so this is two of us just <laughs> sat sat there. Go Morning, jewellery makers in Hello. our brand new studio. Oh, it's going to be an exciting day. We've got gorgeous Debbie. Hello. Gorgeous, gorgeous lady. It's a bit crazy today, but all good, isn't it? Very it's exciting. All, it's all good, yeah. It's a new studio. New studio, and we've got some brand new guests that are going to be joining us throughout the course um, of today's show. Of course, Britain's Next Gem contestants are here waiting in the green yeah, room. Yeah, we've met them, and they all look really, really excited. They do. They? Well, I hope so. I hope they're excited. They so are. we're going to be introducing them um, through the stages. Uh, through the stages um, of the show um, and yes it might it, uh, yeah it's, it's all new isn't it so <laughs> well we get used to everything now let me just tell you quickly what the layout of the show is eight o'clock as always it's going to be your last of stock opportunities you know um, ones and twos maybe a few more but and of course your early bird which I'm going to show you actually here's your early bird so you can actually shop ahead on these did you want me Ross to do this uh, yeah all good all good and it just know we're very much uh, time restraints today so these are your early birds beautiful silver plated clasp so you can shop ahead on these lovely jewelry makers oh, they lovely. are um yeah they are beautiful aren't they make a difference to your jewelry Definitely. so you can shop ahead on these we've got big quantity of them um but have a look on our website all the w's at jewelrymaker.com um and if you scroll down after you've clicked watch live that is scroll down and you'll see all the beautiful goodies that we are actually bringing to you in this morning's show now um yes we're i can reference the website so i can show you that website um, we're going to be starting the nine o'clock hour a little bit earlier this morning because, like I said, we've got some very special guests. Yeah, I'm speaking of special guests. Hello. Hello. Hi. We're getting used to this, aren't we? I don't know no, where I to know, look. I know, I know. So, uh, yeah, we'll get used to it. That Anything could happen today, guys. I don't have a mic, so I'll shout. Okay. Um, we were up quite late trying to make Bless this happen. You. So we've, we've got it here. Um, there's still quite a bit still to be done. However, Jewelrymaker has a new home. Yay! But for both of you, this isn't new, is it? Because this no. is like Studio 2? I feel like I've gone back 10 years. Yes. So when the workshop room used to be there. Yeah, it and did. And then we had a camera through it. it yes, was, it yeah. was, wasn't it? It was, yeah, there. was there. The glory days? The glory days, absolutely. The glory days are back, Al. We're yeah. back in this studio. Yeah, yeah I'm really happy. Um, yeah, no, we're really excited about it. So uh, if you, I, I did a little statement that's very professional. Oh, I like it, statement? yeah. I don't like it anyway. I'm trying to make myself more professional. <laughs> um, essentially, next door, we were sharing. Yes. And we were. there was a bit of frustrations about sharing. Mm. We love Hobby Maker, but it's it sometimes it's there's there's quite a lot going on. It's yeah. a bit distracting sometimes. It's a little bit distracting, yes. isn't yes. it? It's a little bit hard. So we're going to make this space our own. Jewelry Maker's going to make this space its own, and um, it could mean more hours. It could be more content. It could mean the return of tutorials, DVDs, who knows what? Because after one o'clock, the studio's free, so we can carry on. I love this. Who That's knows? I'm not, I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no, I'm just saying... How exciting exactly. though. There is, yeah, that's exciting, mm. Scott. So we'll get used to it. There'll be teething issues today. Yes. But we'll get used to it. it because to us, it feels like we're, we're, we're showing Britain's Next Gem. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah, it's very it's, off yeah, it's, It is, but we'll get there. Um, well, and I don't even know. It's like, do I look at that camera? Do I look at that camera? We'll, I'm, I'm going to, we'll, we'll get there. We'll See figure it out. I think, I think we're live. We're live, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so fantastic. So. Well, Scott. Scott Stone, our managing director here at Jewelry Maker. Um, absolutely exciting times on the horizon. Absolutely. Fabulous. Um, 
Maybe if we look up, what's the <laughs> It is off putting, isn't it? Yeah. I was only saying this to the our contestants outside, wasn't I? I was like, we didn't have a screen and you didn't know where to look just because that one screen wasn't visible to us. Yeah. So but apparently we are live. It's very, to us, yeah. we're just looking like the, at the Britain's Next Gem logo. Yeah, we can't. It doesn't seem like we're live. Anyway, we are. We definitely, definitely are. We are. There's lots of people. There's a little hive of activity. Like I said, we've got Britain's Next Gem contestants who were lovely and I had the privilege of meeting on their first um, trip here. Yeah, which is amazing. Fabulous. So they're going to be joining us during the studio, both in the 9 o'clock hour and also in the 12 o'clock hour. And they've got some nice little makes. Um, we've got some tools to give them so they can busy busy themselves with that. And um, you've got fabulous kits as well, haven't you? Oh, oh my goodness, Debbie. Oh. I know, I saw it on your social media. Just lucite flowers, which I've been making since I first started making jewellery back in the day, you know, when I was young. Um, I've got lucite makes at home. I just absolutely love flower makes. You know, if you know anything about my work, you know that. So when I got this, I did a little dance. <laughs> and you get so many in the colours. Oh my goodness, there's just loads. You get three layers, effectively. There's so much you can do. Uh, your deal of the day today as well, I'm very excited about, we just grab my tweezers, because um, I don't think we've done anything like this before. So it's in sterling silver, and um, it can be either connected, it could be a pendant, it could be, you could use, use it as a clasp if you wanted to. Is it Look a hand? at the Yes, it is. Now, this will be given to the contestants to work with as well. That's very designer. Very, very designer. Yes, fun, funny you should reference that. I was uh, looking at other designers last night. I have a bracelet that has um, a brass plated mm -hmm. uh, hand, or two hands on it, and it was a gift and it cost over £100. Well, there you go. There you go. Sterling silver, that's coming up at 10 o'clock today as your deal of the day. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shall. <laughs> very offered okay um shall we get cracking shall we start with a beautiful oh and yes 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 this is a minor detail that i totally forgot free postage and packaging today as well Yay. is it yeah oh that's amazing it's all going on today debit We've got to, there you go. Yay, we've got to we're live. All day. <laughs> yeah, we can see. Like you scarred, sorted out. We can see ourselves now. And it, it sounds so egotistical, but it does make a difference to know what we're looking at. I feel like when I can see that I'm talking to all our lovely viewers, yes. but when it's blank, I feel like I can't see them. No, Is that I, weird? Yeah, no, I totally agree. With you. <laughs> totally agree. Right then, let's get this uh, this show well and truly On underway because it is going to be amazing. Right, starting with the sterling silver twisted oval jump ring. Oh, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, it could be a connector, it could be a pendant, it can be um, something maybe that you alter to a shank. It's up to you. Um, keep as always. Always get your messages in. Hopefully, we'll be able to get our messages into the studio <laughs> um, because we love a thoroughly interactive show, as you all know. Um, in fact, hello, there's one good morning, gorgeous ladies and fabulous crew. Happy new studio Yay. day! Love, love, love the potential of more hours. I knew you'd love that. I knew you would love that. I know it's very exciting times for jewelry maker. It's very exciting because it, it's reminiscent of old school jewelry maker. Yeah, and there's a lot of things in the pipeline, exciting things the pipeline as well so it's an exciting time i think for jewelry oh, maker do you definitely it's all good it's all good at jewelry maker it's all good we got our own studio yeah amazing look at this six pounds and 99 pence only it's solid sterling silver you know you could literally just put that on a on, on a ring mandrel or a, and turn it into a oh yeah you absolutely could that's a really good idea it's lovely as a connector you know if you're going to say do um, asymmetrical design and just attach pearls to both sides did you say asymmetrical yeah oh okay why <laughs> it's just a different way of saying it why'd you say I, asymmetrical i would have said asymmetrical i like that i like i like your version um next price crash <laughs> Next price. Asymm crash. I'm going to say asymmetric. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you trying to trip me up, or is that actually how you say it? <laughs> Four pounds and ninety-nine pence. We're going again, though, says Roscoe. It's going to be one of those days, jewelry makers, where it's all just a bit crazy, but you know, in the best possible way. You could do something asymmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Are you asymmetrical or are you asymmetrical? Um, <laughs> 4 99 we're going even lower. Have we got quantity then, Roscoe? 
55 Ooh. available. Hello, everybody, by the way. Hello to our lovely crew. It's all new for everyone today. Ross has got a new desk. Adam's <laughs> got to figure out which button does what. I know. Apparently, we've got sound effects now, which I'm quite excited about. Do we? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't know Ross. Ross doesn't know how to use it yet, though, so it's all Ooh, good. I know, we don't effects. know what these sound effects are. It could be the most random things, couldn't it? <laughs> um, in 47 seconds, we're taking it to your early bird price tag. Keep those messages coming through. It's a new studio day, and it's also Britain's next gem. All that squeezed into five hours. Make sure you are. Yeah. By the way, the new contestants will be coming in before nine o'clock. So. We're going to try and get them in before that because we want to make sure that they get um, enough time, obviously, on air. So, in fact, you know what? Just stay with us for the duration. Yeah. You know, make yourself comfy. Um, where am I looking for names? I can't... <laughs> haven't got that yet. Okay. No problem. No problem. Um, we'll sort it. Like I said, it's all teething. All these teething things will eventually iron out. Probably in the first five hours, so that's good. That's good, isn't it? That's for you, my lovely. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, Debbie's just passing me some really beautiful... Ooh. Is that... Is that... I'm going to even say... It's for later. Right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show that a little bit later on then, shall we? Uh, 3 99 only, everybody. Is it? And no posters and packaging. No post and packaging all day? I didn't know about the no post and packaging. That's very, very good. I isn't did, it? but I feel like my brain can only retain so much information. And, and Ross <laughs> sent me the longest WhatsApp message last night that he's ever sent me. Didn't you, Roscoe? <laughs> Normally it's like, you know, there's this tomorrow, well, there's that tomorrow, well, mm -hmm. all good. Uh -huh. You know, and it was honestly, it was pages. Pages in a WhatsApp. He was super organised as Ross. Yeah, on the ball. Um, 3 99 you know what to do. We have 50 of them. I can't see your names as of yet. We haven't got that screen just yet, but I'm sure we will sort it all out. Um, make sure you check it out. And again, shop ahead on your early bird as well. Sorry, I, I just see our MD walk across this. That's the thing we can see up there now. We can. Because sometimes you can't see it in the old studio, could you? Couldn't no, see that's above. true. Um, Okay, yeah, we can see it just about. There, yeah, there's names there, which is nice, which is very nice. Um, Liam walks past, what's going on, he says, what's going on? Um, well done, have I got what? An highlight, I do, I do. I have, is that the strand that was just give, given to me? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I, I was gonna really say highlight. Too. Highlight or kyanite, one of the two. I love uh, the color of this. We don't see it very often, no. do we? Love a bit of highlight. It's that indigo denim blue. Um, good morning to you, Joe in Hampshire. Good morning, lovely ladies. Um, are you in the new studio and are the hours increasing? Oh, well, yes, we are in the new studio. We are. It's not quite finished yet, bless them. The team were up until half past 12 yeah. last night and in very early this morning. Um, so, for example, I know we're going to have some sort of posh panelling there, posh panelling there, big monitor and everything. So it's still still to be complete. Do you want to have a look at the designers area though? Because that looks amazing. Look at that. Look at how lovely that is. That's lovely. Um, so yes, yes we are in the new studio and, uh, and Scott did just say there's a possibility of new hours because there's nobody following us at one o'clock now. Ooh. Ooh, so we shall see. I don't know. He didn't say yes, he didn't say no. He said it's a possibility. Um, for beautiful Iolite, this wonderful deep blue. Stunning, isn't it? it don't is. see it very often. 9.99. Ooh. That's an incredible price tag, is it? Mate? Yeah, because I think that's something that you don't have in your stash necessarily. Or if you did, you had one strand and you used it. Yeah. yeah out of your blues. Well, blue is probably one of the most frequent colours of a gemstone and the highlight is actually probably one of the most seldom out of those blues isn't it? I agree. Um, highly pleochroic. Let's put a 60 second clock onto your screen. We're under £10 but we are going lower. Um, amazing. <laughs> this is going to test us today isn't it? I think so There's a we can do it. We can do it. We, we are professional. We yes. are professional women. Yes. And what? And when we're, prof we're, we're girl power, <laughs> and the fact that I hesitated there speaks volumes, doesn't it? Um, Nine ninety nine, but we're going even lower. How many do we have, Roscoe? Tw exactly twenty on the nose. Genuinely, I can't remember the last time I brought eye light to wear. It's very, very infrequent. 
My daughter went rummaging in my studio the other day because she just finds drawing and goes, I go, that's nice. She goes, I found it in the studio. And it was Iolite and it was Nuggets. And I said, that's Iolite, you know. You don't see that for often. And that was only yesterday. So that's a bit of a coincidence. Oh, that's weird. It's weird, isn't that it? That is weird. Mm. I believe in all that, though. Well, yeah, because I honestly, I don't have that much Iolite because as you say, yeah. you know, and it must have been something I'd made for a show years ago and she found it. Oh, well, there we go. It was meant to be on today's show. She's then. loving it. It's round her it wrist. It is beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. Well, six seconds. We're taking it even lower. We've only got 20, so you're going to have to be quite quick. Uh, checking out your baskets, everyone. Good luck. Free post and packaging all day as well to celebrate the move. Um, when I say move, we've probably moved about, I don't know, yeah, probably inches, yeah, in actual fact, because our old studio is just there. That's us, <laughs> just there. But it does mean that this is jewellery maker space. Yeah. £6.99 and pence only. Well done, everybody already checking out. Um, and keep those messages coming through. I went for a little trip to uh, had a wander around our local shopping centre yesterday. My husband and I just had to pop nice. into town and bumped into a few jewellery maker customers. Did you? I love it when that happens. Yeah, me too. It's nice, isn't and it? And then people are with me always go, oh, do you know them? And I go, no, but yes. No, but yes. Yeah. And they go, but you seem like you've known them for years. Sorry, I meant to say that discreetly, aren't I? So I've just been off. I've just been offered a coffee by our lovely head of TV, <laughs> Chloe Jones. And I'm like that. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want one, Deb? Oh yes, please. Do you want, do you want a Golden Arches coffee? Oh what? Oh, oh yes. Could I have a? <laughs> yes. So it begins with C. Yes, please. Cappuccino, please. Cappuccino, be lovely. Please. Lovely. Oh, thank you, Chloe. Well, she's lovely That's to us very today. Kind. I know, very nice. <laughs> I, I, it's going to be a slightly different show, I feel. I'm getting those vibes. But we're settling in, aren't we? We are bedding I mean, we're, in. We're getting our, our jewelry maker energy in here. Bedding in, yeah, absolutely. I love it. I feel like it's the beginning of exciting new things. I genuinely, I feel, I'm quite a nostalgic person. Me I think too. it's really nostalgic, this studio. I have to say, Ross, this is probably your first time ever in these studios, isn't it? This is where you had your first ever oh, in wow. interview. For Rocks America and Adam Tyers was interviewing. Not interviewing. He was direct, he was directing. He was directed. Do you know, I feel like it was meant to be. I feel like we were all meant to be in this room then. I really loved the old studio where you could see the people doing the workshops and they yeah. used to come in and yeah. used to meet them and I used to love nice. that. Was nice. Well done everybody, congratulations. Shall we do a big mega deal? Oh, the Burmese honey jade out before Wayne. <laughs> Because Wayne's going to be in, isn't he? He's going to be in the gallery, in the gallery, isn't he? Ooh. Hang on. Oh, here. Sorry, I picked up the wrong one. Here we go. Should we do a little manager special before uh, sales manager Wayne steps in? Um, so after our show on what day was it? It was it Sunday that show, yeah. And sorry, Saturday it was. And we did like a, a manager special deal, and um, Ross basically overrid Wayne's. Price point. Um, apparently, they had a very lengthy telephone conversation. And how did that telephone conversation go? Naughty boy. Naughty, <laughs> naughty, naughty boy. Um, anyway, what we are looking at here. <laughs> There are only six left for whatever reason. Maybe somebody didn't check out their baskets, whichever it might have been. It was a massive closeout deal on, without doubt, I think some might say the rarest gemstone that we currently have within our entire vault. Um, this is type A jadeite. It's in your absolutely beautiful, natural honey color that, as we know, comes under the red umbrella, um, which means that it only achieves this color saturation if, and it is a, a big if, um, it actually oxidizes now we have six left we can't have six left we need to make this the perfect crime so that Wayne doesn't know about it and we need to do it before Wayne sets foot into the into the building so he's not here yet is he no that's all right then that's all good so usually we might talk about it throughout the course of the hour and then play at the top of the hour, but we, we're we not because we just want to be sneaky and get it in before Wayne's here. Um, it was a major closeout deal, lovely jewellery makers. 
Good luck, everyone. Six left. So if you maybe you thought, oh, I was one of those people and I forgot to check out my basket. We took it to a massive, massive brand new low price tag. Um, remember what we always say about both your red and your yellow jadeite. We are not buying any more. We have been given the opportunity. However, it is type B grade, so heat treated or polymer impregnated. And the price tag is higher. So, yeah. you know, when we keep saying these days of prices like this even, they are behind us. We genuinely, genuinely mean it. Make hay while the sun shines. That's what I always say about type A jade. I agree. It's not going to be around, is it? No, 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 absolutely. The window of opportunity is pretty much shut. Um, so tell you what, jewelry makers, let's show you just how good that deal is. Okay. Two, what's that? Two hundred ninety nine pounds. More, absolutely, Russ is saying I think that's more than fair for the rarity that is. Mm. Jadeite, type A word. jadeite. Mm. Let's take £100 off that price tag. And I'll tell you that's still not the manager's special deal. We did something very rebellious. And we need to make sure there isn't a single one of these strands remaining. Um, I, we cannot, categorically, we cannot buy it for what you are looking at right now. We cannot buy this for, the, type A grade. We can buy, no, I was going about to say we can buy type uh, B and C, but we probably can't. It might well be the last strand of yellow jadeite that you ever see on our screens. We can get it, but it's more expensive, and that's the difference. We will, and it's also not natural. And, and this is the battle that we come up against here at Jewelry Maker. We'll have customers say, "Hang on a minute. Last year you sold it for X amount." We're like, "Yeah, but we always tell you about the price increase." Yeah. You know that's why we always say that we aren't exempt to that either. No. I think the word that rarity. You know, and I always say this, I compare it to Tanzanite when we had it on almost yeah. every show and people were like, oh, wow, you know, we're always going to be able to get it. And how often do we see Tanzanite oh, now? Once in a blue moon. You know, and it's, I feel like it's going to be the same with Jade. And I've also got some pearls in the past that we don't do anymore. So, yeah, you know, I feel like if you love it, you have to get it. Oh, well, Richard Wise said that word, said those words. No, see something it. you love, if you can afford it, get it. Now, we are playing this now to get rid of it before Wayne steps foot <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> We have six left, but we need to see six of you in with it in your basket. If you want us to match that Saturday deal, then we need to justify this price track. You don't have to check out as of yet. Just show Roscoe that you are there. Um, so we're going to put another 60 seconds. We need two more of you to add it to your basket. And then Ross has got that. But I don't know. It's like a secret code almost in, jewelry, in shopping TV. Two more people on the website. He can justify that price drop. We will match it. Saturday's deal. We expected it to be an on-screen sellout Saturday, and it was. But for whatever reason, a couple have bounced back into stock, giving you a second opportunity. I need one more person to add it to their baskets or pick up the phone lines, even if you don't press your option one as of yet. Just so we can justify this manager special deal. And we need to do it before Wayne comes here. <laughs> if anything, because there's only six, it should be a higher price tag, shouldn't it? And moving forward, we can't get natural type A yellow jadeite. We've said that. Well, we can, but it's astronomically expensive. A little bit, look, we're more likely to, we can get imperial green. We can get imperial green, but it's not gonna be within most people's budgets, myself absolutely included. Okay, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Are you ready? Good luck. Take advantage of this deal. It's a lowest ever price tag. The price per carat is insane, says producer Ross. Oh. Well, you know, Ross, you're not wrong. He says it's like, like I ignore everything that you say. <laughs> you probably do. <laughs> you probably do. That's a pound per carat for one of the rarest of all colours. I mean, seriously, we've got the most beautiful clasps coming up a little bit later oh, on in the show. That, what a lovely piece that would be. Yeah, amazing. Really that has to be one of the lowest prices we've ever done on Type A Yellow Jade. Has to be. Brand new low, but I only had six. Um, what's the split payment? I can't quite see from here. Five way split pay, which is amazing. Um, obviously, 0% interest and no postage and packaging, which is oh, fantastic. Yeah, of course. Let's not forget that. £28 on your split payment. Oh, look at what's that? Use code Studio PMP. There you go. That's your code to get your free postage and packaging. 
Amazing! I've just been looking at that and haven't read it. The whole time that pink, that pink at the bottom of the screen. That I is, just heard free P and P. I did. But I think free P and P makes a difference. It does. It yeah. absolutely does. When you consider that some channels actually, um, oh, some it's not some channels, some shopping. Uh, networks actually charge per item. Mariska, I could see you there. There's a few. Uh, sorry, um, the name. I can't see your names all the time. So this deal will disappear. Um, you need to be checking them out. Alan, you've got yours. I've got Venetia, Maker, Maker, Mariska, Sharon, Susan, uh, Mary, Lynette, and there's a couple of you that disappear below the graphics. So I can't see your names. But there's a few of you there. Uh, there's only four of them left. So good luck. You've got what? Just over half an hour to make your confirmations. A pound per carrot for type A yellow jade eye is just, we all know that's ridiculous, don't we? It is amazing. That's really good. If you're wanting to get, the, look oh, at that. I love that. the colours. It's so beautiful. It is a lovely colour. It, it is proper autumnal colours, isn't it? It really is. And I'm so in that vibe at the moment, that autumnal Me vibe. too. Me too. It is a one-off a one -off deal, though. We launched it on Saturday, took it to a brand new lowest ever price tag feeling all brave because you know the <laughs> management weren't here and then today we're like oh let's do it again we're gonna do it before <laughs> Wayne comes in um well done well done Venetia Mariska Sh Susan Sharon Mary Lynette you can take this opportunity um and believe me it's an opportunity we've been completely upfront and transparent about and said look we will never ever ever be able to purchase it never say never i suppose but it, we're not going to be able to buy it at the prices that you've seen previously wayne agreed by the way pre-saturday show that you could take it uh, ross could take it to 179 however this was the conversation you can imagine how the conversation went ross overrid him <laughs> i like that ross Every so often you show that rebellious side Go to Ross. yourself. Yeah, Ross. <laughs> I like it. We only have four of them left. Is that still the case? Only four of them left within the studio. Two now, two. £28 on your split payment. I'll say it as I always do. Do you think we are ever going to regret our type A Jade Light purchases? And you know, a really important thing for me is that I can trust JM. I can trust Gemporia. Yes. Um, you know, and I've looked at other places sometimes and thought that doesn't even look like what I, I know it looks no, like. Exactly. I, I've got that trust here and I know where it comes from. And yep. that I think that goes a long way. It does. And the fact that it's all the Gem Lab certified as well, which is invaluable. Exactly. Um, you don't get those kind of. Uh, that peace of mind on every single platform hello lovely natalie saying good luck today in your gorgeous new studio um and to all our oh, britain's next gem contestants lovely natalie that's your last winner britain's next gems winner 20 22 yeah yes oh, lovely how nice is that how nice is that? That is really nice. Bless she, you, Natalie. So Natalie will know exactly what they're feeling at this moment, Absolutely. won't you, Natalie? <laughs> Absolutely. The nerves and excitement all bubbling and brewing into The first one. time I did a screen test for a shopping channel, um, I was so shaky that I thought, if they leave the room, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah I've just, I won't say who, but the first time I did a screen test, and, and bearing in mind, I didn't, I didn't want to be a presenter. <laughs> I love it now, don't yeah, get me yeah, wrong, yeah. but I didn't actually want to be a presenter. And I, I won't say who it was, but there was somebody in my ear who didn't... Oh, I word this really carefully. Let's just say it was trying to put me off, and it was like, what's the price of bread, Al? Well, I'm meant to be talking. What's the price of bread, bread Al? How much is milk, Al? And, like, talking oh, about these... Oh, to the ear. Yeah, so it's re it, is, it is a learning curve. Do you know we who... haven't got anybody that would do that to you oh, now. Oh, God, no. Do you know who did my screen test all those years ago? Dave Bradford. Oh really? And he was there so lovely, go. put me at my ease straight away. Bless That's him. That's how long I've known nice Dave. Dave. <laughs> He's known him nice for chap. years. Um, well done. Have they sold out, Roscoe? One left. There's one, one. left on your Type A Jade. Eye. It's got our name on it. That has. It's totally got our name on it. Um, I certainly do have some amazing pearls. Oh my goodness. I shall never tire of looking at jewellery maker pearls. Me neither. Oh. We, we do this so well. We really do. And I love this strand because you've got the different shapes, the different sizes. So I mean, if you I. look at that end, I love this. That's stunning. I love to see, you know, the variation of sizes and shapes. Now, these are natural purple, metallic pearls. Oh, wow. The colour is absolutely stunning. Look at those, they're so beautiful. 
they're stunning, aren't they? I would literally just knot these and put them on a nice clasp. I put them on your deal of the day clasp. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, I love a large organic shaped pearl. Yeah. I, I just, they're my favourites. And to have this gorgeous colour on oh there as well. Oh my goodness, and that's natural. Look at how vibrant that purple is. Oh, totally and utterly natural. Stunning. Now we're going to do another massive close out deal, jewellery makers. Not this. Um, treat yourself to a nice clasp of choice whether you go 925 sterling silver or whether you go for the gold when I see pearls of this rarity and they are astonishingly rare we all know the pearl harvest was ma massively affected during Covid so it's mm -hmm. going to take quite a few years to actually recover from yeah. that um, even at £499 I mean think back to Yoko of London which I've shown you in the past haven't I which bring you natural purple metallic pearls like this they might be round doesn't really make any difference that's eye of the beholder um, and it's like 20 odd grand you know the the price of pearls has absolutely skyrocketed absolutely skyrocketed look at how beautiful this is for me not it put it on nice I'm, I'm feeling rose gold vibes oh yeah what do you reckon yeah I think rose gold would give it that real vintage kind of look mm. which is really beautiful because it you know you look at it you think well does that come from the 50s is it vintage yeah. is it new nice you can do whatever you want with pearls these days because you can work them to your style yeah and we've really embraced your more organic shapes like this yeah, haven't I we your baroques your because yeah. once upon a time they used to be discarded yeah I know thrown back into the sea I wish I knew I'd have been there with a bucket. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Give it to me. Let's do a huge close out deal. I can't believe I'm saying this with luxury pearls. How many do we have then, Ross? Three. There's oh. only three available within the vault. Okay. What's that? £245. Oh, Sorry. I, am I seeing that right? So it, it's so far away, I'm struggling. So if I pull this expression, that's why I'm just trying to read <laughs> one pound. My £61. And 25 pence only on That's, a split payment. What a gorgeous gift for somebody. Or oh, if lovely. you're going to make jewellery for them or if you're, they're a jewellery maker and you're going to gift them a beautiful strand or for a special birthday mm. or special Christmas present. How lovely. Yeah, stunning. Absolutely stunning. And we're at 245, which are for pearls of this scale and size. Um, they go upwards to what's it? Ten, the measurements ten and a half to thirteen millimeter, yeah. which is colossal for a cultured pearl. They're sizable, aren't they? Yeah, um, amazing. Um, well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Have I got what? Sorry, I do. This is lovely. Oh, it's playful. If I'm not shouting out your names, I'm sorry about that. We know you are there. Um, just say hello to you all. Um, we'll get all these little teething problems ironed out. Now I've got seventy of these available. A mixture. It's like a pick a mix of all your favourite gemstones. Yeah. I love it too. It's very Masoma. Masoma are all yeah. about the multi gems, aren't yeah. they? You could do a multi, um, yeah, or you're Ashley Clark, you do like a, a, a multi gem biography bracelet. Masoma quite often do sort of simple yes. tennis style necklaces with a few of your uh, space of beads yep. dotted in between, which we've had recently, haven't we? Yep. Um, now we've got quantity of these. Um, what's, you know, multiple gems it is like a little pick a mix isn't it you've got in here let's have a little look see if i can recognize some lemon quartz you've got some beautiful ruby you've got some carnelian you've got some spinel some sapphires lapis lazuli amethyst quartzites um should we show you how good a deal this is going to be now ross says i think a very good jewelry maker price tag would be 20 pounds yeah i agree yeah. I think that's very fair. You've also got to think about the whole geography of this. How many different locations around the world we've had to travel to to source all these gemstones. True. You know, rack up some air miles then, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would. And you're getting loads of gemstones in one strand, whereas imagine how much it would cost to buy a strand of each. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a really good point, actually, isn't it? Now, so if I said 19.99, amazing jewelry maker deal, but what about 14.99? Would that be fabulous? Yes. How about our first price crash? 70 available. Nine pounds and 99 pence, and that's our first price crash. 60 second clock is ticking away. Is this a deal of the day or something? Because it's amazing. Well, if we had the quantity, then I would say yes. Um, now it's been on air once and for whatever reason it's been overlooked up until now look you've got you've got here look ruby 
Lapis Lazuli. These ones, Carnelian, yeah. Cut amazing. Lapis Lazuli. I've got some uh, Aquamarine in here. You've got some beautiful, I'm going to say they're Quartzite. Hessonite Garnet. Amazonite just there. Amethyst just here. you got some Amazonite there. Uh, let me see. Oh, you got a bit of Pyrite just there, which is nice. We don't really, really see Pyrite very often. Some of your Tourmalines as well. Look at the quality, the selection, the sheer volume and selection within this amazing strand. And it is very positive, isn't it? It's, mm. a, it's a really positive, vibrant, uplifting strand. We're starting at 9.99. The clock has, t uh, has, has struck zero, which means we're taking it even lower. What Ooh. was that? Our studio is very positive. Oh, very excited about the move. We are. Very, very excited about the move. And it's like jewelry maker space. It's our space. You know, we love our friend, our dear colleagues over on Hobby Maker. Um, <laughs> we love them, but they are very, very, very noisy. <laughs> it's like it's like having um, who was it who said it was like having um, siblings and they love each other, but then they, it's time to get their own room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was that time. It was that time. Just to, yeah. So we were like, and this is our space, and you know, like you heard Scott say, you never know what that might mean in terms of hours here at Jewelry Maker. Ooh. Seven ninety nine. We had seventy available. That's amazing. It's not our price. Oh, I told you, says Ross. I told you. I don't know why it hasn't been brought to air again. Maybe it got lost in the vault. Probably. I mean, we have got many and many a strands of beautiful gemstones. I feel. Well, it should have been. It, this would have been sold out if it had seen a, a second airing. 100%. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, is, is that not the price? No, we're going to go even lower. And Ooh. I think we'll probably use the excuse of a new studio, Britain's Next Gem, you yeah, know. Yeah. We'll use that free potion packaging. All of this is great excuses, Any isn't excuse it, for us? <laughs> Any excuse just to do some really naughty prices. Amazing. We've got a Golden Arches coffee on the way. It's all good. It is all good today. They're spoiling us. Great today. day to be in the jewelry maker studio. Very good day. Um, we're going lower jewelry makers. Keep your messages coming through. Free post and packaging all day, but make sure you use your code Studio P and P. There you go. Um, on your checkout, as so it makes it free all day. I know that's so good. It's so designer, as you said. You can make yeah. some really um, on trend designs. Just a couple of spacer beads I'd dot in between there. So would I, and just put a, maybe a nice um, toggle clasp. Yep. Yeah. Lovely. I nearly forgot what it was called then. A toggle. I was going to do an I interpretive Well, you've been, upset. <laughs> you've been up since early hours, haven't you? Yeah, but you? that's not boding well for the day, is it? It's only 20 to. Nine. It's all right, I'll keep you going, Dad. Will okay. you? Yeah, I promise. As soon as the cat I'll, I'll, just, I'll just give you a kick under the table. <laughs> Damn it. Go. Yeah. 6 .99 only. Well done, everybody. We had 70 available. Um, again, if I'm not shouting out your names, we haven't got a call screen yet, but it's all good. We know you're there. There are loads of people there. It's, you're flying out, apparently. It feels quite lonesome not being able to see our viewers. Can we get a call screen? I can there, yeah. I can, I can. It is busy. No, I know this is, I know the first day and everything. That's all good. But I definitely think that needs to be something we need to rectify. Have you? Okay. Adam's on it. Bless him. He's on the case. Um, uh, Hayley, Kathy, Zoe, Nikki, hello to Maker. I can't see all your names because there's graphics there. But I know Christine, Pauline, Jay Marie, Manchester, Hayley, Susan, Wendy's, Lindsay, just a few names. If you do want twos and threes, like I can see in some of your baskets, then make sure you check them out. Free post and packaging all day. Um, amazing. And everybody pays that final low price tag. Keep those messages into the studio. Um, are you excited about the Britain's Next Gem contestants who are in the wings? Are they making as we speak? Not yet, just chilling, have a nice coffee, lovely. Do you know what we should have, Ross? Do you know, like, is it on, um, um, what's his name, Ross? Jonathan Ross show, and they have the green room and you've got oh, like, yeah. a camera in there. Yeah, and you could talk to them. You might, I think we need one of them. I can be the roving reporter. <laughs> yeah, I think we need one of those cameras. <laughs> we do. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Um, OK, up next. OK, a level of luxury. This has been requested a few times. We're going to do it in one price crash, Ross says, because it is ridiculous. You know, I, how many times have you heard me say the biggest pearls are um, in the world are your 
Akoya. I have to say Akoya first because they were the first mm -hmm. of your cultured pearls. So they're Japanese pearls. Um, your South Sea and your Tahitian. Well, you're ticking two of that three, those three boxes in this strand. It's a stunning ombre. So from the west coast of Australia um, to your Tahitian pearls, these are totally and utterly natural and they are insane absolutely insane oh my goodness. um i mean to say that you own south sea pearls to say that you own tahitian yeah. pearls you know both of those locations really is you know an, an incredible incredible achievement because this is the kind of pearls that i never in my wildest dreams ever thought that i would own and it is true what they say um they do sing to your tahitian pearls they really i mean just to say like you you say that you own exactly even one exactly exactly i remember the first time that jewelry maker had a tishan pearl and we were like oh my goodness mate this is and and, and that's that was right we still feel those same ways um so yes these are probably two of the most pampered mollusks in the world <laughs> um and they are very much looked after they are quite literally on a daily basis pivoted so that they form the most beautiful pearls they dive down wow. and they'll actually orientate the uh, um the mollusk to hopefully produce a pearl they don't know there's a it's not a guarantee no, that there's no. a pearl inside any barnacles that maybe have sort of nestled on the uh, mollusks themselves are actually chipped up so your the bivalves can filter nicely um happy happy mollusks make happy pearls luxury pearls like this we've done it in what we're going to do it in one price crash jewelry makers um have we got many on launch we brought it at 250 pounds okay how many do we have then roscoe four available okay we're gonna do it in one price crash and then we're gonna go even lower than launch price tag because we've got four it's not a viable quantity for us here at jewelry makers we need those locations within the vault goodness me 100 can i just say out loud it is unfathomable to imagine owning both south sea and tahitian at 199 You'd expect to pay more than that for one. Yes. Well, I would. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. We were bringing you, what was it? How many? A single Tahitian pearl. That's right. That's right. I had one, didn't I? One single, um, and it was £149. Can I just count these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my goodness me. There's ten beautiful... <sighs> luxurious genuine certified south sea and tahitian pearls on this strand and we're that's ridiculous it really is ridiculous again try and we showed you i haven't got the time to do it right now but if you have a look around um for example i know blue nile sell tahitian pearls and south sea pearls Asile, of course you know all your mikimoto um i don't know actually do they sell south sea and tahitian because they're all about akoya aren't they they are i'm not sure i'm not sure either I... way they're gonna they're not 200 no pounds way. that's the thing two of you have this in your basket Make sure you're ready to check them out. We've beaten the uh, the launch price tag. I'll leave that with you because we cannot go a single penny lower than that. That's it's a give it's a practically a giveaway deal, frankly. That's incredible. Um, and that's something at some point, And I get that it costs money. You should after you've made it into beautiful jewelry, you should definitely look at getting it valued and possibly even assured. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Because everyone knows South Sea. Everyone knows Tahitian pearls, and everyone knows that they are expensive. They do, they, yeah, absolutely. Um, now, just to give you a heads up, your early bird this morning lovely jewelry makers are these beautiful beautiful clasps um you know the days of it a class just yeah um these beautiful class these ones these are your early birds yeah yeah Oh, we're playing them now. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Um, okay, let's bring these to air because you get all three of them and they are um, wonderfully parve set with your cubic zirconia, silver plated as well, no less. The days of a class just being functional, they, you know, they're gone, aren't they? They can make or break, it can make or Absolutely. break. Absolutely. It can make your jewelry stand out from somebody else's if you're making to sell. Um, you know, things like these days, and we're not necessarily being so out there with our designs, but we're being a little bit more wearable, a little bit more simple. Something like this can absolutely lift a strand of pearls or yep. a, a jadeite strand or, you know, just to give it something special. How pretty. I agree. And you'd wear them at the front, wouldn't you? It doesn't matter. Yeah. If it, it doesn't matter if they... Um, 
um, if they sort of migrate to the front of the decolletage. They're absolutely be beautiful like so. Um, I apologise. I've shown you these as your early bird. They're not your early bird, actually. Um, your early bird is some lovely little star charms that would go perfectly alongside it. So I'll just put those in the back there so you can see them too. Um, so shop ahead on those as well. Little star charms. Um, Eleven ninety nine for all three of those. That is so good. Great for bracelets because you know when your bracelets kind of always spin round, you know. And if you've just got a regular clasp and you're always kind of turning it round, aren't you? Yeah. But it's lovely if you've got something really pretty, then it doesn't matter if it turns. No, round. exactly. Yeah, it becomes the design. Shall we bring? Speaking of pretty, mm -hmm. shall we bring Ooh. beautiful Sakura Agate to air? I bought this last time we were on. Do you remember the first thing that I'd ever bought in my career on air was the uh, it was is a so strand stunning. of this. It's so stunning. And, and I have to tell you, Sakura, I love Sakura Agate, but I love it even more when it's faceted. Mm. Even more. So n referred to as the darling of your agates, Sakura Agate is celebrated. Firstly, it's incredibly rare. These are natural colours, so it's not dyed like most agates are. Um, and it has three dimensional blooms. So like little, mm. like like jump, like, like uh, blossom trees that yeah, form beautiful. naturally within the gemstone. Areas of translucency, lovely sort of opaque colours. It's such a pretty strand. Um, and when I, I, we need to kind of overcome this here at Jewelry Maker, and I'm as guilty as it, uh, of it as well. You know, we think of agates as being oh, almost like an affordable gem. Yes, it can be. However, so can diamonds. Oh, yeah. You know, um, this is like your D flawless diamond to the agate world. Does that make sense? Yes. It's one of the world's, uh, one of the agate's rarest. It's not usually um, affordable. It is a gemstone that we've shown you pieces on air um, that were sold in other websites and supplies. It might even be in auction houses, and they were hundreds of pounds. That's natural colours. So you bought this strand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can see why. It is pretty. It's so <gasps> it's like a blossom tree, isn't it? I always think of it as I just and each one is different colour and it's got different interesting qualities to it. Magical. <sighs> it's nature's confetti. Oh yeah, it is. That's why I always think about blossom trees. I love to stand under them and let all the blossoms fall on me. Ah, oh, I, I, I submitted I, that to everyone. I love it. I love <laughs> that you are that that that. <laughs> That, that airy fairy. That just makes me happy, doesn't oh, it? it well, yeah, good for you, Deb. Good for you. It's the little things in life. And pretty things in life. So you know what? And gemstones. Absolutely. Twenty nine ninety nine. Well done. I'm just imagining you now stood under a blossom tree. Oh. And my kids walking on going, oh. <laughs> oh. Now, one more auction until we dive into your early bird. Not long until we meet our first, uh, um, our next round yeah. of Britain's Next Gems contestants as well, which is very exciting. Um, which is that you wanted me to do, Roscoe? The Cotan, amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh. Now, look at this. You have, bless you, um, you have a full, beautifully ombre strand. This is Cotan. We are already over allocated on this. You've got your five way split payment. Gorgeous, Dan. Can I have a tall bust, please, lovely? Now, there's what? Sorry, three and five in baskets. Okay, so when we talk about the history, six now in baskets, when we talk about the history of jadeite, the oldest jadeite in the world um, is your Kotan. Um, and still to this day, it is the thin one, please. Still to this day, it's mined um, in the Kotan River where they uh, sort of sift through the riverbed stones trying to find this beautiful gemstone. So Kotan um, is the most, also holds the record, not only as the oldest, but the most expensive variety of jade. Now, if you are a collector, um, in particular of jade, definitely get Kotan whilst you have the opportunity because they believe that it only has, what, um, about six years left of mining. Now, we're going to do this in one price crash. What do you think the price of Kotan's going to do, uh, going to do after that stops? Thousands of years of mining. It's, it's going to go through the through roof. Through the roof. Dave's recommendation, don't sell your Kotan yet. I would wait a few years. It's up to you, of course. £499 only, plus you've got your 0% interest split payment, lovely jewellery makers. 
Um, look at the perfection of ombre that you have, and this is all certified, totally and utterly natural. Um, the quality that you are getting here. And I, look, I do not hesitate in saying this is the kind of piece that you will find on your Christie's, your Sotheby's, yeah. your Bonhams, and it's not going to have a 499 price tag. I can assure you. In fact, have a look at it now. Have a look at first dibs. Have a look at, at Christie's Bonhams. Research Cotan Jade, maybe that doesn't even have the ombre, plus the fact that you have got the candy colours within this as well. I mean, these are all natural. It's the oldest jade in the world, thousands of years of mining, with imminent depletion on the horizon, and yet still we're bringing you prices which are so far removed en to anywhere else. Oh, I mean, could you even get something like this anywhere else? I mean, like ombre I mean, like this, to true. this to the quality of the ombre is what blows my mind on this strand that you're getting i don't know how how long would it take them to find the gemstones i'm glad you said that because you just read my thoughts it would take years <sighs> it because would, wouldn't it cotan jade forms in pebbles kind of like small mm -hmm. small much smaller than your burmese jadeite so it forms in like almost rock size mm -hmm. tennis ball sizes approximately it would take years to acquire enough yeah. just to start yeah. one strand and here we are bringing you a few you know that's amazing um i've bought this strand um haven't done anything to it it's literally put away for maybe maybe in the future if i want to generate some money for my family then i'll think about selling it yes but not right now no, no. that's what i'm doing and I, like i said i can only give you my opinion um well done everybody make sure you check out your baskets it is time for your early bird um, these are super sweet remember what are our favorite motifs in jewelry hearts flowers, flowers. and stars, stars yeah <laughs> Oh, jewellery makers, these are so sweet. I know, these are so sweet and so good for making, you know, upcoming holiday season and for presents. And Oh, yeah. Are they, what are they made of? Did you call Christmas the holidays then? Holiday season. Oh, I suppose it is, isn't it? Yeah, I, guess. I think of it as holiday. I can't wait to start watching the, you know, Hallmark Christmas movies. Do you know, I noticed one of the radio stations had uh, has one, uh, um, a station designated to Christmas now. And I was like, yes, heart Christmas, yes. It's like, yeah. can we put the Christmas songs on? My husband was like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Why not? Um, but I agree, they're perfect. They are, aren't they? Because, you know, especially if you've had people like I have who've done exams and lately and, and have had the kind of stress of the A-levels, the O-levels, the degrees, all of that, you know, you might just want to make them something that says you're a star. Oh, what a nice idea. And that isn't like you've passed, you know, but well done. You know, you did this and you got through it and you're a star and I think you're a star. It's so meaningful. Do you know, you've just, I need to get these because, you know, yesterday I went to pick up my willow from school and you could see as they're coming, we go onto the playground and see them lining yeah. up and she could see she looks really sad. And I was like, Oh no, what's happened? Anyway, she comes over to me and bursts into tears. Aww. This was only yesterday. I was like, what's the matter? I had a yellow card off the teacher. So she, yellow card is a little warning because oh, yeah. she's doing something that she shouldn't have been. I was like, okay, so what did you do? I was playing with equipment that she clearly shouldn't have been. I was like, okay, well listen, learn from it. Don't do it again. Yeah. We all make mistakes, etc. She absolutely, she was devastated Aww. by this yellow card. So that, that's a lovely idea, just a little, a little gift. You're a star. Yeah, tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's you know, a new day. We all make mistakes. We've all learned, all you've learned from it, so it's a good thing. Absolutely. Plan. Yeah, she got, they do yellow cards in Willow School. And, <laughs> and, 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 but honestly, she was in so, she was so upset her. by it. Um, I was like, oh, bless her. It's okay. We all get told off from time to time. Listen, Indeed. Ross tells me off <laughs> all the time. He gives me yellow cards all the time, don't you, Ross? Uh, he wasn't listening see but it's all good um anyway these are 925 sterling silver and you have a genuine genuine round brilliant cut white topaz um set within sorry what was that ross you like the idea of what you like the game let the game play out you want to introduce yellow cards now oh brilliant brilliant okay <laughs> <gasps> can it, can, if you do give me yellow cards, you have to come out and literally do it like this. What's it with the whistle? 
<laughs> what about a red card? A red card. Ooh. Well, that's fine, but that means I go home. <laughs> no, but like, yeah, red card, off. I'll get off. <laughs> Get off. Get out. <laughs> anyway, totally digressed. I apologise about that. There's f how many? Four charms. Genuine topaz. Are they sterling it, silver? They are. Ooh. They're 925 sterling silver and you've got just under two grams of as well. Under 20 pounds, lovely jewellery makers. I mean, I'm going to use, for example, the bracelet that Claire, lovely Claire made me as an example. Just imagine one of those yeah. nestled in there. And that would be easy to do, wouldn't it? Or you could put all of them on there. Oh, you could. That would be so pretty. My daughter's really into stars and she's got a necklace. She lost it, weirdly. She lost it yesterday. Oh. And it's not sterling. And it's just got little stars all around it. And she said to me, but it goes with everything you know so i think stars are just so important aren't they amazing that lovely motif they are they are meaningful now we've got a lot to do so we're not going to dilly dally now they were meant to be 14.99 as your early bird we have got quantity of them lovely jewelry makers but like we said there's a lot to lot to squeeze in today's show new studio lots of teething problems plus we've got our fabulous britain's next gem contestants waiting in the wings jewelry makers we're gonna go even lower you know how it is roscoe how many have we got in terms of quantity then shall i give him a yellow card yeah, give me a i feel that like. roscoe <laughs> only joking how many have we got lovely 150 Ooh, available. That's good quality. Quantity. Yeah, quality. Quality. <laughs> quality, quantity. Red card. I know. It's all right, Bob. Don't worry. Don't worry, Bob. Um, <laughs> you could solder with these, couldn't you? You could pop them in your um, in your stretchy bracelets. Just a multitude of uses. We are going even lower jewellery makers. We were meant to be 14 99 which would be an amazing early bird prize tag. These are cubic zirconia set. They have a beautiful, round, brilliant cut topaz um, set within. And they're quite curvy stars, if that makes sense. They're um, chubby. <laughs> chubby. Chubby stars? They're chubby stars. I like that. I like that. You know, that it's more of a friendly shape. I agree. Yeah. Soft. It's a softer star. Now, anybody, by the way, if you're a jewellery maker employee right. and you're fancying these, buy them now because you're going to get a better deal. Actually, as, um, actually, as, oh, hang on. No, 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 wait. Are you going, yes? Go on, go on, yeah, yes, go, 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 our, our contestants, see you all are, um, making their way into the studio, yes, jewellery maker crew, by the way, if you are fancying these beautiful stars, then you are better off, you are better off getting involved during the TV opportunity, they are all, uh, uh, you know, a third lower. That's very good. Sorry, I'm just staring in wonder at our next gem contestant. I know. <laughs> all looking lovely. Hello. All looking so lovely. You'll be introducing the, them to us all, 9.99, momentarily. That's amazing. That's so good, though, isn't it? And the sterling silver. And you've got that lovely little, um, is it a zircon in the middle? It, no, it's no. It's, a, it's topaz. Oh, it's next better. month's birthday. Even I know. better. Even better. Lovely. Even better. Um, our Britain's Next Gem contestants are all here. Um, make sure you're watching during the next hour so we can say a quick hello. We've got Charlie, Nikki, Hi. Isabel, Hi. and James. Oh, hello. Good morning to you all. How are you all doing? Nervous. Nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. You're all fabulous. You're all Thank fabulous. You. Like I said, you've got to be fabulous to even be here. And <laughs> Absolutely. I know. Actually, yeah. So um, enjoy it. So we're going to cut to a very short break, lovely jewellery makers. Make sure you're with us, though. Do not go anywhere because our Britain's Next Gem contestants are here. Um, you're going to be making, talking a little bit about it, your, uh, yourselves, telling us what you do. And yes, we'll have a little bit of fun and inspiration. So join us after this. Jewelry makers, head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever. We have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off. So head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our bling it back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear.
Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. By popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Next gems contestants are waiting. They will be. We have two of them arriving at nine o'clock, haven't right. we? Yeah, we do. Um, well, we can introduce them formally and obviously uh, get to know them that little bit better. But first off, for Deb's amazing kits, Deb's these are absolutely beautiful. These are incredible because they're so colourful. And you know, if you've got family like younger ones that like to make, like my daughter does, yeah. this is amazing. But also, because you get the all different colours of your cord kind of uh, macrame sliders, then it takes that time out of you making, or maybe you don't do macrame, not everyone, you know, works with cord, and you get all of the colours. Yeah. And it's, it's such fun. I had such a great time uh, working with these. Amazing. And they go perfectly as well with your Lucite flower kits at 12 o'clock, don't they? So yeah, that's absolutely I, I have fabulous. added a flower to one of the um, samples just to show that. Well, you got to, haven't you? You got to. So take a little look at these beautiful pieces of jewellery. Uh, so um, there's slide knots, which are uh, slider bracelets, which are all the rage. We know, yep. I think the obvious, most obvious obvious one to me is um, Monica Veneda. She yes. works with corded slider bracelets, yes. doesn't she? And you're still talking triple figures. And we know that, uh, Deb, some of our viewers could absolutely make these, but first you've got to buy the selection of the cord, the well, colours. all the colours, wouldn't All you? the yeah. colours. And they are quite labour intensive, aren't they? Because if yeah. I hold one of them up, obviously I gravitate to the green. Um, but you've got to do every part of this you've got to do the uh, you know this macrame just here can yeah. you see that there no okay um here you go so you've got to do these knots then you've got to do your solomon's bar just there and you've got a knot on the end as well so i know these are techniques that you we, we've certainly shown in the past but do that with the multiples of colors 
that you're getting as well. So you're getting all of these and you have some lovely, a, a, a beautiful strand of almost like tutti frutti like colours. So lovely these colours and I think if you've got your craft fairs coming up, I was talking about who your audience is. If you're going to the school craft fair, the turning the lights on craft mm. fair, you know where you tend to take uh, makes the art, you know, you're not asking people for 40 quid, but maybe they're 10 pounds or they're yeah. 8 pounds or they're 5 pounds. This would be perfect for that, in my Absolutely. opinion. Absolutely. And they're quick makes, aren't they? They are quick. They're very quick, quick makes. And I'm loving every single one of your pieces of jewellery. And it's what, would you say this is something that will appeal to uh, somebody that's new to jewellery making? I think it really would appeal to someone who's new to jewellery making. But I also think that a lot of designers are doing these kind of slidey bracelets. Yeah. And they're putting precious metal and yeah. high-end gemstones in there with them. So it's like, you know, and then stacking them up. And mm. I think it's a great fun way to get some colour into your jewellery making as well if you're using that cord and also gifts for people like yeah, my daughter would love wear them. these till the cows come home me too yeah me too because they're easy wears um okay so we've got four different kits to bring you um should we start with this one just yeah. because it's the one that i actually have to uh, i do have in front of me so this has more got like your pinks roscoe your pinks and purples and yellows the other um Oh, they're very look shop ahead they're all available on the website it's quite difficult for me to actually describe the differences but are they on the website right now okay all available on pre-order um can i also just show you this because it's loads is it a meter it's a meter yeah, long strand it was. that you're getting um so shop ahead on these how are we doing in terms of quantity have we got quantity 70 of each of these kits so I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to shift these just here. Okay. Is that? Hang on. <laughs> I can't reach. This, no. Yeah. This. Oh, there's no. There's something under the desk, which means I can't really get my legs straight. Hang on. One second. One second. One second. I like that we we kind of we're finding our feet, aren't we? As <laughs> together. We're doing it together, jewelry makers. That's all good. There we are. So let's put those there. Oh, um, there we are. And then if I put all these there, oh, and you can yeah. see just how much you're actually getting, everyone. So beautiful strand of shell pearl. Am I looking at shell? They're shell pearls. Yes. Uh, I seem to remember that Monica did this beautiful design with tassels and they were ombre pearls. Lovely. And I remember go. I wanted to get the kit because I loved her designs and they'd gone. So, you know, if you don't want to use the pearls with these um, these bracelets, you don't have to. You can no. use your, wouldn't these be lovely as tassels as well? Yeah, gorgeous. So, you know, of course, kits are made to use together, but they're also for the components so that we can get the price down. Absolutely, yeah. But I just think that these give a really modern feel on I, pearl jewelry. And not everybody can wear metals no, as well. Exactly. Not everybody can actually put metal against the skin, so it's a great alternative. Now, first price crash, jewellery makers. Ooh, twenty nine ninety nine. How many sliders am I looking at here? Ten. Yes. Ten beautiful slider bracelets. I mean, look at that lovely purple. How pretty that is. I love that. So that's my favourite. That's, that's £3 per slider and then you strand for free. And if you're thinking about getting the box of Lucite flowers that are coming oh, later yeah. on, I mean, I'm going to demo with one. It's perfect. I think I made, there is a bracelet there with a Lucite flower on, but you can match your cord to the mm. colour of your gemstone or the colour of your flower. Absolutely. Love that. Absolutely love that. Now we're at 29 but going even lower. 19 99 that's £2 per slider and then a metre long strand a beautiful shell pearl. I'd, I, I'd pay that for the shell pearl. That's very good. Twenty pounds for all of that. I mean, that's plus free kit. postage and packaging. That's like we're in the old school studio. It's like an old school kit. Oh, one hundred percent. I have it? to say though, we wouldn't have been at nineteen ninety nine for a kit like no, this no, no. back then. <laughs> no way. Not back in the day. What do you mean? Am I ready for what? Still not done at this price. Isn't it nice to be able to eyeball Ross? I can see him there. Oh, hey, yes. Ross. <laughs> we can't usually are you, see are you going to blank us out, Ross? Oh, I can see you. You're trying to. <laughs> I, I quite like that. I can see you. He doesn't. I quite like it. He clearly doesn't. <laughs> He's hiding now. I don't want. <laughs> We're going even lower, though. We're going even lower. He's got used to it now. We used to. We always used to be able to see our our producers. Yeah. yeah. Um. 
Yeah, in our old studios, we'll always be able to see you. Can't see Adam, though. He's behind a wall. Uh, 1999. <laughs> 19.99, but we're going even low. We've got 70 available. You can absolutely um, <laughs> shop ahead and secure yours. Adam thought it wouldn't be fair on anyone. He would be too much of a distraction. Well, he would. I mean, I'd just have to stare at him, wouldn't you? Yeah, I yeah. know. I know. It's a tough job, isn't it, that we have? <laughs> There's no sarcasm at all. <laughs> 14 .99. My goodness me, that's a metre long strand of your beautiful shell pill, plus 10 of your macrame. I know that many of you will be able to make the macrame bracelets, but Deb makes a very good point. You've got to get the different colours. You've still got to factor in your time. For me, you're buying the strand, you're getting the, the macrame cords for free. Definitely. And if you think about when you do make the sliding knots, you know, they are quite fiddly. And then you've got to glue and you've got to wait. And if you need some quick makes, this would be amazing for quick makes as well. Yeah, absolutely. Or the whole kit as a present for someone is to begin their jewelry making journey or, you know, if you want to entertain young ones, I mean, not really young ones, but, you know, teenagers, mm. people who craft, this would be great. Absolutely. I mean, we're making, look, if you look at this, though, that's £1.50 per bracelet. That's amazing. And you'll probably have a multitude of shell pearl left over. That's amazing. Um, incredible, well done everybody. Make sure you're checking out. I can't see your names, but we know that it is busy. Um, it's almost sold out, says Ross, confirming. Amazing. So, um, fabulous, fabulous. Make sure you stay where you are. I tell you what, I'll just, all I need to do is swap a room yes. these. And if I yeah. show the two, shall I show them together so you can actually see the different colours? So, is, does that make sense? So, they're all shell pearl, all metre long length strands. So, this was the first kit. This is the kit that I'm bringing now, which has green in yeah, it, Yeah, it's got like the, the mint green. Like it's minty yeah. green. Yeah. So that's lovely, isn't it? So that was your first kit. And then the last kit is this colour. So there you go. Shop ahead on those. And I also have one with large shell pearls as well. Beautiful. Um, all coming your way in at an affordable price tag, right? Into the minty one. That's nice, isn't it? It's lovely, this, isn't it? Because you've got... I don't know. There's just something really delicious about this kind of vintage, kind of purple yeah, grey colour. And then you've got that lovely coral and that, that green. I think it gives you a completely different feel. Let's hold it that way around. Sorry. I'm still trying to find. There you go. Is that better? Um, amazing. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. We got, we got, we got coffee. It's all yes. good. Just maybe need to hide the branding. That's fine. Just put it in. There you go. Um, you know where it's going to, lovely jewellery makers. Hang on. There you go. Is that better? Good luck. Well done. Fourteen ninety nine. I think that's a fantastic price point for the strand, and then you're getting Macrame bracelets as well um, for free. We do. We are. We are doing all right. We Adam's are, like yeah. we're doing okay. Good. Thanks, Ad. Nothing's broken. You get very we're live, which is a, well, which exactly is a, which is a plus. And you get very used to your little routine, don't you? Coming in the studio, you putting your toolbox there, and you and then you come in. Creatures go, of habit. It's like coming they? into your front room and someone's changed it round. Oh yeah, yeah. Proper creatures of habit. But like after two shows, it'll be like we've be always fun. been here. Yeah, it'll be absolutely fun. And, and listen, we're kind of like, we we we're, we're testing it, aren't we? We're we testing are. it now. Um, at the moment, yeah, can't say, I can't, oh, there you go. There's all your names on your screens. Good morning, everybody. Mary and Jerry, Barbara, Robert, Gloucestershire, Eleanor, Jacqueline, Maker, Ella, Tina, Nicolette. On the verge of selling out as well, Lorraine, Rachel, Hilda, congratulations. Now, just before we dive into the next kit, I have got a big bundle of gemstones, yes. <laughs> Why is that such a funny sentence? Have you got a big I've bundle got of gemstones? I've a lovely bundle of gemstones. <laughs> yes. Um, we've got a hundred of this lovely bundle. Now, um, when Ross approved the show with Wayne last week, yeah, and Wayne said, what's that doing in there? That's a deal of the day item, Roscoe. Um, oh, you found out Wayne's not in today. <laughs> Uh-oh. Has he booked a day off on one of the busiest days of, for, for in the jewellery maker calendar? Ah, okay. Ah, fair enough. It's been booked off for a while. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, he's not here. <laughs> You're lost, Wayne. We're playing it anyway. Should have been a deal of the day. It's available on pre order. There's a hundred available. Um, hundred available. Tiger's eye, labradorite, amethyst. What'd you say? Mookite, neon appetite, 
rose quartz, peridot, amethyst. All totally natural. Yes, please. We've got a hundred, it's on pre-order. Ooh. Shop ahead. It's a deal of the day, but we're playing it because Wayne's not here. Sorry, so, so you get all of them? You get all of them, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. It is amazing. a deal of the day, but oh, like okay. I said, you snooze, you lose, Wayne, no. Um, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Wayne. I <laughs> know, oh, bless him. Um, we do love Wayne, honestly, even though yeah, I tease yeah. him a lot. Um, here we go. So, 10 strands of your macrame. Let's do the ones with the, like, the deep Tahitian-like colour. Ooh. Yeah? And they've kind of rich vintage gold. Vintage. This is, is very vintage, this one. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, again, you've got that gorgeous sort of lilacs and <laughs> beautiful gold. It is beautiful. This is, you know, this is your red carpet-like colours, isn't Quite it? Quite warm, isn't yeah, it? Quite, quite warm colours. Beautiful. Lovely Plus, for festive season. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you don't, like you said earlier on, you don't have to use the, the macrame bracelets if you don't want to. Oh, no, you don't have to use them together. If You've, you might have another pearl idea and have something in mind for the macrame yeah. bracelets, mightn't you? I personally think you're buying your strand, you're getting all those macrame sliders for free. You are for this price, yeah. aren't you? Because you know where it's, at, where it's going. You know. How many have I got then, Roscoe? 70 available. It's not enough, is it? No. It's not going to be enough. One pound fifty per slider bracelet, and you meet a long strand for free. It's not a yellow card offence at all. <laughs> I was just getting my coffee ready for a sneaky sip. That's all. Red card. Playing with the equipment. Al, <laughs> can you stop playing with the equipment and concentrate? You're going to have to have a yellow card now. You have to ring your mummy. <laughs> oh dear, the heartbreak. I was like, listen, Willow. Uh, this is the conversation. I was like, Willow. Mummy gets told off sometimes. <laughs> She's like, who tells you off, Mummy? Who tells you off? Wayne. Ross, <laughs> Ross Adam, <laughs> Wayne. It's okay, but as long as we learn from it, it's yeah. not a bad thing. And she's like, do you learn from it? Secretly in my head, I'm going, no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. I absolutely learn from it. Um, £1.50 per bracelet and then your strand for free. Amazing. There's 70 of it. it is amazing. Did you know they were going to this price? No. Because that's not what it says on my star by sheet. Because I'm thinking like one fifty a bracelet, even if you sold it for £3, which is ridiculous, Yeah. you've made 100% profit. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, like I'm thinking of get now for because this is about the time of year when I used to do my stalls and yeah. they'd, be, they'd be very different. Some would be in a proper sort of what I call a proper craft fair and some would be in like the school. Yeah, I like you know. those. And I love those school ones because all the little kids come and go, how much is that? And I'd go, how much have you got? Oh, funnily enough, it's, that's exactly how yeah, much it is. Yeah, if you've got a couple of pounds or something like yeah. that. I love school Christmas baits because the kids are so excited. Yeah, they are. So, so excited. Um, good luck, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. 0800 655 Brand new studio, free post and packaging, and the wonderful Britain's Next Gems are going to be in our studio soon. Um, next kit, it's all about the, the big, beautiful Ooh. 10 mil. Are they 10 mil? Um, so, wait a second. That means... six. Sixty pounds, I can get all f four kits. Is it four? Yeah, yeah. four kits. It's four kits for sixty pounds. That would be what? Forty bracelets. Forty bracelets. Three meters of 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 your multicolored yep. strand, and then this wonderful sixty pounds for all of those. That's amazing. And free potion packaging. Oh yeah, keep forgetting about that. Use your code Studio P and P. Amazing. Make sure you check out. Um, there was only 70 of each of these kits. So, um, and also, don't forget that lovely bundle that we've snuck in. Um, that should be a deal of the day. Hey ho, we're bringing it to air anyway. That's what happens when the boss is away um, <laughs> and all that. Right, Deb, over to you. What are you going to demo? Right. Well, I'm just going to do a really simple one with one of the um, Lucite flowers and the pearls from um, my 12 o'clock kit, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to use the pink, um, just let me make sure that I am. I'm going to use the pink macrame bracelet. So what you have is essentially your slidey knot with your two ends, which are knotted like that. So you could, if you wanted to, add a little charm or something there, that would be fine. And then you've got these two very fancy, actually, fancier than when I make them. Just let me get it because he's a little bit 
twisted so you get these two lovely ends there and you can you see you've got that little loop so you can attach whatever you want to that you could actually crimp onto that if you wanted to I'm going to use wire or you could use for some of them I just used an eye pin I attached one end of the eye pin to the loop put whatever I wanted on and then just made another loop and attached it's you know it's so simple so first of all let's make our little charm so this is a lucite flower from the 12 o'clock kit a little tulip one and what I did was I just popped popped on three of the pearls from the kit so let's go actually let's go for this lovely I'm in love with this dusky pink color because it really reminds me of that kind of um, vintage vibe it goes really beautifully with copper so I'm going to put a couple of these on I think I put three on so I'm going to pop three on there and then I'm going to pop on my <laughs> yellow card Sorry, I'm going to pop <laughs> L just slurped in my ear. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna put three on. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, Carry that was on. amazing. Carry you on. totally woke me up then. <laughs> so, and then I'm gonna get it. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah. And then I'll put a little. Um, oh god, I've got the giggles now. A bead cap on the top, so it looks like a little flower. And I'm just going to pop a wrapped loop onto this but you know you can do a regular loop if you want so I'm just bringing the pin over the top of my pliers there and then I like to hold my little loop with my pliers it just saves your hands and then wrap that pin around pop it round until you've kind of filled that space there yeah and then all you need to do is just trim off that little tail that you've got there to get rid of any excess and then I'm going to make a wrap loop and the easiest way that I found is to actually if you put the end of your wire into your little loop first now I'm trying not used to this overhead so I'm trying not to lean forward and get my head in is that all right um, so what I'm gonna do is just make <laughs> is just make a uh, we're flying by the seat of our pants today a little loop there and I've already popped on my bracelet just so that it makes it easier than trying to fiddle it on the loop and if you were using an eye pin you just open that eye pin loop and then I'm just going to once again do a quick wrap loop on there I'm going to do it bigger than I usually would just so that you can see and I don't really want this to show too much so I'm only going to wrap it once so I've got my wrap loop there and then I'm going to snip that off and then I'm going to pop on a pearl, Pretty pearl. a little spacer, my little flower that I just did. Oh, I love this lucite. They're so pretty, aren't Look they? Look at that. I mean, everyone. I Look can tell you love these, even though you've got your days all mixed up. You probably threw mixed that up. That was funny. I said, am I, am I on with you tomorrow? She went, yes, but it's not tomorrow. I did know that, but you know, I'm having a week. I had, I had a funny, I, I, was, I was worried that you'd be setting off all the way <laughs> from Yorkshire and then realise that today. I'll just enter Britain's next gen. Yeah. I'll just try and disguise myself as a contestant. So I've popped those on and then what I'm going to do is just wrap a loop on the end there. Mm -hmm. So nothing difficult at all, really good for a beginner make. And then I'm going to take my other little loop and I'm just going to pop it onto the wire there. And of course, as I said at the beginning, you can use an eye pin for this and just open it if you don't want to wrap loops. And then all I'm going to do is loop that again. Just obviously the benefits of a wrap loop are, <laughs> I'm just laughing because I've got a story about wrap, a wrap loop in a minute. The benefits of a wrap loop is it makes your jewellery really secure. My daughter made me some earrings. We went to the pumpkin patch and she made me some earrings and I went, oh, wrap loops. And she went, mum, of course I know how to do a wrap loop. Of course she does. She probably do that Of course I first, do, exactly. She? And she was like, mum, of course it's wrap loop. So <laughs> sorry, Daisy. So she knows that it makes the jewellery a little bit more secure. And there you are. I mean, that, oh. that was slow to try and show you, but that's how quick you can make a piece. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And then you've got this lovely sliding knot, so you can make that as small or as large as you like. So we know the benefits of those. And if you wanted to add 
even more and maybe you'd want to put a little flower to hang down on either side or a little charm or a little bead oh, nice. you could just add on add on there and that, that's as simple your, as it is you could put your early bird stars in there as yeah, well couldn't you yeah early bird pretty. stars would be gorgeous um amazing thank you debs isn't she awesome make sure you're checking out your baskets on your kits everyone i think they're getting quite limited it's time for your bundle the the deal of the day bundle that we're not meant to play in but we're going to anyway um, so yes, you had the conversation literally last week, says Ross, had the conversation with Wayne and he basically approves all the show um, and then we just completely ignore it. He said no, he said no, um, but we're going to do it anyway because Wayne isn't here. So, um, okie dokie. Now you are getting all of these as you pointed out, Deb, so there's a lot of gemstones from that lots of different sorry, locations Sorry, I'm just putting the bracelet the on as you do. As you, as you do. I love the moo kite. Anything with moo kite. Is that amethyst? It is. Um, sold. <laughs> sold. Two sold. of your favourites. I love, I yeah. just love those gemstones. So in total, how many strands are we looking at? Eight strands. Mukai, amethyst. Aquamarine. Mm -hmm. Is that peridot there? Peridot. So let's go through it. Tiger's eye. Labradorite. Amethyst. Oh, it's labradorite. Look at that. That's a labradorite. Amethyst. Mukite, Neon Appetite, Rose Quartz, Peridot, and another Amethyst. How amazing. Now, I think the this bundle has been sent to our um, contestants, Britain's Ooh. Next Gem contestants. Um, so I think it needs to be a Britain's Next Gem reflective price point then. Yes. Um, eight strands. Did you say we've got 100 available? 100, okay. Let's open up this auction opportunity. Simple maths. Bearing in mind we've gone to probably Australia, Zambia, yeah. China, um, all around the world to get hold of this uh, this opportunity. £10 per strand. Oh, I mean, think of all the lovely tassels that you can create. Yeah. Think about the lovely stretchy bracelets, the knotting that you can create as well. Free P and P, remember, with Studio P and P, um, <laughs> and that's all day as well amazing so you're going to get some significant savings you can see the wonderful inspiration from our fabulous contestants are you happy at 10 pound per yeah, strand yeah absolutely it's pretty good isn't They're it very good the genuine gemstones how about five pound <laughs> per strand even better thank you very much five pound oh goodness me that's eight strands that's a ready made little stash there it is all you need to do is add your tools and your threading material and yep. a few findings and away you go and the best thing about five pounds each it's a pretty exciting day today we are going to take this to an even better than deal of the day price point i like that i like your logic so I like this. So Ross says, um, okay, so if this is being gifted to our Britain's Next Gem contestants, he says, you know, I am no longer part of this rebellion. He can take the responsibility away off, off his shoulders. Absolutely. He doesn't have to say, well, listen, it wasn't meant to be in the show. It wasn't no. meant to be. Um, it was meant to be a deal of the day. I don't know what date in the diary. There's a gap there now that needs filling. Um, yeah, you can abstain, can't you? All responsibilities. So we're at five pound per strand, but going even lower. Good luck, everybody. Um, can't wait to see. And we've got Charlie and Isabel in the wings, waiting to show us our fab uh, their fabulous creations. Good luck, everybody. Thirty nine ninety nine is awesome for ten strands. Especially the geography of these. Oh, definitely. And it's not like they're <sighs> rubbish strands. <laughs> no. You know, it's not like a bundle of rubbish strands. It's a bundle of really, really desirable and very strands. Useful. And very useful. And, you very know, useful ones that cuts. I think people would buy and pick. Yeah, favourites. Yeah, definitely. It's like a favourites, isn't it, bundle? Yeah, definitely. Um, 29 .99. So that's basically working out at, what do you think? I can't do the maths on that, Ross. It's like, I haven't got a calculator. I can't do that, so... Yellow card. <laughs> Yellow card. Yeah. Can, can, can you do it on your phone? Three pounds seventy-five. There, there you go. go. Three pounds seventy-five per, per strand. strand. You could argue I should probably be able to work out that math. For mukite. For mukite, exactly. 
for amethyst, Brazilian Peridot. amethyst, peridot, all natural as well. None of these have been heat treated. Um, okay, no way near enough people, says Roscoe. I can't see the call screens right now. Now, should we do a one-off special deal? Now, if it was deal of the day, it would not be twenty nine ninety nine. But because it is part of the Britain's Gem, uh, Britain's Next Gem um, competition, yeah, we might as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. One minute clock. We're already at what three pounds seventy? Did you say three pounds seventy per strand? But you do need to be there. Eight strands, all of which are totally and utterly natural. So there's no enhancement, no, no treatment no. to any of these strands, which is unusual. Is that blue appetite there? Yes. Oh, it's one of my favourites. Yeah, mine too. Do you know I couldn't work out when I first saw it how that wasn't treated. I, I just looked at it and thought, this is a miracle, this strand. I know. It's one of my absolute favourites. He's just peeking out there in the middle. It's like chrysoprase, isn't it? It's yeah. that colour intensity yeah. that doesn't look like you would find it within the earth. It doesn't look like it's possible for that to be natural. Yeah, totally but it agree. is. It's like a Mother Nature's miraculous. Yeah, totally, totally agree. Good luck, everybody. Make sure you are ready to check out your baskets. Free post and packaging as well. Eight strands. All our favourites, really, isn't there? There's a real selection of favourites here it's at Jewelry Maker. Bundle. We're back in the original studio. We're <laughs> feeling nostalgic, and we've got beautiful nostalgic gemstones here as well. I tell you what, I think even, what, 10, 12 years ago, we wouldn't have done prices like like you're about to see. I wouldn't have brought you Mukai at less than £3.70 a strand. I wouldn't have brought you no. any one of these strands. Genuinely, because we weren't allowed to. That was a rule from the senior management. We weren't allowed to go to prices like this because it was deemed as non-broadcastable. £24.99 only. That's amazing. That's... You know, like, I don't know if you ever get a gift for yourself and put it under the tree. Like, sometimes when we do our surprise bundles and things at Christmas, I'll buy one and then I, I put mm. it under the tree. You know, if you want to get your treat yourself to something, wrap it up. Don't look at it when it comes. Or get your, get your friend or whoever you live with to wrap it up and then open That's it. That's a nice idea. Open it on Christmas Eve for yourself because I would use all of the gemstones in here. And I'd, yeah, absolutely. You know, and sometimes you don't get people don't know what to buy you this is perfect yeah a lovely bundle that you're going to make a multitude of jewelry be great with those sliders yeah because you've got all the colors in fact shall i grab some of them yeah that would be perfect yeah because you've got the perfectly color matched look use them along together so you can actually sort of pick out the gemstones to go with um to go alongside um to go alongside your gemstones. Make sure you're ready to check out your baskets if you haven't already done so. Um, but now it is time for uh, to welcome two of our amazing Britain's Next Gems contestants into the studio. I believe they've been working with this bundle. So we have Charlie and Isabel coming up after this. We've just had the first group of Britain's Next Gem contestants in. Weren't they fantastic? And this Wednesday, we've got the second group coming up. They will be given five minutes each to show us a short demonstration and to give us their top tip. Now after that, just two from each group will make it through to the second round. So make sure you join us this Wednesday for the second group of Britain's Next Gem. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, it's all so exciting here today. It is. It's all happening today. And oh, my goodness. Have you seen some of the makes? They're absolutely unbelievable. I'm just going to leave now because they've got my job. No, 
<laughs> there is room for everybody. I'm joking. There's some amazing, gorgeous things. Such on that talented, <gasps> talented individuals, and of course they have to be. That's why you're here. Um, already, thumbs up. Let's welcome. Don't be nervous. We're one big family here. Let's welcome lovely Charlie and Isabel to the studio. Morning. How are you Hi. doing, lovely ladies? Very well, thank you. Yeah, good. I, know, I know this is all quite odd, isn't it? Is this the first time you've ever been on air? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Believe me, I'd never been on air before about 12 years ago. You get very used to it. Yeah. And you forget, actually, after a period of time. But, <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep giving me yellow cards. Um, yeah, for us it's like I can vouch for that. But yeah, just, just enjoy it, honestly, because we're all friends here. Um, oh my goodness ladies now perhaps would you like to start by introducing yourselves and then maybe tell us what kind of jewelry that you like to create what's your favorite what's uh, something maybe you're thinking of doing on the horizon so who charlie do you want to go first i will um i solder i like working with hammers i like big heavy tools um traditionally i'll work with very small stones so the the blue zircon was great for me i love that wow the beads were a challenge because i don't usually use them so it made me think outside of the box um and everything i've created is based on a simple circle so it's they're all quite different but maybe the same thing wow so um really enjoy working with metal um and uh just about to embark on an engraving course as well, so that I can oh. offer that service too. Um, so do you do commissions and things? Yeah, Charlie? yeah. Yeah, so okay, so you are, you know, a, yeah. a, a business effectively, yes. aren't you? Yeah, we've just set up the website, it's work in progress. Oh. Um, but it's very freeing. It's quite different to your everyday run of the mill. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's quite, um, quite an eye opener coming here and meeting everybody because we're all so different we've all created so much different pieces yeah it's uh, it's been really a pleasant experience and i remember the first time we met you know when you were in the in the in the our canteen effectively yeah. basically and there was all these lovely happy faces and i remember that display box that you showed me charlie um with your i mean can we have a little look can we show charlie's zircon ring because that's it if you just say we go that's it look at how amazing that oh, is oh that's beautiful charlie goodness me sparkly. i know it's unbelievable like a oh, it's a good job i'm not over that'll be on my <laughs> finger <laughs> children Oof. children you can't make pieces like this otherwise they get stolen yeah. on my <laughs> finger oh i just oh dear. no that's incredible charlie Thank it really you. is and congratulations on getting this far so you Thank will you all, you'll both be doing a few a little demo yeah, we will. so it's yeah. so wonderful um and isabel Hi. wow Thank Thank you. That's beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. So again, real statement pieces. Yeah, so that was the brief. That the was brief the brief was statement yeah. piece. Okay. So we could interpret it however we wanted, which yeah. was brilliant. Oh, bless so what, what what kind of, I mean, I, I guess we can probably all answer it, but um, how long have you been jewellery making? What's Ooh. your forte? Is there okay. something you want to, want to, to challenge yourself with? Oh, I don't know. I've been jewellery making since I was seven. I used to walk around the playground and around the streets with a little tin of beads and if I spotted one on the floor it would go <laughs> in my tin Aww. and then in the playground we would swap so that's kind of where I started um, and then um, when I was about 16 I started making um, enamels jewellery uh -huh. and then um, I discovered polymer clay and that's my big that's my big thing really. that's your passion polymer clay. so I yeah, love, I love the polymer um, that's that's amazing um, yeah so absolutely yeah, love yeah, that yeah they're very it. popular um i do a lot of um bead making with children i was a teacher oh. for many hundreds of years um <laughs> and i retired some time ago now and so i can just give my time to to be to do really. what you're I just passionate really about enjoy. and i um, work so colorful yeah yeah and it, it's i call it color therapy because if I'm feeling a bit blue or whatever, then I'll go and get pink yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, and I'll change, change it up. It's true though, and, isn't um, it? it yeah, is it's true. really nice. It is nice. Uh, well, I, so. I, I, ladies, honestly, mm. so talented. Thank you. Uh, so talented. I just want to wear that ring and that necklace. Yeah, I, mean, I know. Oh, yeah. Again, can we yeah. can we just show? I mean, what's that with the blue? Is that shibori? Shibori. Yes, yeah, shibori. Wow. And then I've made some polymer clay flowers to go with it and put the zircon into oh, the yes. into the um, flowers. What a clever idea! So, so actually, so I took the colours from the stones, 
Mm. So I got the blue and the um, from the zircon and the, the purple from the amethyst. Unbelievable! And, and just made the shapes that that made me happy. It's, yeah, I think jewelry making is about making yourself happy. I agree. You totally know, it's about, totally agree it's with about that. just keeping everything. Ele equilibrium, isn't it, really? Yeah. Do you know what, ladies? You are fabulous. Thank you. You're <laughs> both so <laughs> fabulous. You. I could listen to the two of you <laughs> all day long. Um, but I think you're going to be doing a demo, aren't you? We so are. we do have the components that our Britain's Next Gem contestants, Charlie and Isabel, actually worked with. So we have the zircon, um, we have the labradorite. We've got all the pieces. Um, so I'll be bringing those to us. So you, likewise, you can be making with these at home as well. Oh, okay, and um, if you've got any messages questions um, for our lovely viewers then of course feel free to text us so um, who would like to go first what? demonstrations listen don't I'll worry go, first. go on Why not? Charlie you got this what are you gonna demo my lovely okay so it's super super duper simple and it looks really complicated but it's not and I thought if I'm only ever gonna be on here once then what can I what's the most important thing I can get out there that will help uh, in the beginning or someone that's maybe struggling to find their feet and progress with it so if you've been learning with Claire she's taught how to do um, a butt joint but with two flat ends mm -hmm. lovely straight ends I'd like to teach you it on a round so and there's there's no uh, mathematical equation to work out how much uh, material you need you're mm -hmm. just gonna freestyle it so I would start with your metal and at the very tip it's always straight you have to forgive me I'm usually against a bench peg I would line up your wire dead center and just put a gentle soft curve in and that'll get rid of that flat end mm -hmm. two things gets rid of the flat end second thing it'll give you something to hold on to so say your customer wants an M you want you need to make a size half smaller so I would go for an L and a half and when you wrap your metal round and bring it over. I want you to overlap those two pieces and if you go to the top you'll get the smaller size, if you go to the bottom you'll get a larger size. So take it off top your tip. top tip. There's quite a few top tips in here mm. I'm afraid and in the beginning these are really good ways to get you hit the ground running um, but after a while, you, after you've made a hundred of them you really don't need to do that. I'd take a sharpie and if you look at your circle where you've got your two overlappings like a key ring you want to mark dead center of that so you just want a lovely little line down the middle and then another one you take a scalpel your scalpel blade is dead straight it's perfect so if you rest on your black line and just make a nice little straight line on your black pen it'll show up really clearly to you. Obviously, you'll be a bit closer to your work. And that little groove from your scalpel is perfect for you to sit your saw blade into. So if you're slipping off your work regularly, that will help with that. And then once you've made 100, you'll stop doing that. So Blue Peter style it. We've chopped this off. And you've got your rings. So you're basically making a really big jump ring. Go on, say it. We all want to hear you say it. Here's one. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and another, and another. So you line up your edges nice and neat and tidy, okay? And you're going to do the same thing again with jump rings because we're going to make a ring with a loop on the end. And if you can see that, it's quite, quite small. I should have done a bigger one, shouldn't I? Um, so with your nice, neat and tidy solder join, once you've sawn through it, you'll have... Uh, little filings you have to remove them because when you don't and you come to solder it you'll get a little lump and that mm. lump takes a really long time to clean up so the least amount of cleanup time you have the more profit you make so yeah. the longer it takes to make <clears throat> the less money you're going to make so you've got your torch out and you've soldered it and that's a lovely clean joint it's fine sorry I keep moving so with that then I would pop it in your parallel pliers. I would actually do it on the side here, like so. And with your file, you file one way. Everybody files wonky because we're all wonky and we only use one side of our body. So the best way to remedy that is to flip it over, clamp it again, file again, nice and smooth. 
you do your jump ring and you do the same thing with your jump ring. So you'll file a nice little flat spot on your jump ring, turn it round, file the other side, dead flush. And then I want you to, on your soldering board, you line up your two flat ends. So you've only got one solder seam and they meet together. And then you've only got one clean up area as well. Once you've soldered that together, you have a ring like that, that will make a whole stacking set of charmed rings here. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right, there you go. Oh, lovely. So if you can make one, you can make six at the same time. Super duper easy. And once you've gotten familiar with the way of doing it, it broadens your horizon so you can turn it into a thick bezel setting or a marquee setting for your, for your necklace or a giant setting with your gallery wire, all made with that same curved technique. Amazing. So, go. This is fantastic. <laughs> well done. <laughs> That was a great tip with the, the scalpel because I think most people who start sawing slip off, don't they? All the time, all the time. That's a really good tip. Yeah, slicing your fingertips. You it's not pleasant, it's not nice. And it's stressful. It's really stressful when mm. you don't get it. So just using the pen and the scalpel blade alone in the beginning is a really easy way to, to get off running. Um, and if, if it works, you're more confident to try again. Definitely. So yeah, the more little confidence. tips and tricks in there you can get, faster your progression will be. And you're yeah. right about confidence as well, especially with uh, metal smithing. Yeah. If you're going to slip off the first time you do it, then you think, oh, I can't, I can't do it. Yeah. Yes. So I think it's those little teaching yes. points, like you just said, that's yes. so important because that's Definitely. the difference between picking up and trying it again yes. or not doing it. And there's no need to be scared of a flame. I know I've not brought it with me now, but it's basically a big lighter. You're in <laughs> control of it. You know, you can, it's not an uncontrollable flame. Yeah. And you can turn it up, you can turn it down. So it's a really, really good one. And it opens so many doors. Yeah. I know Isabel's doing it as well. Yeah. So it just means that she can broaden her horizons with her whole collection. Absolutely. Yeah. Just as I'm trying to with the beading. Well, it's yeah. what you, you're doing fantastically. Um, quite, we've got a message from Alan in Cheshire for you. Fantastic tip. Uh, Stop me slipping see, off my work. There you go. There you go. Um, amazing. So yeah, keep those messages coming through. So we're just going to do a little swap a roo because now it's lovely Isabel's turn. But what are you going to demonstrate, Isabel? I'm going to demonstrate. Um, Oh wow. So you love colour, Isabel? I love colour. Yeah, I absolutely love colour. And today I'm going to show you um, how to do your lovely seed bead. So what's this Work technique? Here. This my brain has just frozen. Don't worry, it happens to us all. Don't worry. Frozen. It will come back to me. But that's what this um, oh, oh. Is that spiral this. rope? I can't see it from here. Spiral, oh, thank you. Simple spiral. spiral. See, I couldn't remember it because of the simple <laughs> spiral. So obviously, Lovely. I wasn't going to remember that, was I? Lovely. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate simple spiral. So my starting point is laying out the beads. Let's not cover them over. Right. So start off with your core beads. Um, to make the spiral, to make the spiral, you need to have your core down the middle. I don't know if you can see this. Is it easier on the overhead? Yes. Okay. So you've got this core of beads going through the middle here, this silver core. So if we start off with that as a little pile on our board, and then we have our three other colours. So I'm going to have this very nice Turkish delight. That's lovely. And then I'm going to have um, some ballerina pink, and I'm going to have some cherry, and different nib. Oh, and I'm going to throw those everywhere. It sounds delicious. It? I'm going to eat that. I'm going to throw the cherry <laughs> absolutely everywhere because that's the way to do it. Um, and then I'm going to finish off. Here's one of my tips, and that is to finish off with the same bead as you had for the core, so that you have um, it ties in the central bead on your spiral. Actually, is the same as your core. So. You start off by picking up four beads, okay? And that's your central core. Mm -hmm. And then you pick up two of the Turkish Delight. We've got two ballerina pink. Then we've got a cherry. And then we've got our central bead, which is going to be this silver one here, the same as the other. And then we just go back again and repeat exactly the same. We go one, two, and then we go one, two, 
And then the trick for me is to put these ones you just picked up down on the front and get them off in a nice little line. And they are now a template. So we've oh, got a template. Oh, what a great tip. And we can just keep going. So I've got my four beads and I've got a stopper bead here. And then we pick them up again. So we go one for the new line. Oh no, we don't need one on the first one. Right, so we're now going to pick up our Turkish Delight and then our Ballerina Pink. And then we're going to go for our Cherry, our Central Bead, back down the line exactly as we started. And this, there's something quite zen about this. Once you get going and once you've actually learned what the, um, what the central thing is, then you are actually able to just use muscle memory almost. <coughs> So now we go through the four core beads. One, two, three, four. And we pull it on. And here is another one of my tricks. Keep your thumb on top of the beads. Don't let go. So we don't need this hand. We're just going to keep it there all the time. So we pick up our new core bead because we've got to have one to grow the um, bracelet. We go one, two. And then we go in with our lovely ballerina pink. And here we are with our cherry and our central bead. Back down the middle, cherry, ballerina pink, and our Turkish delight. Okay, and then we now, here's our trick, we're going to drop them all down. And now we go through the last four beads. So we put our needle straight through, keeping our thumb exactly where it is. I, can you see that I've made a circle with the thread? So when I mm -hmm. pull it on, it's going to make the next circle. Oh. So we've now got our lovely corpse started. So if we go over to this one that I've made earlier. No. <laughs> this one I've made earlier. Well done. I love <laughs> it. Love it. Done. So I put my thumb back on those beads and you can see how it's just growing. So we just go so all the way pretty. along and all the way back and we just thread through and pull and you just keep going round and round basically. And my very top tip is how many beads you use in the central core and how big you use. So I've used sixes here and this has made this grow really fast. If I'd used eights, down the centre, okay. then you get this much tighter, but it's exactly oh. the same technique. Okay. So you've got, you've got the two things here, and then another tip, if you've got um, bead soup that you've bought, that you don't know what to do with, you've taken the nice beads, and then you don't know what to do with it, you can actually just pour it all out, and then I sometimes just pick colours, sometimes I pick the same beads, and I make, I call these my Madonna bracelets because I always, you know, fantasise I might send one to her one day and I'll see <laughs> you her. Should, yeah, do it. I think I should too. Um, and also this is a bridal wow. one. Wow. But That's it's beautiful. exactly the same technique. Down the middle I've just got bicones, so the little crystal bicones. Um, but it's exactly the same. So those three oh. are all, four in fact, are all exactly the same technique. Um, and you've got all these different things happening. Absolutely amazing, amazing. Isabel, absolutely fantastic. Mm. Top tip that, you know, just mm. by different size beads yeah. in the centre, yeah. gives you a completely different look, She made it, it look really easy, yeah. didn't she? Yeah. It, yeah. You it's both easy. did. <laughs> Honestly. Easy. They both did, though. Thank it's you. Like, that I was cracking. That was so much better than my first time. Oh, my it. goodness, <laughs> me and mine. My hands were oh, like Should we that. just go? I'm going. You're very kind. You're very kind. You're very kind. No, I mean it. That was amazing. No. On oh, genuinely, was really ladies, absolutely Thank incredible. You. Thank you and for having us. You don't need me <laughs> to, ex to, to say how talented you both are. Your works, they're, they're absolutely yes, incredible. Stunning. Pieces of art. And so amazing to listen to you both thank you you know like thank we said you. debbie i was an absolute jittering mess on my first i couldn't time. stop my hands shaking and i could see everything that you were doing there on the monitor and nice. i think 
that was absolutely amazing, guys. You yeah. should be so proud of yourself. Really Wait till you watch it back, you're going to be so proud you of yourself. Should be. You really should be. Aren't <laughs> they <laughs> awesome, everybody? Yay! Give yeah. them a round of applause. It was really fun. It was um, really fun. Now we're going to be sending you off with some more beautiful components. Okay. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, I do now. <laughs> you do now. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. You. Okay. Um, yeah, you just kind of got to go with it. We're yeah. winging it. Jewelry Maker. Yeah, wing it. That's all good. And we're winging it too. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, don't know who um, you are. But I think you're going to get today's deal of the day oh. and some other strands as well. So right. I'm, uh, I'm excited. I think maybe it's, I heard Opal. I think it might be some oh, lovely Opal. Love Amazing. Opal. Our, quite, our Opal at the moment Amazing. is insane. So yeah, take that. Our yeah. Jewelry makers get you, our, our designers get gifted things on a regular basis, don't you? Oh, do we get to keep it? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to say amazing. yeah. Amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? And if, if, if not, then just say I'll said. <laughs> um, yeah, we will. Um, so yes, you're going to have some beautiful opal, a black and a white. Okay. Okay. So one is gets it, one colour, or one gets the other. Is so is that these? I've got four strands here, Roscoe. So. Is it this? Yes. Yeah. So, do they get two? Oh, one. Beautiful. Oh, you get one of each. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, you choose. Lovely. Okay. See, <laughs> told you I was bringing it. <laughs> yeah. um, so, which would you like? Can I add the opal? You want opal? Don't you? I don't mind. They're, well, they're they're both, one gets white and one gets black. Oh, right. Okay. okay. So, which would you prefer? You have black. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll have the white. There you go. There's Thank you. those. Amazing. Um, and. Also, you'll get our deal of the day hand if you want it. What is it? Um, let me show you. Let me show you. We've been show hidden you. in the back, so we haven't seen. Also, if there's anything that you wanted to incorporate, just go ahead and do it. You don't have to ask oh. our permission. So look how lovely this is. Fabulous. It's Ooh. gorgeous, isn't it? That's, That's so cute. Yeah, it's a winner. Yeah, so a thumbs winner. up to the deal of the day from yeah. our ladies. Then fabulous, you can have one of those as well. Amazing. And incorporate whatever you want, and we'll and we'll see you a little bit later on in the show as Kay. well. Thank you. Thank that you for having amazing. us. It really was, really was. So enjoy working with the Opal and the deal of the we day. Will. And like I said, can we can we give them a big round of applause, everybody? Because yeah. they're absolutely <laughs> awesome. Charlie and Isabel, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know what I was thinking? Watching the two of you, and I know I've got two uh, two more fabulous contestants in the wings as well. I do not envy the person that has to decide. Who does decide? Can we not just keep them all? <laughs> Do the viewers decide? I don't know. Not at this stage. I couldn't I don't decide. Think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. But you're fantastic. You really are. We've got James and Nikki coming up as well. Um, so I tell you what we're going to do is bring an auction. Um, we have the Ratnaki Reserve on that uh, that you worked with Charlie. So we've got that. Well, both of you worked with. Yeah. Didn't you? Yeah. So. Um, We've got that. I can show you this one right now. So it was a parcel, a beautiful parcel. So whilst we just switch over, we're going to bring the auction, uh, the graphics live for this. Thank you. And we'll see you a little bit later on, everybody. Um, so they're not going anywhere. Don't you go anywhere as well, because we've got two more contestants coming up, entering into the studio in a few moments' time. You can shop ahead on your parcel of beautiful Cambodian Ratnakiri Zircon, full of fire and scintillation. Don't Ooh. go anywhere. Back up. Oh, okay. Uh, we're playing it right now. Beg your pardon, beg your pardon. Now, Cambodian Zircon, firstly, in terms of a location, that is creme de la creme. It's like, it's like, uh, um, ooh, Colombia is to your emerald, if you yeah. like. Kashmir is to yep. your sapphire. Um, it brings you the most absolutely incredible fire and scintillation. So, um, with these, you can absolutely use in the same way like uh, Charlie and Isabel did. You can actually set them into your precious metal. I love the idea of setting them in polymer clay. I thought that's genius. That was genius. Genius. Um, look at the quality oh, of those. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at them. Our, we are stones are amazing for the price. I know yeah. we always say this, but they are. No, I mean, when nice you look nice. elsewhere for one of those. Uh, do you know, when I went to Tucson, mm. Deb, what, not beginning of this year, last yeah. year, the AG, um, sorry, the um, AG, I've gone blank now. See, I have moments. Is it AGTM or something like that? Anyway, one of the biggest gem fairs. Yeah. The ones where all the glitzy, you know, your, 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 your swanky re um, um, jewelers are. Yeah. So they have a massive billboard out the back. Mm -hmm. And of course, you've got this professional, uh, professional photographer and model. What was she wearing? 
Ratnakiri as her Really? Aunt. She could have worn any gemstone, couldn't she? Yeah, she could have worn absolutely yeah, yeah. any gemstone, but it was Ratnakiri Zircon that she was actually um, uh, photographed wearing. Now, first price crash is £7.99 pence only. Shall we do a giveaway deal? We've got 200 available. There's nothing to see here, Claire McDonald. <laughs> you can't come and start raiding our brand new display. Claire, what are you doing? Nothing. You've been rumbled. You've we been can rumbled. See you. We can see you. What have you got? What are you stealing now? Just this. <laughs> Don't tell Chloe Jones. It's amazing. No, you haven't seen me, okay? No, no, haven't seen time. you. We um, saw nothing. Now, who wants a pack of beautiful Ratnakiri blue zircons, three to five millimetres? Who wants them under five pounds today? Really? Say it again. Our gemstones, the quality, free post and packaging as well. Is it's ridiculous? You know, I could go to Tucson. I could try and find quality Ratnakiri zircon like this. I ain't gonna find it for a fiver. No way. Not a no way. You'd struggle to find one for a fiver. Yeah. I swear. Even Honestly. if I went to the mine, I think I'd probably struggle with that. I ain't going down that mine. No. And by the way, it's like properly off a beaten track as well. Absolutely. I, I just think that especially if you're just beginning stones your stone setting journey and you know we all slip we've all broken stones in the past or marked stones mm. you know you're going to worry if you spend a hundred pound on a stone yeah you know you're going to like um we were saying before the confidence when you're working with something like this it takes that pressure off because you've got all of these for a fiver so you can play and can we can just say that out loud that's a pound each that's ridiculous it's a, it's, it's a rare gemstone that's so good that's amazing yeah and, and this is the most sought after color of your zircon um you know it, it forms like diamonds actually in a similar color palette but has more fire more so scintillation sparkly, it? rarer mm. remember steve bennett actually said it, our founder he said you know if 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 de beers had targeted uh, zircon in the same way that they did diamonds and the only reason they didn't target was because of uh, um, availability it would be deplete within a year really? so this is rarer than your diamond significantly so the most sought after color is the blue and yet here we are bringing it to you at four pounds and 99 pence that is absolutely ridiculous isn't it in round brilliant cuts that's amazing and it just enables you to you know play with your stone setting maybe you haven't done it before or you're just um, starting out on your journey and you know you don't want to spend pounds and pounds on calibrated stones no I mean I would be happy to pay this for one of those I'd think that Definitely. was a deal you know and I've bought my share of, of stones in the past like this well, and I remember this is one of the world's ri uh, oldest gemstones yeah you know it's dated back 4.4 billion years ago um, it's, it's just amazing and what I love about this gemstone as well is that like you said the fire and the sparkle that comes off of it yeah it is it's just it just so out, it outperforms diamonds this is the thing agree it outperforms diamonds agree. Uh, and i love diamonds don't get me wrong but, but uh, zircon is significantly rarer four pounds and 99 pence we had quantity of these lovely jewelry makers how are we doing in terms of quantity we had 200 sorry 85 have already confirmed under a fiver do you know you could set them into your pearls Oh, definitely. Do a little bit of dremeling. What size are they? Well, they vary from three to five millimetres. See, that's perfect. So, you know, depending on the size of your pearl, if you drill into your pearl, you could definitely set those into um, a little uh, bezel set. You could claw set. I think I'd claw set these little ones. Um, so you could certainly make a lovely ring or a lovely pendant. I just think having one, you know, just on the decolletage is just really, really yeah, stunning. elegant. And you'd get that, stunning. that sparkle just coming from the gemstone and it would just draw the eye to the piece of jewelry yeah amazing i can't believe that deal jewelry makers make sure you're checking out your baskets and i think you can shop ahead on lots of the items that we're bringing you alongside our britain's next gems uh, connectors everything uh, connectors sorry sorry contestants <laughs> say it right Al. <laughs> um honestly yeah <laughs> I, I said knew what we, you meant. I said we were winging it, didn't we? It's yeah. all the new studio and everything's all changing all at once. Now, is it time? Can we? Yes. We 
You can keep dialing through on this opportunity, but it is time to welcome our next two fabulous Britain's Next Gems contestants. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, amazing. Now, this is James and Nikki. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Don't be nervous, as I said <laughs> so earlier. So nervous, so nervous. Don't be nervous, honestly. We are one big family. Um, firstly, congratulations. Thank you Thank so you. much. How, how are you finding it? This is all very, it's all very new for us as well, to be honest, because this is totally different to the other studio. Yeah. But um, how are you finding it? Are you excited? It's been great, really. You know, it's oh. something different, something to do with it's, um a break from the norm as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's good to set a step outside our comfort zones, yeah. isn't it, every absolutely. once in a while. Um, so much like we did with uh, Charlie and Isabel earlier on, would you like to perhaps introduce yourselves and then tell us what you know, you're know you passionate about in terms of jewellery making? Is there something that you're working on in the future? Um, who would like to go first? I'll go first if you want. Yeah. So I'm Perfect. James. Um, obviously, I've been jewellery making for about four years now. Um, as a chef, I'm in a high-pressure job. So unfortunately, I don't get as much time as I'd love to actually enjoy making the jewellery. Mm. But, um, but when I get, do get downtime, it's great because it quietens my brain because the creative brain is very, very yes. overactive as yes, such. Yes, yeah, that's true. You know, so when I'm, when I'm in my little studio, my brain is just focused and it just keeps me happy. Oh. Um, and with jewellery making, there's always something to learn as well. Yeah. You know, you, you start for, I start with wire wrapping, I progress to smithing, yeah. things like that. And there's always new things to learn, yeah. new techniques, new... And it's been brilliant talking to these ladies as well because they're sharing hints with me and helping oh. me along the way yeah. and you know, they're being brilliant with me. Oh, well, uh, you're, all, you're all an inspiration. You really, mm -hmm. really are. So wire work, a little bit of silversmithing as well. Is yeah. there anything that you want to do in the future? Well, I'm looking at like some of the lovely work. I want to maybe some seed beading, you know, get into ah, that now. Ah, yes, do it, James. That sounds Welcome amazing. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So many people. I, I remember when Joy Maker first started seed beads and it oh. was like this whole <gasps> scandal. <laughs> You know, and yeah. now so many people love it because it's another string to our bow, isn't it? Really, if you know, you can do some. I would say silversmithing and seed beading are very different, aren't they? And very, I think very that's different. Why, it's in some ways, I think with silversmithing, you know, you've got just a piece of metal that ends up something. Same with wire, and same with seed beads. You've just got these little dots, and mm. they end up as something. And I think, as a creative mind, like you were saying, yeah, you end up with something, and it's just so fulfilling and mindful, isn't it? Yeah, very much. I mean, with like a lot of my projects in the past. You know, I've learnt the guitar, I've learnt photography, things like that. But it's very narrow, you know, what yeah. you've learnt. Whereas yeah. I've noticed with the jewellery world, it expands into yes. so much. You know, you start at this one point, and there's a sort of tree oh, that wait begins. A minute, wait a minute, James. So <laughs> you can not only cook a lovely meal, you can play the oh. guitar, <laughs> yeah. um, you can take a lovely photograph, and you can make amazing jewellery. I hope so. I goodness <laughs> me, goodness me. Um, amazing. Well, like I said, we're going to do a little demo, but Nikki, yeah. would you like to introduce yourself? Absolutely. Tell us a little about you. Yeah, so my name's Nikki. I live on the northwest coast near Liverpool, um, and most of my jewellery is inspired by water. I absolutely love anything to do with water. Ah. Um, obviously, because I live near the sea and it's yeah. just an obsession for me. But yeah, I began jewellery making as a metal stamper. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, about 10 years ago, I couldn't find a piece of jewellery that I wanted to buy for my other half. Uh -huh. And um, I just wanted to put words in it. I love putting words in jewellery. Yeah. So even in the jewellery that I've made here, sometimes it's a hidden word. Yeah. So it's like just sentiment that I've had when I've been making a piece of jewellery. Oh. Um, so yeah, I started off metal stamping. And I think a lot of metal stampers naturally sort of progress into the silversmithing side of it. Mm -hmm. So I got hooked and then jewellery maker came into my life and ruined my life and my bank balance, <laughs> I have to say. Um, and I know my husband is watching at the moment and he'll agree with me on that one. Um, but then, yeah, and just developed a love of gemstones too. Yeah. And I love... I love the properties of them as yeah. well, and you know. So you like the metaphysical side absolutely, of gems as well. Absolutely, absolutely, and you know, and I know not everybody subscribes to it, and that's absolutely fine. But I think what everybody does subscribe to is that feeling that you get when you see something gorgeous, yeah. or you know, or or even when you just hold something, yeah. it's really tactile and lovely, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, so gemstones moved into that, and yeah, that's I'm sort of Aww. I bought a kiln. I've bought a kiln, so that's... Ooh. I know, I know. I, I probably shouldn't have So pottery. 
Well, PMC. I'm thinking more metal clay okay, and okay. enamel ink. Right, right. Well, don't get me started. Pottery might be the next <laughs> thing. Um, <laughs> that might be the next one. Metal clay and enamel ink, I think, is oh, where I'm amazing. going next. Oh, yes, I remember us doing those. Um, again, I could listen to the two of you all day. You're fantastic. You really, really are. Um, and let's take a little look at their wonderful pieces Ooh, yeah. of jewellery because what I love so much is the difference between everybody. I'll say it again, I said it earlier on, I do not envy who, <laughs> no. the person that needs to make the decision. No, so really Nikki, either. this is your stuff. You it said is. earlier on you're inspired by water. Very much so, and, and water and nature. So this piece, I actually called it the way of water, and it has a quote all the way around it. And you can't really see it, but that's, it's the idea that you're wearing it, and it says, if there is magic in this planet, it is contained in water. So that goes Choose all the way around me. the side. We're the same person. You literally <laughs> are. You we're literally the are the same. Yeah. We're the same person. And then the reverse of it. I don't know whether you can see. I'm probably ruining it here. <laughs> but the reverse of it here has like got a wave pattern. Oh, I love into the that. Back. It's fantastic. So it tells a story. It does very much. Yeah. I and love it's just that. the movement of water, and I wanted beautiful. to reflect that in the chain as well. So oh, beautiful. And you've obviously worked with some of the beads that we gave you, and I can see the jade eye in amongst your pieces can. as well. And this one. So again looking at the metaphysical side of things and I, I wanted to put the words on it so it says stay strong believe in yourself never give up and this is quite important to me because when I started jewelry making I've, I've been diagnosed with cancer when I started jewelry making mm. and I think putting words and things I used to wear like bands which had the words on them and it really really inspired me and sort of helped me you know just through difficult times so yeah. I wanted to do, so these, you know, the gemstones that I used here are things that I said, you know, very much in line with those words that are on there. Aww. So, yeah. Well, Nikki, you're fantastic. You're absolutely fantastic. You. Wonderful. So, um, and James, I can say, all oh, beautiful wire work and smithing, I can see there. So, look, look, I love what you've done with the labyrinth. <laughs> so, oh, I've, I've, wow. never, I've only ever sort of done a tree on one piece, never actually over three. So, that was uh, quite a mission in itself just to take you know a piece of wire and cap, cap three stones in one go yes <laughs> oh that's my goodness stunning. that's Beautiful. amazing so is that like the roots of the tree and then yeah. the tree and then oh i love it again tells a story doesn't it <laughs> yeah absolutely i've always uh, my first piece I ever made was a tree of life yeah and it's something i've always been drawn to it's one of my favorite things to make yeah, um, beautiful. I, I try to change it and bring it out and do it in different ways. Yeah. That can you just twist it towards Dan ever so slightly? There you go. That's it. So we can really see it. Perfect. <laughs> now we do have a message coming through uh, to the studio from last year's winner, uh, lovely Natalie. And uh, Natalie says it's amazing how talented the contestants are oh. this year, and so very versatile in their makes. Absolutely, oh. totally agree with you, Natalie. And she's been where you uh, you are right now, so she knows yeah. all the emotions and the nerves and hopefully excitement. And I hope you do walk away thinking, I, um, I, I you know, I, I, you know, I enjoyed that experience. Um, now the labradorite that um, was uh, again given to the contestants is available on your screens. Let me just quickly show you that, and then we're going to do some demonstrations. Um, so here they are, full of labradorites. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. They're winking at us. Aren't they, they really are. <laughs> They really are and I love the fact that you've got the different shapes as well um, now 150 of your labradorite parcels are available um, plus you get your free postage and packaging of course we're gonna go straight down to your amazing uh, Britain's next gem price tag and then we'll get into your demonstrations don't worry <laughs> we're not so much really looking at the clock today are we we'll get it all in somehow nah. we'll do that so don't worry folks um, if you were desperate to see uh, um, James and Nikki's uh, demonstrations, what? So, how many carats? Two hundred and seventy carats at nine pounds and ninety-nine is pence it? only. Oh, yeah, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Wow. It is. We are going to blame you guys for these prices. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you know that. We're going to say look <laughs> because it's Britain's Next Gem, um, and you know what? Look, it, 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 it's all about you guys today. So, absolutely amazing. Let's go even lower, shall we? <gasps> Um, no, well, hopefully entice, <laughs> invite people into actually having a go oh, with, with, with wire work and things like that. Oh, that so. tree, now we can see it properly, is absolutely stunning. I mean, 
and just you know to have that silver over the top of the cabochon like that so you've got that sort of lamp dress that's coming from behind it isn't it magical it's moody isn't it oh it's moody <laughs> moody <laughs> nice and moody the thing i like about it as well because i've got three different pieces of labradorite at different angles to catch different yeah. lights so yeah. Yeah. it'll catch you know one what, like light at the bottom and then you'll turn them in the middle light up and wow so james they're incredible yeah. i always say about labradorite for me it's the heathcliff stone i always oh, talk yeah. about it as if it's like you know wuthering heights the Absolutely. film i can imagine he's quite a sort of dark moody. broody moody yeah. but also romantic actually yeah. um as a character and that's what i see within uh, um within your piece of jewelry debbie's laughing because they've just said <laughs> in the studio a little bit like ross <laughs> A bit like Ross. Is that true, Ross? Are you a bit dark and moody and romantic? Are you dark and moody though? No. No, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are brand new, by the way. Seven ninety nine. What? It's Sorry, I was laughing Brit at the moody comment. Seven ninety nine. Yeah, Britain's next gem. That's the price tag. Only because of this. Amazing. The event, oh. only because of that. Shop ahead, they are flying out, um, everybody. And as, as we said earlier on, if you've got any messages for James and Nikki, then do text us. We are live here in the studio. So any questions uh, or words of encouragement now? <laughs> um, in terms of demonstration, who wants to go first? I'm at the tray, so oh, yes, yes, I'm ready James to ride. I am ready and rearing. <laughs> so what are you going to demonstrate? Um, so I've... Here's one I made earlier in the Blue Peter style. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Um, I've done a very, very basic wire wrap tree that when you're sort of starting out, yep. you know, you'll start with very straight lines, you know, because you... So what I'm going to be showing today is how to make it more tree-like. Yeah. Because there's no straight lines in trees. No. no. So just a way of manipulating it, bending it, to really bring it to the next bring level to on the piece. Yeah, bring it to life. We'll take it away, my lovely. We're all ears. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so obviously, here's a piece I made earlier. As you can see, it's got very, very straight lines to it. And if you notice, I've not actually cut the backs yet. The reason is, once I've started putting tension on this wire, it will pull on this. And if you already tightened ah. it, it can come loose and you get your sticking out there's, bits. There's top tip number one. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm gonna actually start doing, I always start with the trunk first. Mm -hmm. And taking some needle nose, get it in, and we're gonna twist that. Already we're noticing it's starting to become yeah. more natural shaped. And again, I'm just gonna put another twist in. And we're bringing that. So now we're getting a more natural shape. And then next I'll go to my roots. Yeah. And what I'll start doing is, obviously you've seen roots. They're everywhere, they go all over the place. They go over themselves. Yeah. So what we want with our roots is a lot more natural style That's coming amazing. up. That's amazing. Such a Beautiful. difference. Taking life already. Yeah, and then next we'll go to our, my branch areas. Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing more detailed pieces, you can see on mine, I'll bring it everywhere. Well, it's a nice basic piece here to sort of demonstrate. I don't want to overcomplicate it for everybody. So again, we're going to start twisting in our branches. And then we're gonna go to these outside parts. And again, just needle nose pliers. And we're gonna keep working these, bringing them to life. And there are no mistakes, because trees just grow how they wanna grow. So we'll keep working this here. And I guess every tree of life is gonna be unique and one of a kind piece. exactly I mean if anyone asks me to make a piece of jewelry I've already made I say I can't yeah because every piece is always going to be its own unique piece and it should be you know yeah. if you mass produce things yeah, yeah. It, it loses its character it loses its charm I agree you know you want to just make it more natural and machines can do that can't they and we're exactly yeah. that's what being artisan is about absolutely That's made such a difference, hasn't it? From the straight lines to giving it character. It's all right in the night. And here, there, the camera turns on, I'm all shaking and... You're not, you're yeah. doing great, you're doing great. <laughs> so you can see already there, yeah. how that's turned into more of a life piece. It's amazing with the light as well. Once you have done that, this is when you can actually trim your back. Okay. Because this is, because this is pulling on here. It's gonna pull these off. So then what we can now do,
-hmm. We'll start trimming these down. And all we're going to do is get us some flat pliers, twisting it in and squeezing. And that is going to tuck it in behind out the way so there's no scratchy points to the skin. You see that's nice and smooth there, so when you wear it, it's not going to irritate catch. the skin and catch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, James, that's fantastic. <laughs> well done, oh, you. Well, well, thank thank you. well done. <sighs> Do you teach people to cook? <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel like James can teach anything because you'd seem like you that was so natural yeah. that was amazing <laughs> it didn't feel it it was just like it it does, when it the cameras does. are on you and the yeah. pressure hits yeah, yeah. it was incredible and like I said you were just cool and calm wasn't you <laughs> yeah that was very amazing. relaxing actually. well done Thank you so and much. beautiful jewellery obviously I mean that's what caught our attention clearly here at Jewellery Maker um, so any messages as well that you have for James um, and Nikki they're just going to swap places now so that we can see um, Nikki's demonstration so um, I'm intrigued. What, what? Oh, let's bring on the fire. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Do I know? Move away any flammable objects yes, possibly. Indeed. Step um, away. <laughs> this could be the day where the new studio goes up in flames. <laughs> you know, don't bother you the me. Yeah, yeah. Well, bless you. Bless you. You know, you're the professional. So, um, you're the professional. So, Nikki, talk us through what you're going to demo. So, what I'm going to demo is a little bit of flame painting on copper. Oh, yeah. Um, wow. Oh, flame painting. Painting. Flame painting. <laughs> and when I told my family that I was actually going to have blowtorches in the studio, <laughs> there was much hilarity, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now, because <laughs> they did think there was going to be some chaos and disaster. So after James's very calm presentation, <laughs> you got I this. just, <laughs> well, <laughs> let's just see what happens. <laughs> but the reason is, and I'm, I don't know whether you can see this piece here, I think with a lot of people when they start working with metal silver is quite scary mm. because it's quite expensive and you know you worry about making mistakes and I think with copper it's cheaper to buy it's quite forgiving you can do lots with it and lots of um, what called cold connections as well so we're not soldering the joints we're yeah. not soldering the jump rings so there's this is all cold connections it's all just made by hand there's no heat on it but what I think is lovely with copper is that when you heat it it takes on this beautiful, bright colours. Yeah. And I think it's such an amazing way, like James was saying before about not having mass produced things. I think it's such an amazing way of making mm. something really, really individual and unique. So that being said, it is quite an easy process. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now there are two ways of doing it. So the first way of doing it well, you have to do this with any piece. So you're going to get it in your insulated tweezers. So you're going to protect your fingers. Now, you're not using huge amounts of heat on this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't have to worry too much. But you obviously need to protect your fingers from the metal. So you need some of these heat insulated pliers. They're yeah. not expensive. And I'm just working with some quite thin copper shapes. And the reason I like to work with quite thin ones is because they take the heat very quickly, so yeah. you're not having to heat them up too much. Now, I've got this one to one side because I want to show you in a minute with this one. But what I'm going to do first is get my little trusty torch, which sometimes doesn't light, which is why I bought two. Let's see if my trusty one. Trusty one's not happening. Thank you. Oh, I thought you were going to do some kind of like holster. Harsh words. <laughs> well, no, they may, that may happen in a second if this <laughs> one doesn't work. So, if we get going, right. Uh -huh. Now, under the studio lights, you may not be able to see the colour changes quickly. But what we're looking for is just getting a bit of heat on it, just to get a bit, so you can see starting to get a little bit of colour in it. I don't mm. know whether you can see there. Yeah. So all we do now is you wait. Now you can do it two ways. You can either hold it, give it a fan about, or you can quench it and start again. Now when you quench it, what you're going to notice is these colours are going to change slightly. But that's fine mm. because we're going to keep adding layers and layers. So heat back up again when it's cooled down a little bit and just you can just literally just touch here and there. Now you can see that blue and that pink is coming out there. And it's incredible, the colour change. I don't know whether you can pick it up on the camera. Yeah, we know we're on the overhead. We can see yeah. those blues, yeah. So back in again with a little bit. Yeah. Now, I'll show you what happens if I quench it in the water. The colours have faded slightly. 
Now that's fine. So we're just going to go back. And as I said, we're not working with super high heat. So I will tell you a secret in a minute about the bracelet that I've made there. But you just go back in and you just pick it up again from where you left off. And bit by bit, you'll get other colours. Now, you don't have to do the quenching process. As I said, you can just stand and just fan it until it cools and then go back and heat it back up. Now, you can get gorgeous patterns if you use the torch cleverly. And sometimes, if you just hold the torch like that, you can get like, can you see that line uh, up here? Yes. And just here. And you'll just get little line effects. It's not, I mean, for me, it's not a precise art. Now, there are artists who do the most incredible things with copper, and they literally create works of art with them. I am not one of those. Oh, artists. you clearly are. Don't do yourself to service. You can see how beautiful you can make that piece of copper. Now, the reason I've got this one here, I'll just put this one to one side for a second, is sometimes you'll go too far or you think it's too far and your piece of copper turns grey and you think, oh no, I've ruined it. Well, copper, as I said, is incredibly forgiving. And to be honest, what I have found is if you go to grey first and then you come back to it afterwards, you'll get even better colours. So this is a grey piece that I overworked before and as you work on it again and put heat onto it it will start picking mm. up the colors again so don't ever think I've ruined it and I can't go back to it because again as I said it's Persevere. incredibly forgiving and you can see there lovely look at how bright those colors are ah gorgeous. Incredible. That's, that's gorgeous I love copper painting it is beautiful. Now, what I've brought with me as well, now, you probably noticed these are not my nails because nobody who works with silver has nails yeah. that look like this <laughs> underneath. But <laughs> these little things are obviously not used on my nails, but they're perfect. Again, when you're working with metals, you think that you need all these fancy tools and things. You don't. These are perfect just for if, if you've got your copper and you think, well, I don't like that. I'm not ha happy with it. I want to you know, start again, change colour. All you need to do is give it a bit of a file out. Yeah. And again, buff it up with the other one. There you go. And you can use these on silver as well. They bring up yeah. a lovely shine on silver too. And then you can start again. Now, what I was going to say is, because we're not using very high heats, and I'll bring this over here, because we're not using very high heats, and you can see what I've created there, you can get away if you're careful with painting with the stones in place. Now, I actually painted this yesterday with all the stones in place. Wow. Wow. So just being really careful not to sort of yeah, get them just under. literally just holding it with the edge of your tweezers yeah. and just literally dancing the flame around. And those stones are absolutely fine. And that was Mukai, Tiger's Eye, there was a little bit of Labradorite. Um, and the absolutely stunning. Beautiful. So yep. And and I assume so, uh, Adam was just director Adam was just saying. So if you texture it, is the flame painting going to enhance that 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 visual? Mm -hmm. It does a little bit because I I do a lot of metal stamping as I said. So and you can see on these, there's all separate little pictures on here. Mm -hmm. And I find that when I use the flame painting, it definitely makes these pictures bounce out more. And I think also it's just it's created like beautiful sort of sunset scenes on every one yeah, of them. Yeah, it's lovely. And the thing is, again, you know, these colours they don't last forever, mm. so they will fade. But equally, if you're making to sell, then you know, obviously, you're going to make sure that your customers are aware of that. But then you can do one of two things. You can either say to them, you know, I mean, they pattern are on their own and they look beautiful as yeah, they age anyway. Copper, yeah. Absolutely. But then you can also offer to recolor them if they want. Or equally, and I've done this on my own selling page, is I've shown a little tutorial how to do the flame painting, suggested they buy a little brulee torch, yeah. and then they can have a go at it themselves afterwards. Wow, perfect. Amazing. Nikki, that was fantastic. Wow. Well done. Amazing. Thank Honestly. You. I know I'm going to go have a go at that very soon. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you've got a brulee it's torch, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, definitely. Have you got two of those? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bet you have. That was absolutely fantastic. Thank well, you. I tell you what, I spotted in your bracelet there, Nikki, that you use the nephrite. In, um, oh, yes, I did. Yes, the right nephrite. The um, that's an eternal knot. So yes. I love nephrite and mm -hmm. all your jades really alongside copper. I think Stunning. it really works as a colour. So we're going to bring the graphics live for that. Is that right? So keep your eyes peeled on that. Again, it is um, type A grade. Seriously, absolutely amazing. Well done, both. Oh, thank um, you. It's been you a did a fantastic job. And like I said, it's not easy. It's a very strange environment to be in. <laughs> well, I'm clapping. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm Sorry. 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 I'm a big, big, big round of applause. Thank you. Yeah, you really are absolutely amazing. And I generally do not envy the decision that's got to be made. Yeah. I think we should keep you all. Yes, please. Personally, <laughs> I think really? that would be really nice. Wouldn't that be amazing? Because they're all so lovely as well, everybody. I mean, you're wonderful. Oh, um, you. So we'll see you a little bit later on in the show, um, in the 12 o'clock hour. Um, also, oh, yes. Oh, no. Right. You can choose one <laughs> each. <laughs> you get stuff as well when you come yes. here. <laughs> I know. So Ethiopian opal. Would you? Who would like the black? Who would like the ladies first? Oh, James, thank you. Well, I am going to choose the one that I think James. Well, I'm, no, I'm going to let James have what I think he would love, which would be the black, because I know James, <laughs> and I, I know that James like James has a dark side. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he does. I like it. The good dark side. He likes dark side. Dark but dark side. Dark so, side. Black Ethiopian opal for James and then the Fabulous. lovely white as well. Both amazing. They really are both incredible. So there you go. Thank you. Well done. Uh, well done both. So Thank you so much. Applause, everybody. Now, James and Nikki will be back in the studio at 12 o'clock as well, or round about in the 12 o'clock hour anyway. Um, oh my goodness me. Amazing. How that incredible. was incredible. Yeah, the demos are amazing. And also, it's really not easy to demonstrate because you've got a camera above you. You've got to try and do what you got to do, you know, whilst keep it in shot. And you did it so perfectly. Yeah, you was really so did. Good. All four, absolutely amazing. Um, now we're going to cut to a very short break, everybody. There. Um, oh, before we do though, let's bring that price down on your left, right? Here it is. <laughs> um, now it's double carved, pure white mutton fat. So. This is, I know it's not the most beautiful description, but it is what they've used throughout history um, and widely considered to be one of the most um, expensive colours and varieties of jade in the world. The endless knot, I mean, look at that. And I'm assuming. I love that. Is there little little drill holes in there as well that you can actually be through? Sides? Oh, it's drilled oh, through this drill. way. Drilled through. through. Oh, drilled through. Absolutely perfect. How amazing is that? So it's yeah. really discreet. Let's introduce your uh, Britain's Next Gem price point. There we go. We get we get to blame you for these price <laughs> drops, basically, and that's it in a good way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, what? What though? Seriously, really? what? That's very very good. <laughs> It's natural, natural mutton fat nephrite. And it's lovely. <laughs> it's beautiful. I, you know, it's a dreadful description, isn't it? But it's not my description, <laughs> mutton fat. Mutton fat However, yeah. for such an amazing, uh, amazing gemstone, um, with these wonderful translucents, 9.99, it is all down to the wonderful excitement of our Britain's Next Gem uh, contestants being here in the studio. So is there quantity then, Roscoe? We've got a hundred available. Um, I can't see the call screens at the moment. That's one of our teething issues that we have here. Oh. But don't worry, we'll sort it all out. And it is very, very busy today as well. Um, keep your messages coming through to the studio as well. Um, if you uh, want to drop a message to our fabulous, t uh, our fabulous contestants who are doing an amazing, amazing job, you've got a well-deserved coffee now. I think <laughs> you can breathe now oh. and realise you can go. I did good. Give you yourselves a massive. Over. Yeah. yeah. Give yeah. yourselves a massive yeah. pat on the back because. Honestly, that was that, that was, was incredible. Yeah, really good. So um, now we're going to dive into a break. Make sure you're checking out your basket. This is an absolute steal of a deal. And uh, we'll see Nikki and James at the end of the show. Don't go anywhere because we shall we be back after this with the deal of the day. <laughs> Jewelry makers, head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever. We have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off. So head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our Bling It Back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear.
Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. By popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. To know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker Welcome back, jewelry makers. Oh, I'm excited about the deal of the day today as well. Ooh. Amazing. What an amazing show today. Yeah. And aren't our um, Britain's Next Gem is just amazing. I mean, you know, it's not easy to demo on live television, and they all did the most fantastic. So as someone who has to do it and has been in their shoes, you know, all power to them. That was amazing. Yeah, I so professional. I totally agree with you. Now, um, everything is available on pre-order for you all, folks. So um, we do also have a guest joining us at 11 o'clock today, which is going to be amazing. Those opals we're going to be bringing you to you as well. But your deal of the day is something that, and I and genuinely, I start my preparations for a show. Um, sometimes preparations can be really quick. Sometimes it can be like a couple of hours worth. It all depends. And this is yesterday was probably about an hour and a half, two hours of actually reading into the history of these. Now, I don't have the time to do the long winded uh, presentation. However, um, I, well, the hand itself, uh, I realized historically has been used in jewelry over multiple centuries. Really? Many, many, many different centuries. You've got the Hamza hand. 
Of course. Of course, mm -hmm. you've got the, um, is it, are, they, are they described FIBA, Phoebe, FIBA hands? Um, anyway, where they're interlocking and also very uh, much in your Celtic jewellery Oh yes, jewelry yeah, yeah, like as well. in the cladder rings. Cladder yeah. rings, yeah, absolutely. Sometimes holding your hearts yeah. and things like that. Um, holding hands together is like a symbol of friendship and unity and things. Um, this is what we could refer to as a glory hand and it's kind of held on to, it could be classed as a wreath um, or, um, or a wedding band or something like that lots of meanings and it's it's from from the Hamza hand to the Victorian and Edwardian era there was lots of enamel precious metal carvings all using the hand which as well I have to point out the fact we all know how difficult it is to sketch a hand don't we oh it's so difficult to draw hands isn't it let alone do that in how do that in a precious metal I mean you'd have to cast it wouldn't you yes yes I assume so I'm going to show you the back but then also look but also then historically and like I said I could I could chew your ears off for hours about this <laughs> I really could it was fascinating learning about it even down to the presentation uh, so the, the you know positioning rather of the of the fingers and the thumbs really? you know they meant different things too um okay so right let's get cracking because that's another teething problem we've just rectified but i've noticed that um okay we can't show anything as of yet on presentation no worries it doesn't matter <laughs> we'll make up for it in deals it's all good so i'm going to start with the gold plated 925 sterling silver hand that of course you can use as a connector yep. as a pendant yep. lovely with um, a baroque pearl hanging from it nice so would you have it in that direction Oh, oh, the other way, I think. You'd go the other way. This way. That's the beauty of it, though. You could. Do, has it got a loop on both ends? Yes. Oh, yes, it has. Now, yeah, absolutely. I, again, Adam's just sort of saying, like, power. Absolutely. Yeah. You've got that kind of... Lots of meanings. Well, you think about... We use our hands every day, don't we? Yeah. You know, that we express ourselves using our hands. Yeah, we so, do. Um, yeah. To actually have them um, in, in, in jewellery as well. It's, it is a very expressive depiction, isn't it? Um, we're at 19.99. I've got 50 available, lovely jewelry makers. Oh, is that all? That is all in the gold plated 925 sterling silver. I don't know if you can see just here. There's the silver one, which we're going to be bringing to you on the, on the back. Look at that lovely detail. Oh, that, and look, that detail, to get that on there. I mean, to make that would be such a palaver, as a yeah. word my mum used to like, palaver. Oh, I like palaver. I like palaver. But, um, you know, what I love about this as well, if you're a jewellery maker, then you use your hands, don't you? Yeah. So if you want to give something to a, to a, to a crafter, yeah. you could use this. In Absolutely. Your, now, we're at £20, 19.99, but we are not stopping there. We are going even lower. Good luck, though, because there's only 50 available. Gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Yeah, and like I said, in, in, in preparation and sort of researching this, I realised that this is a, a symbol, effectively, that has been used for hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of years. Yeah. You know, um, like you said, the cladder rings, yep. um, Hamza hands. friendship rings, Hamza yeah. hands, and lots of different meanings, unity. Um, here we go. So I can show you a few of these photographs. There we go. This was an article that I read at length. Um, how do you pronounce that? Feed? Is it feed know. rings? Yeah, feed. Um, uh, but there's an article here um, showcasing actually the brief history um, of elegant hands in jewellery and they're positioned in different ways. Oh. Um, I can't read it from there, but there's that lovely Hollywood A-lister uh, from, from, from years ago wearing exactly that. Um, again, I think this is very similar, very, very yes. similar to what you're actually seeing. This is obviously an antique piece of jewellery, um, but it's the same motif, isn't it? Then the interlocking hands just here this there's a fabulous article and I'm more than happy to send it to you all um, um, in the jewelry editor that talks about talks about hands and the meaning of hands and jewelry but it's a lots of things it can be friendship love unity uh, um, strength power I think we've covered lots of them nine pounds and 99 what? pence only I know I would be people will multi buy on this won't we because we haven't seen hands here at jewelry maker no, have we and you know very very difficult to get hold of because i looked for hands about uh, two months ago oh why did you need hands because i liked the look of them and i wanted hands on um, something that was making for my friend and do you know what i had to do i had to buy a pair of earrings from abroad and take them apart and that was base metal yeah 
and then I still didn't use them because I didn't really like them when they came. Oh. Because to make this is such a palaver, you mm. would have to cast it. And because of the intricacy of it, even casting it, you'd have to do lots of finishing unless you casted it perfectly. Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they're they? They're absolutely stunning. So when I saw that, I think Susie had some kits with similar things in, didn't she? A couple of days ago, I bought that kit and it's just arrived, the Spinel one with a hand in. Amazing, absolutely gorgeous. There was only 50, so good luck. Um, make sure you're checking out your basket. Um, I also have, just to give you a little sneaky peek and stick in with the gold, this is very beautiful. Ooh. There's 50 of these available. Ah, oh, I would use this with the hand. That, yeah, because you could hang that from the hand. You could also engrave on that. Um, you could stamp on that. We were just talking about stamping. You could set a stone on there. We had that little um, punch setting, stone setting tool a few months ago. There's lots you could do with that to customise. Yeah, I and love look at the that. Chains. Yeah, these chains are also coming up, everybody. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful. 46 seconds. We are, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on. You're 9.99 already, Ross. And we're going even lower. Again, you know, Claire made me this lovely bracelet um, last week. How beautiful, just putting that incorporated that would in a long beautiful. time. Yes, it would. Stunning. Awesome. Obviously on your chains that are coming up as well. I love that texturing. You know, hands, hearts, stars. The, yeah. It's all the meanings yeah. today, isn't it? It's all that jewelry telling a story. Love it. You can put dates on there. They're large enough. I mean, I, yeah. um, you, I've just, or what? <laughs> yeah um no dates as in maybe de i don't know anniversary not dates as in that that you eat um i mean it's up to you who are, who are you make your rules um amazing we're at 9.99 that's already absolutely incredible have we got quantity roscoe 50. i think i'll guess these bless you in advance <laughs> You know one of those really annoying ones? The air conditioning's like, uh, making my nose run. Sorry, no, it's past now, sorry. Uh, 6 99 <laughs> I just did that for a minute. I just pull that face, don't you? Yeah. It, it stops you, it's a thing. <laughs> oh, dear me. I would be absolutely stocking up on these. I love those, and the price is so... 6 99 I know. <laughs> it's gone down again since the last look. Yeah, pendant charms and earrings. Yeah, but They're all of the above, aren't they? But this is sterling silver. It's gold plated sterling silver. Absolutely. Couldn't make it for that. No, I, I totally agree with you. Um, now we have 50 of them. Time is absolutely flying by this morning, isn't it? Goodness me. Um, we can't see your names, but we know you're there. We do know you're there. <laughs> um, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Those chains are coming up as well. Um, that will go absolutely beautifully, both with your hand and also with the actual heart itself. Well done. Keep on dialing through, everybody. Um, and now on to... The chain. Okay, I'm just going to borrow this bust for a second here. Now, I've got two different chains. Sure. Here we go. Here we go. Shall we start with the Figaro or the rope chain? Can I follow, uh, Can we start with this beautiful rope? Because that's stunning. Absolutely. Well, they're both stunning. So here we go. Take this. Oh, I want to get some of these. I hope there's quantity of them because I'm desperate. De this is like the more rope design. Um, how lovely is that? And how often is it? We don't see gold-plated silver chains that we, often, we do we? We do not. And like just putting that heart or the hand on yeah. there. And you know, when you when I've looked at pieces of jewellery like this online, they feel like a hundred plus pounds um, sometimes. And then you can further personalise that or not. I mean, it's lovely as it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would wear it, it on its own. Or you can put one gemstone on, um, on a head pin and just put it so it sits in the middle of the heart. Yeah. That would be pretty. Stunning, we're going to do it in one price crash, jewellery makers. Good luck, everyone. So this is a classic 18-inch, uh, wonderful gold-plated sterling silver rope chain. There we go. 9.99. There's a big gram weight within this as well, isn't there? That's incredible. Big, big gram weight. How beautiful. Whether it's with your heart, whether it's with the hand as well, which way, whichever way you would actually wear it, maybe... 
let's hold it in this direction and then you could put maybe a cluster of your gemstones underneath absolutely yeah, gorgeous brand new i can't remember the last time i actually saw a gold plated sterling silver chain and i am desperate for them as well yeah someone asked me if i could get some from work a while ago um who asked you a friend for a gift yeah and i said we don't have any we didn't yeah. at the time no i'm uh, is there quantity roscoe 50 all the gold we only have 50 available so keep on dialing through on this one absolutely fantastic i shall be joining you now on to the figaro 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 sorry you can't, figaro, figaro, figaro. You can't say it in a, in a normal manner can you a bit like tubes tubes <laughs> um <laughs> again lots of you dialing in already for this one it is absolutely gorgeous um fabulous 18 inches it's a necklace isn't it i know it says on our screens chain but it's a necklace you could wear it on its own well that's the style at the minute it's actually layering the chains yeah. isn't it yeah absolutely you know, layering them and so you could layer both of those for like 20 quid yeah, it's crazy isn't it? madness isn't it i mean when you look at if you go into high street shops clothes shops that do jewelry as well like more of the high-end ones like your zara's your marks and spencers that are places mm -hmm. like that um they would charge that for base metal yeah easily base metal absolutely and these aren't base metal and these are sterling silver with gold plating so most most jewelers if you go to a say right i want a um i want a gold plated chain but i want it to be silver um if you go into a jewelers it's a premium to get hold of the gold plated silver now we put the silver hand on pre-order and it has gone absolutely crazy folks um so let's introduce that next opportunity um wow absolutely amazing again ah oh, there's 200 of these that? yes please over 50 have already gone on pre-order so well surprised. done uh, well you know that jewelry maker have got your back you know they're absolutely going to bring you the best possible saving you're so right to, to actually source something like this even though it's steeped in history and you know they have probably been like i know uh, um tiffany's and co yep. did, did hands chanel did hands uh -huh. quite a lot so it's very elegant aren't they a cluster is quite an elegant part of our body it's been something and uh, having said this complete coincidence honestly i did not know we were bringing hands i did as i said before try and source them because i wanted to make my own jewelry with hands and i couldn't find anywhere no that where i could just get the hands before this so i know that jewelry makers will just go yes i know exactly what i want to do with absolutely that. absolutely under 10 pounds straight away we've got 200 of them but we're not where we are closing it is all down to the quantity of this jewelry makers that we're going even lower um so good luck to you all apparently symbol is a, fe a femininity as well yeah symbolic of femininity Love that. um many of you apparently have multi-bought about 90 percent Wow, that's amazing. So um, lovely to be with you all. We had 200, we're going lower. When we have the bigger quantity, then usually it means that Ross can work his magic and push that price tag uh, down even lower. Are we ready? Are you I'm ready? ready? Lovely earrings if, you bought, if you've oh, bought lovely. two. I'd put that on a cord as well, purely because of con uh, quantity. $7.99. That's out of this world. That's one of the best deals that I've seen for a long time. Look at the detail of the hand. Look how detailed. I mean, you know, I've seen some hands before and you know, fair enough, but this is beautiful. Yeah, some hand, it's difficult to get the hand right, to isn't get, it? Yeah, and like you said, it's hard to draw a hand. Yeah. You know, that's a lot, you try and draw something, you'd kind of try and leave the hands out or put the hands behind the back or in the lap because it's a difficult one. But imagine trying to smith this, like to actually make this out of precious metal. It's a beautiful, soft, realistic, Look at the thumb. Yeah. You know, so you could have two of these for earrings. And then once you come down from the hand, then you've got this beautiful detail actually on the cuff there. And it, I just think it's an absolute quality charm. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I'll leave it with you because there are loads of you there. We've got a big quantity of them, but there's a lot to squeeze in today. Now, if you love the gold plated heart with that lovely hammered effect on the, mm -hmm. uh, um, on the exterior. Now I've got a hundred available comes with its jump ring now this is going to be an on-screen sellout one auction are you ready i'm ready this is so astley clark yes it is very very yeah. astley clark also a little bit um philippa herbert as well she works a lot with pieces and shapes like this what what 4.99 straight down to it how much 
A gram of solid sterling silver. That's amazing. That is, uh, and it's you a. You generally a, couldn't make it. For that, it's not teeny. You? I know sometimes television makes things look bigger, but it's not teeny at all. No. It's a really good size. Well, yeah. Again, let me use the bra yeah. my bracelets. It's look. a, it's a big charm. Yeah. It's not teeny. It's not like we're trying to make it look bigger than it is. It's uh -uh. absolutely great size. It's not too big. It's not definitely not teeny. I'd say that's perfect because you can put a date on there, initial on there, set a gemstone on there. Can you sell her like this? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I, I hope you're going to plan on actually getting hold of these during the break because they are absolutely oh, yeah. flying out. Um, congratulations, everybody. And keep those messages coming through. It's going to be an absolute brand new studio. I know. I know. We're feeling very excited about our brand new studio. Um, we've got Britain's Next Gem going on as well, which is fabulous. Let's bring you some. Uh, oh, there they are. Sorry, Deb. To lean across Do you want this one as well? Yeah, let's bring you the matching. So we have literally brought you the exactly the same chains, both in the silver and in the gold. Um, these are brand new. Um, so again, make sure you're ready to check out your baskets because we always, always need chains, don't we? So are you happy at 9.99 when you consider? Absolutely you happy know, at that. Chain like this, this gram weight, this quality Definitely. elsewhere would be more. Yeah, it just I've so I know I've harped on about this before, but I was so surprised to see how much silver was on the high street. Only yeah. because I went with someone who was looking for jewellery and it wasn't an expensive jeweller that I went into and like, you know, chains are like yeah. forty quid, thirty quid, and I'm like, Oh, you you can't get an expensive silver anymore because the price of metal has gone up so much. I'm very happy at nine ninety nine with Yeah, that. I think that's a fantastic price tag. So we're starting with the rope. Yeah, starting with the rope, then we'll lead into the Figaro. Um, beautiful. We're not stopping there, though. You've got just shy, a whisper, some might say, um, under two grams of sterling <laughs> um, A whisper under two grams of sterling silver. Classic 18-inch, does depend on your build, I guess, but um, on me, it's going to sit kind of just under, uh, underneath the nape of the neckline. Uh, 7 99 only for one of the heavier gram weight chains as well uh, that we actually have available. Um, on to the Figaro, that's coming up in a few moments' time. Good luck, everybody. They've never been on your screens. Two grams. It's a heavy chain, then. It's actually one of the heavier chains that we've had here in the studio, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely chain. It's... Um you know, it's not one of those kind of wispy, look at it, and it'll break chains. There's, yeah. There's, you've got a real substance to it. Yeah. They stick to you. Yeah, they do. I, I don't like that. No, those. I don't like it. Is it seven ninety nine? It's seven ninety nine. Oh, that's a brilliant price. For two grams as well. Two grams of sterling silver. You can't go wrong with jewellery maker. You, you just you can't. Absolutely, I generally don't know. I mean, that, that, by the way, is like beyond wholesale. You're so right. And it's free postage and packaging yeah, as well. Yeah, it's just a no-brainer today. It really is. Studio P and P. Use that code during your checkout um, to get free postage and packaging. Yeah, I know shopping channels that charge post and packaging per item yeah. and it's not, I tell you what, it's not 3 95 it's like £8 plus. And if you just wanted a chain, often you'll think, oh I won't buy that chain because I'm going to have to pay the postage and packing. Today you can get that one thing that you've been wanting and you don't have to add the postage and packing. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to wait. It, it does bump it up if you just want or can just afford one thing. Yeah, So absolutely. if you just want the chain, that's all you're going to pay. Yeah. Amazing, fabulous. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check it out, though. These are absolutely fly. So we've brought you the um, gold, um, gold-plated sterling silver in the Figaro and in the silver. Um, and likewise, with your rope chain, brought it to you in the gold and also in the silver. Now, something that has literally just touched down. We have a very, very, very special auction opportunity. Um, this is one of those auctions that the product is meant to be launched alongside the likes of your Dave uh, oh, yeah. um, or, or, or Wayne. Now there's a hundred available opportunities on this. Now it's one of those auctions, um, Ross is saying that if there's, you, if you choose one thing today, we think it should be this. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, we're celebrating meeting new friends, new studio, very exciting day. Um, this is just arrived we, we heard about it the conversations we knew this is on uh, on the horizon but it has just touched down in the studio so i haven't got a recording we've just taken a photograph effectively to load onto the website so you know we said earlier on this morning that you know are we ever going to regret our jadeite purchases genuine question genuine question do you think do you think 
any jadeite purchase that you make right now especially from jewelry maker i'm talking yeah. about now never mind elsewhere because you're so right what you said earlier on it's he, it. he, <laughs> no because uh, i'm not tarnishing everyone with the same brush but there no, are no. establishments that will use the jade umbrella and it's a very loose term and it's not the rarity that is jadeite which ultimately is not an investment stone no now you know when you are buying from us here at Jewelry Maker that they are gemologically certified. They are sent to. Um, uh, I've been to the gem labs that we send us to, and yeah. it's you know it's incredibly advanced technique techniques, and we certify those as well. Um, so you know what you are purchasing, which is so invaluable. Now we're not going to make you wait for this because we're going to introduce the graphics straight away. The quality of this jadeite is a lot, I genuinely believe this some of the best that you'll ever see um, it's got a selection of your colors but can I just show you one firstly just because this is one that I gravitate to this is what I'm referring to oh. look at that translucency it's some of the best jadeite that I've ever seen gorgeous. in the studio wow and we have do you know what can I just tell you that one on its own should be more than the price of this strand wow now, when we say mega deal, you will look at where we're starting from. I mean, jewelry makers, when do we ever bring type A jade and start there? We don't, do we? Because that some anything this gemmy, because where we start is where we believe it's an unwritten rule, is where we believe it would be retail, so recommended retail price. And these are conversations that we've had with that, like uh, your assay, you know, that these are prices that it would not be unusual for you to find in your fully fledged luxury jewelers, like your Gumps, say, um, mm. or uh, um, Christie's or Bonhams. For this quality, it wouldn't be seven, five, six. No. It's gonna be considerably more than that. I tell you what, I tell you what, a very reputable establishment that it, that specializes solely in jade jade of like for like quality have a look on mason and k mason and k they sell only jadeite only type a jadeite much like us here at jewelry maker now see what price they would bring something like this for and it'll be exactly the same it's not a different gemstone it's not a different quality look oh. at the grade <laughs> that you are getting it's a lovely now already that's so stunning it's unbelievable isn't it yeah it's amazing you've got some of the finest qualities and saturations that central one is like a really beautiful vibrant apple green and it's so translucent we're at 299 pounds we have a hundred of these available jewelry makers now i can't see your names right now <laughs> but and i know this is literally just touched down here in the uh, it, it, well in the vault um, Roscoe, would you mind just preparing me? What are you taking this to, or what, what if you have permission to take it to? Wow, okay, okay, okay. Um, and I asked that question on your behalf, jewelry makers. Um, genuinely, genuinely, this is probably one of the best deals you'll ever have. Hello, Sally, nice to hear from you. I love your jade. I, um, it's fantastic. I have never been anything uh, other than wowed with my purchases. Sally, I totally agree with every word that you have just said there. Totally, totally agree. Th this is the thing. <laughs> If you know that it is type A jadeite, and if you see type A jadeite anywhere else, if we're lucky to, you are not going to be seeing it at £756, and you're not going to be seeing it at £299. There's, now, I can tell you what, Mason & K, a single bead on a cord, and I don't know what the size is. How much is that? I can't see from here. $180. Wow. One bead? One bead on leather. Goodness me. Or cord, whatever it might be. It might even be rubber. I'm not sure. Oof. We're under £100 and we're not even done. Okay. I can't see your names. Ross can. Ross? I totally agree with you. If there's one purchase that you make, even if you're well stocked on your jadeite, 
uh, I'll say it again. Do you think we're ever going to we're ever going to regret our jewelry like purchases? No, we're not. And I, you know, with the history of jewelry maker, I know for a fact that there's things now that I couldn't afford to buy that I bought from J M back in the day that we just can't get anymore. Yeah. And I I hold my hand up to that most definitely. And it's the same with jadeite because we've got such good deals now. It doesn't mean that we're going to in the future. No, no, and no, pearls well, and told. everything. We've been told by exactly by uh, exactly that pearls jadeite. We have been told by our suppliers Bernard being probably the most obvious who's like look why would I sell them to you at these kind of prices yeah. pandemic is yeah. now over. over we can do um, we can sort of sell Go back, to back to the normal mm. you know he's he's not gonna he's not gonna lose money for his family is he ultimately no. and I get that totally totally get that Whereas before, when we made these big purchases, we were able to negotiate that price tag because his hands were tired. There weren't any gem fairs going on. Um, the quality that you are getting, these are natural type A reds. They should be more than what's on your screens right now. Singularly, what is that? Oh my goodness, have we got permission to do this? 49.99 that's missing a digit that's incredible that's so good if that was 299 it would have been an absolutely incredible price that's, tag is, is it on split pay yeah <gasps> shouldn't be on split that's pay. so good because it makes it affordable to people who've been maybe wanting to get some lovely jade eye and let's face it we haven't all got hundreds of pounds have mm -hmm. we like as much as we may want it 16 pounds 66 Six, yeah. on split payment oh, i that's love that that's amazing do you know, and you might have been watching over the years and seen sort of strands at 299, which by the way is awesome for Jada. For yeah, That's but it's still a prize. Still considered. Yeah, considered, it's still very it? much considered, mm. absolutely. Whereas now we're bringing, and it's not, it's not like a lesser quality here. No, Look no. at the greens. Look, Look at the reds, jades. Mm. And then you've got the pure whites also. We had a hundred. It's one of those opportunities, jewelry makers, where you seize the moment because we cannot repeat opportunities like this. Well done, everybody. Now, coming up after a very, very short break, we have got the fantastic Dave Troth stepping into the studio. I said it was going to be his first experience in the oh, studio yeah. as well. Um, it is going to be a super, a, a super, what day is it? Wednesday. Britain's next gem. We've got the lovely Debbie with her Lucite flowers oh, coming up flowers, as well. Oh, flowers, yeah. And we've got wonderful Dave. Little surprise auction opportunity after this. <laughs> Jewelry makers, head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever. We have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off. So head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our bling it back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. By popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. 
we're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world-famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Welcome back, everybody. Special guest, the wonderful Dave Troth, stepping into our brand new studio <laughs> with a surprise. Hi, Dave. Hey, how are you? How are you guys? Oh, good. Good. good, 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 good. We're finding our feet. Yeah, well, look, uh, I wanted to, to take this moment. We had a showcase planned. We always talk about how we're not corporate, we're not commercial. Um, you know, we're, we're radical, we're different. Uh, and that's exactly what this showcase is about. So the, the showcase that you are kind of tuned in for is a collector's agate showcase with the mm. Nan Hongs. Well, that goes out the window. We can bring you that later today or another time. This news is so important. It's so pressing that we've changed everything. I feel, I feel that you guys need to know this because it is something that our sister channel found out yesterday. Oh, I only found out, uh, you know, within the last few days. And I said, I want every single Tahitian pearl in this showcase. It's everything we have in the vault. It's going to be a very different kind of showcase. Mm. We don't even, it's, it's that kind of uh, um, pressing, it's that different that we've changed it all around, that we don't even have the, the actual pearls here in the studio. They're in our vault, uh, which is in a different location. We haven't even had time to get them over here. We're gonna try and work on that. We, we, we're gonna show you the videos. We, we know the pearls, we've got the pearls, but this is the kind of showcase we're talking about. So yesterday, if anyone tuned in on Jamporia's part of the birthday, I brought a very special collection of faceted Tahitian pearls. Wow. wow. Yeah, which is great. And I know that you guys have seen those as well. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to briefly touch on those because I think it's worth mentioning because we have one of them today. So many, many years ago, in fact, in 1910, uh, a French journalist who was interviewing uh, Peter Carl Fabergé asked him, among other questions, what, in your opinion, will be the, the popular jewellery in 100 years from now? Mm. And, you know, Mr. Fabergé has answered, faceted pearls. And, of course, everyone thought he was joking, but he, maybe he was. But mm. he was a visionary. He'd created, you know, the, the, the legendary now Fabergé eggs. Yeah. And I know the Fabergé company is still active today that, that bears his name. And they bring their kind of miniature pendant replicas of yeah. the Fabergé egg, which is special. Um, and... The idea of fasted pearls even then, well even 20 years ago, was an impossible feat. Um, there is a there is jewellery awards uh, ceremony called the AGTA, which takes place annually. It's kind of like the Oscars of like gem designs, uh, where the, the best cutters, the, the, the most famous uh, jewellery houses, mm. put pieces in. It puts people on the map like David Webb, mm. David Yeoman, uh, Theo Fennell, yeah. uh, the, the list goes on. The, you know, they will have won the, this glittering prize at some point for an innovative, incredible, uh, uh, wonderful piece of jewellery that they've entered into it. It changes the course of history. And the AGTA a few years ago, and I'll introduce you to the AGTA if I may, if for those of you who aren't aware, um, it is the, the Oscars. And there was a piece that picked up an award not too many years ago, and it was for a faceted pearl. Wow. One of the most incredible things that anyone had ever seen. If we just click through that, uh, apologies, Ross, we don't even have the clicker that I usually have. This is the AGTA Spectrum <laughs> Awards. Um, and then if we click through it again, it's all right, Ross. We are what we are. This won the Platinum Honours, which is the highest uh, award that one can win. And it's this legendary pearl. But then there is another incredible pearl, this one here that Katrina Perez was talking about. And you can see it's this faceted peacock Tahitian pearl with a, a South Sea pearl in this one of a kind piece. And as I go through this article that Katrina Perez wrote, I'm gonna read it to you if I may. I'm gonna come a little bit closer so I can get closer. And it says, 
There is a Japanese factory, which is the Komatsu uh, Diamond Industry, that specializes in diamond cut and has done since 1967. We're the first to pioneer this technology. Okay, so they were introduced uh, to, to this, they were kind of commissioned by the Japanese government to do this because mm. at the time, uh, the Japanese Akoya trade was very slow and they said, we need something to reinvigorate it. You know, we're going to go to the best cutters in Japan and hope that they can do it. And their original goal was to find a way of sprucing up the ordinary looking Akoya pearls. And in one of their experiments, they tried applying diamond cutting technology to the pearls. But it took them 20 years to perfect it. And then they just left, right? They did it, amazing, you know, they got global attention. Akoyas went through the roof and it was amazing. But there is another gentleman, um, if I can click through it again, Ross, apologies. There is another gentleman, a Russian gentleman, who has created uh, this as well. He's this gentleman here. Okay, so there are also exclusive exhibits showing off the work of Pearl Cutter, a field of which Viktor Tlusklikov is indisputably the master. See, this guy's the master of this, but even in his life, he's only done it 20 times. 20 wow. times. Oh, so yeah. he is the it's master, incredible. right? The yeah. absolute master. And yet, in his lifetime, he's only faceted 20 of these pearls. And in his pursuit of perf perfect symmetry, half of which can be seen decorating the jewelry of the Russian designer, which I can't pronounce, um, some of which have been donated to the Russian State Depository, and some are in the Kremlin Museum, as a prime example of top quality modern jewelry art. Mm. And then there's two that have found their way into private collections in America. So those pearls that we saw win the AGTA, they're part of that. They're the two that are in America somewhere. And what happens is between these two known pearls that exist, the faceted Tahitians, they've picked up like, I don't know, 10 or 15 awards, not just at the AGTA, but at other ones. And the reality is they win an award, there's a bidding war, someone buys it, they take the pearl out, then they put it in their jewelry, that wins an award. And it's the same two pearls doing the round. Just being Because they're the only two pearls that exist. They're wow. the only two faceted Tahitians that exist. Um, and if we click through it again, Ross, apologies. I was at Tucson, I was at um, Hong Kong, you know, over the last few years, and we know that the price of pearls has gone through the roof. Yeah. We've, been, we've been talking about that with the Koyas, with South Sea. I'm sure our designers have seen it. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure everyone is aware of it. Every single grade from commercial quality, and especially up to the finer goods, has been affected by the COVID pandemic. It's had huge uh, price impacts on the price of pearls, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll show you the, the pricing right now. This was um, kind of up to date as of not too long ago. Right. But in August, and this is something I only found out like this week, in August there was an incredible auction that takes place in Hong Kong every year. And it's where we go with Charlie Brown to buy all of our pearls. Right, so he's introduced us to these people. We buy these incredible pearls. We're talking, we'll buy three years worth of Tahitians in one go. Yeah. So they, they come in like literal vacuum sealed, kind of the size of, potato sacks wow. full of the most incredible pearls. We grade them out, we buy thousands of pearls, and we buy South Sea, and this is where everyone goes to do it. But what's just happened for a Tahitian pearls has never happened in the industry. So, you forgive me, I wanted to speak to you about faceted Tahitians because I think it's important, but the news that we are gonna talk about today is genuinely groundbreaking. Like, to the point where I said to Wayne and the team, I know I'm here for the, the Nan Hong, and I'm meant to be here for the Agates, but you need to, we need to go into the vault and get every single Tahitian pearl, Tahitian pearl and offer it to our collectors. And I'll tell you one thing, uh, openly and honestly, we're never buying Tahitian pearls again. What? We're never How buying, can't... right, because the price has gone stratospheric <gasps> to the point where a strand of like 13 mil Tahitians right now is about 50 to $100,000, a single strand, a single Whoa. strand. So personally, I now know, I only found this out this week because I tried to order some more Tahitian pearls because we're about to just do Charlie Brown's collection on Gemporia. And we know we're gonna sell them all out, as is always the way, so it's like, right, now we need to buy our pearls. Uh, we speak to a gentleman called Sid. Yeah. He's like the biggest pearl dealer in the world. He yeah. owns a uh, Koya Pearl Farms. He owns uh, farms in, in freshwater space in China, so he, he deals with Edison's, he does he, literally everything. He's got head offices in Japan, he's got head offices in Bangkok, which is where I've been, yeah. and he's got head office in Beijing as well. He's, he's factory if you can call it that it's like 10 floors and on each floor you've got different expertise you've got the, the pearl graders here then you've got the pearl stringers here wow. you've got the people that are just doing matched pairs like the, the, it's and, and he's doing everything Tahitian South Sea and I reached out to him he said we're, we're not buying any more Tahitian pearls and what's happened is it's gone crazy in China to the point that and you know uh, Polynesian pearls can only be uh, uh, harvested and, and farmed in French Polynesia, right? Yeah. In like yeah. Tahiti. So it's very small atolls where they can yeah. do it. It's not like you can do them everywhere. To one, one oyster that produces them. And the Chinese have gone out there and they've bought 10 years worth of harvest. 
So they've literally said, we want every pill for the next 10 years. So th these farms are like, okay. Okay. The, the, and, and I'll show you the impact that it's had on the market. If I can go to the next slide, um, if it's okay, Ross. This is my team who put together the collection that I brought to our collectors yesterday. And they said to me, quite openly, that's the strand that sold out yesterday. There's 28 of them, faceted pearl strand. Okay. They said, uh, please note that the pearls are, are pitted um, for, for the round shape. If you want 12 mil, it'd be $800 a single pearl today, oh 12 mil. Um, and they say, um, you, you've got to check the current price in the market. For reference, these strands that we have provided, that I sold yesterday, uh, with the colors that yours displays are selling for fifty thousand dollars wholesale wholesale um the t-shirt pearl industry has changed overnight whole harvests have been reserved for the next 10 years a genuine conch necklace would be more affordable right now and if we go to the next slide i'll show you why so it's all down to one incredible influencer in china who has like a billion followers um so the genius thing that the An team influencer of, yeah, in fact go, go to it we'll show everyone ross if that's okay go to the next slide a billion followers. Yeah, so this is the message exchange that I had with Sid. Okay, so I said, um, I asked him because they're buying him up. He said, I just need to check what stock I have first. Stock has been low as prices have shot up, so things sold really fast the last couple of months. Yeah, Chinese superstar wore a Tahitian necklace and it went up like crazy. Chinese are going to Tahiti to buy all Tahiti pearls. They're even buying blind, right? So they don't even know what they're buying, some of them. Right. They've just got this, this money, they know there's a huge market for it. And they're going over there and they're just like, we'll buy anything low grade, everything, forcing the price up. Um, and then if we go to the next bit, there's a little bit moment of this. I said, that's crazy. Who's the superstar? And he said, let me see if I can find something. And he sent this. And if we go to the next slide, it's a, an influencer called Nini. And she's absolutely rocked the Tahitian pearl market. And we'll read this right now. If I go to the next slide, this is the article. Um, and it says, last week, the Tahitian pearl market in Hong Kong experienced an unprecedented surge. And it's all thanks to a single individual, the renowned Chinese actress and influencer Nini. Experts who had been in the pearl buying industry for two decades were astonished. They, they can't believe it. They said Nini uh, is celebrated for her outstanding performance in the 2011 film Flowers of War, recently embarked on a unique pearl wearing social media campaign while advertising her latest film, which is called Lost in the Stars. Now she's actually a pearl aficionado, she knows pearl. She's oh, not I just see. an actress. So being a, a pearl aficionado, uh, she marked the moves, uh, the movie's immense success, a staggering box office uh, uh, collection of three billion by sharing 30 selfies with a particular focus on Tahitian pearls. Following this showcase, the industry eagerly anticipated the September Robert One auction, which is a key highlight at the Asia World Expo. This is, took place last month. Hmm. It's where we buy all the pearls in Hong Kong. It's called the World Expo. Both buyers and vendors had it marked on their calendars, um, with many international buyers flying in exclusively for the auction. So again, let me just let you know, the, the, the Asia World Expo, we call the Hong Kong Gem Show. That is the biggest gem show in the world, like 90,000 people descend on it. And the Robert One auction is the pearl part of it. And it's like where everyone goes to buy their pearls, whether you're wow. Mickey Moto, whether you're Gemporia, whether you're Yoko of London, that's where everyone stocks up on their pearls. Okay. So everyone's, you know, oh my God, this has happened. Let's go and see what happens. Well, I'll show you what happened. If we go to the next slide, I'll read it to you, um, if that's okay. Yeah, so um, as, the events, as the event officially commenced, it was clear that the impact of Nini's promotion was colossal. Booths were teeming with eager buyers, many of whom were so determined to purchase that some stores closed within the very first hour. They wow. had that whole booth of pearls bought out in an hour. Then stocks uh, entirely depleted. It is noteworthy to mention that almost all of the enthusiastic buyers hailed from China. A highlight from the event is the astonishing sale of exquisite multicolored Tahitian strands. These strands between nine and 11 mil fetch close to $50,000. Wow. Just a strand of nine mil. Yeah. And those measuring 12 mil fetch double that. Wow. So the Ooh. difference between one mil yeah. is $50,000 to $100,000. That's it's crazy. Double. It's double. No one's seen prices ever like it. They say they're all authenticated with lab certificates. Such price tags are reminiscent of the pearl industry's golden days in the early 90s. And let's not forget these prices are from a wholesale trade only yeah. event. Yeah. Uh, but in an unforeseen twist, the auction was suddenly called off. The whole auction, the Robert One auction, I mean, millions, hundreds of thousands of pearls, millions and millions of dollars. Everyone's flown in, thousands of people from all over the world. The whole auction was stopped. Um, and rumor has it that a buyer from China approached Robert, Robert Wan directly with a proposal to buy out the entire auction collection for a sum significantly higher than expected or auction earnings, a move unheard of in Robert Wan's entire history. No one's ever done that. One buyer came in and said, I'll take every pearl in this I'll building. Buy more. Yeah. 
in summary, the immense uh, sway of one single influ influencer, Nini, managed to send ripples across the Tahitian pole market, leaving the industry both astonished and inspired. That's incredible. So I'm just letting you know, we're never buying Tahitian poles again. Like, they're not there. We can't afford them. It's impossible, is the reality. What we wow. are, we're already trying to, you know, think of other things we can bring because we know you love those pearls. So we're going to get the dyed peacock pearls, yeah. try and find those colors. But the, the, the days of you having access to Haitian pearls are gone. You've got a market 1.4 billion strong, right, that, that will pay any price for these pearls. And they come from one place in the world. And they've already, I mean, we've just seen what happened at the auction. I'm hearing from my, my guys, you know, um, both my team in Hong Kong, mm. who produced the collection I did yesterday, were like, not a chance. And uh, Sid, who's probably the biggest bar of Tahitian pearls in the world, saying, no, no. They're, they're, they've already gone to French Polynesia. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I can't even get a look in for 10 years. And these are pearl farms in Tahiti that he's worked with and his family have worked with for 20, 30 years. You know, the, the reality is... They've got is, that relationship. Oh my God, yeah. Like he's, the, I would say, genuinely the biggest bar of Tahitian pearls in the world. Because wow. they go to him and then he sells them on to us, to, you know, the mm. Mickey Motor, the biggest brands. Like they don't want to be flying to Tahiti. They're going to someone like Sid, mm. who buys up everything, grades them all. It's all nicely done, right? Yes. That's for you, Mickey Moto. This is for you, Gemporia. This is, and he can't buy them. Wow. Ten years worth, not just Robert Wan. They bought every pearl in Hong Kong. Yeah. Right. Every pearl in Hong Kong, which is where everyone buys their pearls. That's not enough. They're like, we'll buy every pearl for the next ten years. Name your price. Literally name so your price. So there's literally no way around okay, this. Let's be let's be Even really honest. Let's pockets. be really honest. A single strand of nine mil Tahitian pearls is fifty thousand dollars wholesale. Wow! Uh, you've worked in a jewelry store. Yeah. What's the markup? Oh, four hundred percent at okay, least. Four hundred percent at least. So that's a what a two hundred thousand dollar necklace. Oh. And then you double that. You mm. double it. Not my words. That's the words of Robert Wan, the article, who's, yeah. who's just had everything bought out, saying. Yeah. Yeah. And if you jump from ten mil to eleven, no, was it eleven mil to twelve mil? You can bring it up. Eleven mil to twelve mil double it and then they even say because I was like my god that's crazy I've seen some expensive pearl necklaces at Basel World in Munich you know and I can't believe people pay it they're like just to, you know this is wholesale these are wholesale prices so forgive me for not bringing you the Nan Hong that I want to bring to you I've got one opportunity to give you every pearl we have in the building literally every every Tahitian we've got yeah and uh, we've got some what sizes we got Ross largest Go on. is 10 by 12 mil. Yeah, I thought I saw a 14 mil teardrop. Or maybe it was the fastest. I don't know. I thought genuinely there were some scary sizes. Yeah. Um, They're absolutely monstrous. And I'm just going to say to yes. all of you. Yeah, 14 mil, right? The faceted one, 11 and a half to 14 mil. That's a joke. There that, it is. You like, can show that, Adam. Like this oh is, my goodness. This is unreal. Multicolors. And the... the, the and there's faceted. Two, yeah, well, that, that's, a unique, that's a unique piece. Okay, one, like we've got one auction of those. And just so you know, there's only ever been 20 produced in the world yeah. before this moment. Two of them in, in the West. We're about, well, how many have we got? 70 or something? Yeah, 72. That's unbelievable. I, I'm telling you now, name your price. Like, if you were at the Robert One auction, that's gone. Yeah. And it's the here. It's gone. here right yeah. now. And we don't, I don't even physically have it. You know, um, L can't even show it you right no. now. But I can show it you from every angle, I can show you this, but I'm just saying, this is how reactive we are. Mm. We're not corporate, we're not like regimented and said, no, right, no. well the plan is the plan. It's like, no, like when something as big as this happens, which yeah. by the way, there's nothing ever that has been as big as this in my time in the industry, ever. Mm. Where like, I've sold 10 mil strands mm. next door for like under a thousand pounds before, Yeah. right? Routinely. And they're selling for 50 grand wholesale. <sighs> Crazy. So, yeah, the long and short of it is we're not bringing you Asian pearls ever Because there's no way around it. Not just budget. We can't, uh, we like, physically I'm, can't I'm, get them. I'm not one of the biggest buyers of Asian pearls in the world. No. Sid is. Yeah. And he cannot buy them. He can't buy them, yeah. Exactly. So, we are bringing you a very different show, but we're bringing you an opportunity right now. Probably the ultimate opportunity. Wow. Probably the biggest show in jewellery makers history for what we're about to do. Wow. And so, I, the opportunity to make with a Tahitian pearl is coming to an end. Yeah, this is in this show. And so, oh my goodness. In the I show, genuinely. Get my phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. just, I just, look, yesterday, I mean, this is how, like, you know, we talk about being industry leading experts or whatever. Anything that I learn, I always share with everyone. Yeah, of right? course. So, like, I found this out this week. Yeah. And I'm in today, and uh, Ross and the team were excited about the Nanhong, as am I. But this just takes precedent. Yeah, I agree. This is a moment. Right I agree. Now. 
So I'm going to give you a 30 second clock if that's okay. Yes, let's. And we're going to start bringing you the last. There's nothing with quantity, guys. There's nothing with the 100 quantity, is the Ross? Okay. Well, uh, uh, thank God we don't broadcast in China right now. That's the reality. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. They'd yes. be gone. Yeah, they'd be gone in a heartbeat. And you said the that's, colors by the way, that's, of I've been to Hong Kong so many times. We, like I said, we buy our pearls like that. Yeah. No one's ever, I mean, like, every gem show I've ever been to, no one shuts up shop within an hour. No. And says everything's gone. It's, it, look, this, this is your opportunity. And right these now. gem fairs, they do like 90, 95% of, of their, their revenue. annual business in yeah. that one of show, course, yeah. don't they? Right, this one, if you want it, it's yours. That's too low. Like, in the current market, that's too low. I know it sounds insane because it's not what we're used to, no. but things do change. Yeah, of course and, they and, do. And they changed for, there was once upon a time, and this is bigger than what I'm going to tell you about, but once upon a time, a tourmaline turned up in 1991 in Arizona from Brazil. And everyone said, $250 a carat. This is 1991. They said, for a tourmaline, no way. No one's paying that. On the Sunday, that was on the Friday, on the Sunday, they were $5,000 a carat. Yeah. And today, those same tourmalines, and known as Paraba tourmalines, a sixty thousand dollars. Yes, account. exactly. Like, things do change, and these are now the most expensive pearls in the world. Well, I, I, I mean, I'd have an easier job getting you a natural pearl from the Gulf of Persia right now. Maybe not an easier job, but a more affordable opportunity for you. Yeah. Than, than what this material, and that's faceted. That's a, that's a joke on its own. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, Dave. Already these are getting snapped up and there is multi-buyers, which is absolutely okay, yeah, incredible. Let, let me just tr stress that. Do multi-buy. Yeah. Like, it, it's your only time to multi-buy. You want to make a pair of earrings, That's your, this is your only chance. You want faceted Tahitian pearl earrings, get them. And then you talk about multi-colours. Well, yeah, we know it as the black pearl. And that's amazing. You want to talk about like quad A though. Mm. You want to talk about aubergine colours, peacock colours. You know, those wonderful neon greens, mm. mirror-like finish. I mean, the, the, a pearl is primarily valued for the depth of its nacre. Yeah. The nacre is what gives you the orient, okay? Yeah. There's nothing with more nacre than a faceted pearl because you're faceting away the nacre. It has to have such thick yeah. nacre. It's yeah. not like some tiny skin no, over a nucleus. You have to have an exaggeration of yeah, nacre. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, which there's no way getting around. You need the finest pearls to do that. Yes. With, 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 yeah, absolutely. So it doesn't chip or pitch in any way, shape, yeah. or form. My goodness me, Dave. I mean, I, I was just trying to think then whilst you, whilst you were talking. I was like, I don't think I've ever heard you say, no, we just can't buy it anymore. There's no, no, so not we even we can't. I said, can't. I, I would want to be really, like I was, yes, we even were not, with we're an not buying it. Budget. We're not buying it. We're not buying Tahitian pearls. Like I said, we're already looking at yeah. because we know it's going to have a huge effect on all pearls. We're already trying to place orders now for yeah. dyed peacock pearls because they'll yeah. go through the roof too. Of course they so will. So we're like, okay, everyone's not fascinated, but effect. there's no point even worrying about Tahitians yeah. because we can't buy them. So it's like, right, let's go and find now an opportunity. Like what else? What, is there any of the black pearls out there? No. no. Okay. There are peacock pearls, very high grade peacock pearls. They are dyed, but mm. we, we're placing orders on them now because they're about to get hit hard. So Do you think these will have the same impact on things like your purple pearls as yeah, well? Yeah, of course they will, but I mean, this is, this is now like beyond our grasp. Beyond grasp, yeah. Sorry, I was just gonna say, would you recommend then like getting these if you can and holding on to yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Th that's my point. Even if, uh, as a designer, you know, you, yeah. might, you might not even be thinking about working with Tishan Pearls right now. You might have your mind on something else yeah. that you're creating, you're working on. You're buying now for the next 10 years. Right, mm. okay. Yeah, that's the reality. So get them So I'm like, if, even if you have never created with the Pearls before, if there's a chance that you would want to at some point, this is your moment. Yeah. Like, absolutely. this is your moment. And I'll have a 30 second clock if that's okay, please, Adam and, uh, and Ross. Shouldn't even touch this price. No. Like, and, and you, you know, I mean, the reality is I know I'm going to Hong Kong next year. It'd be better for me to just take, take these and flip take them. Take them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuinely, it would. That would, like, make sense. Yeah. But we, we're going to offer you this opportunity. Now, it is half drilled, everybody. So all you need is basically your 18 karat gold. I'm yeah, going to say yeah, 18 yeah, karat, yeah, sure. 18 platinum, whichever it is. Um, peg bale. If you're thinking, I haven't got one of those, get one at a later stage. Yeah. Uh, it's absolute perfection Ross, though, Dave, I'm just going to do something nuts, mate. Just take it to 500 pounds. It's a 14 what? and a half mil faceted top gem Tahitian pearl. Look at, I'm just looking at it behind you, Dave. That's it's absolutely stunning. incredible, isn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. I mean, it's an ombre of colours. Yeah, it's the Aurora Borealis at night, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so this, this news broke last month. 
Yeah. Right, September is when the Asia X World Expo is. It's amazing for the, 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 the region of French Polynesia. Mm -hmm. Like it's unbelievable. Like yeah. to, to, to be chosen as the, the gem in the yeah. world right now. Like, I mean, the, the, the Chinese have just come in and said, yeah, we, we're just going to buy every single pearl. So just keep producing them. They don't, they don't want to work with anyone else. They don't, I couldn't rock up there and go, hey guys, you got any, no chance. No. Like, and, and that's the point that Sid was making. Sid's a pearl expert. I'm mm. not, he is, right? And he's like, they're going over there and they're buying blind. So they're paying like huge sums for low grade pearls, well, which means that like, why would they ever want to sell any pearl to us again? When you've got people coming over just going, uh, literally untold wealth and all they want are these t-shirts and you know i guess it's been coming because there isn't another pole like it mm. there isn't a freshwater equivalent no, it's true. you know with with even with south sea you can find freshwater naturally colored white pearls and golden pearls mm. right you can mm. there, there's not another black pearl in the world no and then this is as good as it gets um how many did we have we had 72 72 how many do we have remaining 20 have already gone okay 30 second clock again please good luck everyone wild. good luck everybody plus you've got your split payments the moment is now then the moment is yeah. now absolutely incredible opportunity it's, oh, do you know what there is something so hypnotic about oh my the god Look, i mean pearl. i love uh, also as well i love the honeycomb yeah uh, uh, fast thing that's been applied to this you know the symmetry the way the light bounces off it but like i said that mirror like yeah, finish it's, it's all 100 percent natural absolutely stunning good luck everyone your only chance your own it's the only faceted pearl we have in the building by the way teaching. yeah uh, half the price for us and we're still not done and then adam when the price comes in we'll give everyone another 30 seconds as well it's happening you, you're going to get this pearl today you're going to get it at an affordable price but we absolutely shouldn't we well it speaks shouldn't. volumes the only faceted tahitian pearl that we have in the building yep. is Everything on our screens sold right now. we're going to start the clock we're going to go again i wish you the best of luck i really yeah. do Two four nine. That's so. We just can't take our pearls for granted anymore, can we? No. You know, we we, we think, oh yeah, we'll get this for this much. And I know this from from doing um, actually speaking to our buying team and other endeavours that I do. That you can't. People have said to me, you can't have pearls because they've gone up so much that we can't afford to use those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We even um, price down. I hate it when I think I can't get hold of something. Yeah, because you want it more. Oh, it's human nature. It, it's human nature. But I, I, I don't want to think that I can't get that again so I think that if you can possibly stretch to it it's quite important to get these oh, 100%. because it couldn't be, be more important there's nothing else no. that is more important right now um, well done to everyone here take a hundred pounds off please Ross and I'm just gonna say I'm not done oh, so really? this is your opportunity the wait, wait, only wait, wait, faceted wait, wait. Tahitian in the building right now is within your grasp at 149 and we're not done so this is your one-time chance your one opportunity we only had 72 in the in the building like whether it's jewelry, whether it's loose, this is it. We've changed everything to bring you this opportunity today. Um, and I am not done. Uh, I'm gonna encourage everyone, I'm gonna tell you, I'm literally gonna tell you to multi-buy. Yeah. I'm telling you it's a must. You have to, we are gonna take this lower. We are gonna deliver the most exceptional deal on planet Earth right now on a T-shirt pearl, but you're gonna have to be so quick and we'll give you 30 seconds to take you there. Um, there are other opportunities available in this showcase. This is the largest pearl, isn't it? Yes, yes. The largest yeah, Tahitian in our building. It's a 14 and a half mil pearl. No reference of those at Hong Kong. They're like, you know, a, a nine to 10, this price. Yeah, you get to 11, it, it's this price. What about 14 and a half? Yeah. If you double it from 10 to 11, what on earth happens to the price if you go from 11 to 14? I know, yeah. yeah. If a one mil difference raises Thousands. the price by $50,000. It's unbelievable. What does, you know, three and a half mil do? Oh my goodness. So, and it's faceted. Yeah, I don't know how many we have left. I'm going to say not enough. I have said, and I will say, I make no apologies for this. You have to multi-buy. The only chance to acquire this is on your screen right now. And we're going to go to 99 pounds and 99 pence. <sighs> this is the show. This you is the show. You could literally put these in your suitcase, yeah. off your pop. Yeah. yeah, this is what they're doing. You could do that. You but do that's whatever not you want. Ethos, you do whatever you want right now, but this is ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Zero percent interest, free posture packaging all day. Which is crazy. This is the greatest deal in Jewelry oh, Makers history. It really is. And and it was not planned. It's 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 we heard the news, we're reacting to it, and we're delivering exceptional value. I'm telling you now, 
um, use the app, use the website, you mm. know, any way you can because you're going to join the queue. There's no two ways about it. You know, everyone has heard the same news that you've heard. Everyone is here for this unbelievable opportunity, and you've got it on split pay at thirty-three pounds and thirty-three pence. It's madness, pence. isn't it? That's insane. It is crazy what we're doing today. Absolute madness. There is exactly twenty left within I, the well, vault. Well, I don't even know how, and I'm happy at any point to close these auctions and keep the rest yeah. if there is twenty left. This is a forty. This is exceptional. This oh, is the best oh. in class. It's a giant. It's a teardrop of Tahiti. Yeah. It's this huge, faceted, clean, mirror-like surface, unbelievable gem quality yeah. Tahitian pearl. The most expensive pearl in the world. Yeah. And God knows how there is even 20 left. Maybe you're in a queue, maybe we're trying to get three calls. I don't uh, know what it we've is. We've got plenty of people there, yeah, don't worry. Um, they are absolutely flying. Um, it uh, is going to be an on-screen sellout, it's just who. That's yeah, the well, thing. I hope it's you. I hope it's you. Like yeah. when I said, when I rang up Wayne today, he's not even in the building today, I said, We've got to change everything. He's like, oh, don't say that to me. We've got the net. I said, trust me. Yeah. Go and get me every Tahitian pearl in the building. We're going to give everyone the most insane deal you're ever going to see. That's on your screen. It's a 14 and a half. Just to mention, my show yesterday, that obviously completely sold out. Yeah. Not a single, not a single pearl. Not surprised. Close to 14 and a half mil. I, I don't think I've seen a Tahitian at 14 and a half, 15 mil, yeah. ever. And to have the opportunity to acquire these and at this price is absolutely wild. Wow. Well, Dave, there's the quantity, seven. Yeah. Seven left within the vault, jewelry makers. There are so many multi-buy uh, buying. And you know what? If you're not multi-buying, you, you, you are literally going to regret it. Yeah. It's going to be something that haunts you. The fact that you once can say, oh, once upon a time I had a chance to get um, a faceted yeah. 15 mil Tahitian pearl. I could have actually multi-bought. How much was it, you know, in the days of Think the astronomical prices to come? And you go, oh, I think it was 33 pounds and 33 pounds. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's true. This is, this is really happening. Nowhere it's in true. the world is doing this right now. No, Nowhere it, in the world is doing this right well, now. Well, you'll be pleased to know people are doing exactly that. Yeah, there Threes are other businesses right now. Fives. There are other businesses in the world right now, right? Jewelry businesses that will have bought deals last year, especially for Black Friday, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course, which is coming up in November. I'm talking some of the biggest jewelry houses in the world, and they'll have placed huge orders, and they'll mm. have them ready for this big sale they're gonna do, mm. and on hearing this news, they'll cancel the sale. Yeah. They'll keep the pearls. They will, won't they? Of course, why would they sell them cheap? You know, They'd they go, right, we've placed this huge order, thank God, we've got these pearls. No way are we gonna do some big discount deal on no. the, the world's most valuable pearl. Yeah, no, But we're the opposite. We've heard it, and we've gone, right, get it, and give everyone that deal. There's two left, there were 72. Wow. 70 of you have got these. It's sold there are out. Two, ch okay, sold out. two chances remaining. Amazing, truly amazing. Oh. It gets better, Al. Like, don't worry, it gets better. So genuinely, you've got all of our Tishan pearls? Everything we've got in the building. I said, I don't care if there's one, 10, 80, yeah. whatever you've got, just give them to me and let's give everyone a crazy deal. Um, okay. Your next opportunity. Again, a colossal, now, incredible. Now this is the most limited, apparently. Yeah, but this is the best pearl I've ever seen in my life. You're going to see it. How many do we have, Ross? Ten. Oh, okay. Here it is. This is your opportunity right now. This is lovely. It's Pure. A, a, yeah. La not Peregrina a drop shape, isn't yeah. it? Unbelievable. Ooh. Let's get the graphics over. Not even a clock. There's only ten. There's only ten. Oh, it's greens. quad A grade. It's in, already the price is too low. It's a 12 mil drop. Yeah, lovely. The most crazy ombre colours. Mm. I mean, yeah, you look at the mirror beneath it. Like Amazing. it's the same texture, yeah, and that's literally a mirror finish. This ten, you know, we're going to look after you. Have you got it? Are you multi buying? Are you going to have the drop, beautiful, pure? Oh, they'd be incredible in earrings. Imagine. Yeah. Maybe you want to buy three. Yeah. Yeah. Have the pendant, pendant and the earrings, and, earrings. and it's a huge pearl. Remember, you know, 11, 12 mil pearls in a strand right now. Tahitians wholesale, hundred thousand dollars. That's <laughs> yeah. I say it's crazy, but it's not though, is it? It's the reality. Uh, well, how many pearls are in a strand? Uh, 25? Yeah. 30? Maybe. 30? Yeah. Got three grand a pearl. Oh, yeah. Wholesale. But already you're wholesale. that on your screen, yeah, your graphics. Yeah, exactly. And that's wholesale. Robert wow. Wan was, was keen to say that. He said, just remember, we're talking about the world of wholesale right now. You've got a 30 second clock. Should we do that? We've got time to do that? We had 10. Yes, let's do it. Have we got the time for the 30 second One of the most clock? beautiful pearls I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree. Yes, 30 seconds let's start on that clock And I'll give you the price, one price on this. 10 in the world. Good luck, everybody. Make sure you don't hesitate. 
Do not hesitate. I mean, this is an investment, really. I mean, it is. Not, we, you know, I can't say that it definitely is, but looking at it from personal perspective, we don't have to read between the lines, do we? You don't do. Yeah, you? And, and of course, I, 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 I don't want to give any investment advice, no. and, and neither do you. And no. you know, that's not our job. My job is to give you an incredible deal, but you've read the same information that I've read. Yeah, We've exactly. All been so educated. I want to hold on yeah, to it. For sure. Yeah. I can't believe that we're going to take anything off this, but we are. Do we have any left? Five left. There's five opportunities remaining. The most exquisite, incredible pearl in the world. Mm. The market has changed. We'll never get this again. We'll never get it again. So like, this is like a moment where all three of us are here when we had the last collection of Tahitian pearls. Yeah, mad, we'll remember it? it. We'll look back on it. Yeah, um, and this is a gigantic pearl. Like I said, these would be trading at like three thousand dollars a pearl wholesale, and with the unique, unique, like kind of miraculous shape that we have here, sensational. If I said, "Oh, we're going to fraction ten percent of this price," we go to like two hundred pounds, it'd be incredible, right? If we went one nine nine right yeah. now, they're yeah. gone. I'm going to go lower, so we're going to go lower than one nine nine. One nine nine. You know, when I say, "Oh, the price has gone," I'm saying I can't replace this pearl for the price on your screen now. Yeah. This one pearl. Cannot get it. So it's a, even if you were to stop here? Well, yeah. 149 is your deal. There's three left. Oof. Good luck. 149. You've got your interest free split payments. You've got your free PMP it's all day. Out. This is, I mean, what a, what, what a day. What a moment in history. Yeah, it really is. And I love that. I love the fact that we look, cherish this moment opportunity because it is something that we'll look back yeah. on. Maybe it is when you, I don't know, have it insured, have it valued, whatever it might be. I don't know. Or well, maybe when you create that kind of masterpiece. Yeah, indeed. Uh, no, there is a sold out okay, opportunity. We, it gets better though. Like I said, we've got some opportunities for you today. Nothing with huge quantities, but you're going to okay. have to be quick and reactive. The, the next piece that we're bringing you. There's 30 apparently. Check this out though. You've got to see this. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Legacy pill. Legacy pill. The That's perfect beautiful. pearl. Isn't it? That's the Look perfect Look at those. Pearl. It's flawless. Oh. Yeah. It's flawless. You've got like neon blues. Yeah. So Adam, Adam was in yesterday, uh, as you know, our yeah. director Adam. And um, you remember Adam, when I gave you that bag of pearls yesterday, I put them on uh, his desk. Okay. Because right? I literally went on the screen yesterday and I showed this pearl. Okay. I showed this exact pearl. We physically don't have it now, it's gone back to the warehouse. But I gave them to Adam and said, oh, can we make sure that it goes back to you know, where it needs to go? And Adam took care of it. Um, got this wonderful recording of it as well. And I'm telling you right now, the amount of messages I had, because the whole showcase yesterday sold out. People, you, and you guys will know, because if you tuned in yesterday on a birthday show in Gemporia, yeah. there's people messaging in, I had about, I don't know, 15, 20 messages, people saying, can I just buy that pearl? The pearl oh, that, that I'm one, offering yeah. you right now. And they got to see it in the studio. Mm. Right, 30 second clock, we'll I, get, I, I can this. get why, yeah, I it's understand perfection. why. And I showed this perfection. as the gold standard. Yeah. I was like, this is the, the unmounted pearl. You can see it all the way around. You can, the most valuable pearl in the world is you know, between my fingers right now. Mm. And everybody was like, let me buy it. Yeah. It's on your screen. You can do it now. You've got 18 seconds. Oh, my goodness. So if you're one of those Gemporia customers that was watching. This is the pearl. This is the pearl that, that I showed pearl. you around, that I introduced you to. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, these are the pearls that would be in your, you know, your Larit collections. You're one of yeah. the kinds, you know. The no, they're not. Like honestly, beyond that, like yeah. it, a Larit, oh, really? yeah, a Larit in reality is like a thousand pounds, fifteen hundred pounds. Really? And that's with the, the gold as well. That's like yeah, you know, we're great value. Couldn't put that in a Larit. Like the, the pearl alone, you know, it's a it's huge more than pearl. That. Yeah. Wow. It's an eleven by ten mil pearl. That's the ones that everyone was after. It's perfect. Yeah, I it's mean, perfect. It's, just it's perfection. Yeah. Perfection. And they, I mean, it, they, yeah. they close down an auction. That's unprecedented. Mm. Yeah, you know, literally at the World Asia World Expo in September, you have ninety thousand buyers there. And, and they one, just made that, a waste one person came in and said, "Take every single pearl, everyone you got." Thank you for coming. Yeah. Oh my goodness. How many do we have, Ross? Thirty, 30 available. Okay. Well, it's. Let's do something crazy then. We, you know, we've got a bit of quantity. We want to want to give you an incredible deal. Let's, straight away, let's go down to four nine nine. It's already crazy here, yeah, though, yeah, isn't it? it? Is, we know it that two thousand one hundred and twenty. Yeah, we didn't pay. We did broke. not pay twenty twenty three prices. No, 
and it is amazing how these moments can can send these ripples through the industry how it changes literally mm. overnight yeah three interest free split payments on the perfect call right now. it's flawless isn't it i mean look at how every single oh, moment of it the colors the shape the nature it's it's perfection you said okay. that perfect word 30 second clock 30 second clock will give you the deal good luck don't wait you know we're looking after you we're doing incredible deals just multi buy i've said it you have to multi buy today mm. it's your only opportunity to get your incredible t-shirt pearls I mean, to be able to actually make with something like this. Yeah. Um, what I, d I tend to do with things like this that I know I can't get again is I get them, and I did it with pearls early on in the jewelry maker days that we can't get mm -hmm. now. Um, and they're in my, my special pearl box, and I'll just keep them there, and I just wait for yeah. that perfect design. Yeah, when you have that uh, design inspiration, and you're like, Especially right, I've like got this. it. Especially like this, yeah. Okay, straight down to 149, and Ross, we're nowhere near them. Yeah, this is it, that it, gold standard, your words, gold yeah, standard it's the, it's, pearl. It's the best of the best. That's why I love what we do here when we take you right into the pearl. We're not putting yeah, any the, gold around it, no. any diamonds. We're saying, right, that's the pearl you're going to get. Look at all the colours. Look at that mirror-like finish. Look at that smooth, perfect symmetry. Can I just say, on that recording, you can see the little speck of dust. Yeah. Can't you? Oh, on, yeah. on the actual yeah. part, yeah. on the yeah. mirror. Mm -hmm. <laughs> itself <laughs> but you don't find anything any, any, blemish. any yeah. blemish on the pearl that's why you can see the dust because yeah. it's so perfect yeah. yeah it is okay then so this is going to be an unprecedented deal um i wish i wish we did have a hundred of these because the deal we're about to make happen um and i hope that you guys are successful we only had 30 of these available we're gonna do a 30 second clock and we're going a lot lower. Just so you know, half the stock has got... Okay, so 15 chances remaining. Yeah. We, you have we, to multi buy. Genuinely, you have to. Yeah. Then this is your chance. Goodness me, Dave. Mm -hmm. it's, it is sheer perfection. That's, I, I know that's a word that I keep repeating, but it is you have to. exactly yeah, I mean, that. Yeah. Just look at it. I mean, you don't yeah. even have to say anything. Just look at it. <laughs> and also, prior to this knowledge, mm -hmm. Dave, that you've brought to us yeah. today, yeah. the most current, up-to-date, this is what's happening, mm -hmm. news. That would be a fantastic price tag. Yeah. Even prior to that knowledge, that information. Uh, I said, I wish we had 100, because we're going to take this to 99.99. Oh. Double figures. Three interest-free split payments on uh, an 11 mil. Symmetrical, perfect, pure pearl. With the, the rainbow orient. It's a cracking deal. Oh it's, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. It's a cracking deal, even Good if luck. they were available, which we, we know is completely incredible. changed. incredible. Truly, truly incredible opportunity. Please, please, please do not wait, lovely jewellery makers. This is the moments now, as Dave was saying. I, I mean, I, I didn't know this information. I love no. that, you know, Gemporia is that reactive, right? We need to get this information out to our, uh, to our viewers. This is what's happened. In the same way that, you know, if something dramatically changed, I don't know, with diamonds or sapphires. Yeah. Or, this is what has happened right now. We have seven left. I love that. Yeah. And do you know no other jewellery establishment, and I can say this having worked in them, yeah. no other jewellery establishment will be privy to that knowledge. And truly, they wouldn't. Like I said, and not 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 anybody that I know. Hatton Garden, Bond Street, they don't have this information right now. But if they did have that information, they would be like they would change quadrupling. Yeah, on, exactly. And more the prices. They'll get there eventually. Uh, no, this sounds disrespectful, but they'll find out eventually. I'm sure hmm. when they realise. Okay, hang on a second. Tahitian pearls. They'll difficult. Be too They're very very expensive. Whereas. To, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Dave is hearing this directly from Sid, one of the most prolific pearl buyers in the world. That's fascinating, yeah. Dave. Yeah. It, We've got really three is. left. There's three chances. Uh, if I'm you at home, you take all three. They're yeah. as good as they get. We will never get these again. So your opportunity is right now. And, and I don't mind if any are left unsold. I said it to Ross. I said, we're going to do the best deals ever. Mm. We're going to give you the news. And whatever isn't sold, no problem. We'll take these. For good luck, you've had the, the, the first opportunity to acquire it. Now, how do we get better? How, how, how does it get better? Okay. I didn't just hear that today. Oh yeah. So you're getting a trio now, which is you know, amazing. You get the perfect Tahitian, you get the South Sea pair. Um, and this influencer, Nini, and this is something I didn't even tell anyone on Gemporia yesterday. I didn't tell anyone. So she did uh, this social media campaign. Mm. 
but she's just released this, which you can see on your screens right now. Seven okay. ways, because she's a pull aficionado, right? And yeah. you've seen the impact she's had on Tahitian. Look at what she's wearing. Uh. A South Sea pearl necklace. We're about, you are about to witness how viral this goes. What happens with South Sea now? You've already seen it with Tahitian. Mm. At this very moment, we are yet to see the impact that this image, which is already going viral on social media in, in China, okay. is going to have on Golden South Sea and your White South Sea. She did a whole blog post, essentially, six new ways to wear your incredible pearls. She did a focus on Tahitian. And now we are primed to offer you the ultimate collector's edition of pearls that, you know, in, in all actual fact, we probably won't be able to ever replace. And we're going to do a crazy deal. So we're going to give you 30 seconds. Now, I said I've been saying all showcase. Keep looking there because I can actually see Ross now. He's just behind the glass pane. Yeah. Um, I've said all showcase. We don't have one today. I wish we had 100. I've got 100. I've got 100 of the huge golden South Sea. I've got the white South Sea. And then we've got the enigmatic black pearl, the Tahitian. All the fact we've got all three. Yeah. This is it. This is your moment. As, as you know, jewellery designers. As collectors, you've got eight seconds, and I promise you now this is going to be the, the craziest deal of the entire show. So you already know you can do this. It's my final auction with you. Wow. The three okay. colors, the three pearls, the pearls that are getting more traction in the industry right now than any other piece of jewelry, any other gemstone. Mm. And I've got a hundred. And we always say the bigger the quantity, the bigger the deal. Yep. These are three massive pearls massive but also i always think though i mean it's difficult to decide between these locations yeah. isn't it do i prefer the golden do yeah, i prefer yeah. you don't, do i prefer the t-shirt yeah and you I'm don't just, need to make that decision yeah, and as a designer as, as i'm talking to you right now as jewelry designers imagine working with all three in one yes. piece yes you know oh. like a cascade of colors yes, just please. a simple <laughs> drop pendant or the elegant uh ostentatious beautiful drop earring oh, yeah. framing yeah. the face and, and you know i don't know this might be a little bit high jewelry but to change the orientation on each so that maybe the yeah. one here the, the the black pearl is at the top and using the same colors but maybe here the, the black pearls in the middle yeah, yeah. and it has that asymmetrical nice. feel to it that aesthetic the reason i'm saying that is you're gonna have to multi-buy we're gonna do the wildest deal what should be the most it? expensive auction of of today is going to be affordable but you are seriously gonna have to be quick and to show you how crazy I'm, I'm talking I'll have a 30 second clock to, to begin this there's a hundred they're available now they're selling out now and I'm going to say make sure you're part of this historic moment make sure you secure your place in history make sure you are acquiring at least one yeah. trilogy of the ultra unobtainable perfect pearls yeah they but really the are the reality is get two get three I know that sounds way over the top but I'm telling you right now this all of these pearls, the three pearls that are put together here are about to go stratospheric. The Titian already has. That's so, all I've already told you I cannot buy no more Titian. Well, it's £800 each. Yeah. Right now, if you were to stay here. Yeah. Which is great. Uh huh. How about if we said uh, £100 each? 299 straight away. Not amazing. even done. Nowhere near That's them. That's amazing. Nowhere even near them. I've told you multi buy. A hundred pounds for a Tahitian pearl or a South Sea pearl. Yeah, or, or a golden uh, South Sea. Yeah, which normally is more expensive. Nowhere near them. And I'm just, I want to keep telling you that. I want to keep reminding you this is the last auction with you. We have absolutely right. torn up the script. We said, okay, Nan Hong, great, but I've got to, we've got to yep. offer you this opportunity because I know everyone's aware of it already uh, on Gemporia. What they don't know is Nini has just posted, she did all the social media uh, uh, pictures of the Tahitians and they've just gone nuts and buying up 10 years supply. She just posted this huge article about you know, how to wear pearls and the, the feature image is that wonderful actress Nini who's just had the biggest box office success in Chinese history, wearing a strand of golden South Sea pearls. Incredible. This is giving you the opportunity right now to get what will become the most elusive pearls in the Western world. I hope you're there. There is a hundred. We're gonna give you another 30 second clock. We're nowhere near done. I always like to say I like to go out with a bang. This is gonna prove that. We had a hundred. We don't have a hundred anymore. Truly, truly, truly incredible. And genuinely, I don't know anywhere else in the world that would hear information like that.
and say, okay, well, let's do the opposite. Let's drop that price. Let's get this out to our collectors. Yeah. You know, that's what's important. That's the whole ethos, the, you know, the, the bloodline of this wonderful establishment is, you know, it is about getting the rarity. Right to everyone on the bottom of the screens, I've got a hundred, the final Gosh, hundred, yes, the hot hundred. Um, what about if we did it for 50 pound a pill? 149, <laughs> 149. <laughs> and I'm just going to stress, I'm not done. What? Yeah, we're not done. This wait, is going to be wait, the wait. biggest auction we have ever done. 50 pound a pearl? Right now, yeah. And we're going lower then? Way lower. Way, Way lower. lower. Way lower. I'm, I, there's a reason <laughs> I said, and usually we should look at this and go, oh, this is not for me. It's three pearls. I can't afford them. I said at the start of this auction, you have to multiply. I didn't say, you know, maybe you can. I said, you have to. Because what we have in store for you, what we are going to do mm. right now is going to be the greatest deal in jewelry makers history 100 percent. it already is at this point yeah 50 pound of pearl for the titians which are you know trading at four figures just for that size <laughs> yeah. just that pearl and that perfect yeah and then we know we already know we've seen it we know what's going to happen to these two mm. yeah you know what's going to happen to these two and right now it's affordable right now you're multi-buying right now the phone lines are stacked and i said we had 100 i've been saying it all showcase very limited i said just get me every pearl and i'm telling you we, we have the hundred which means we can do the crazy deal that I've been wanting to do. And you're going to benefit. Well, good so luck. If this is for grandchildren, if this is mm. for nephews yeah. or nieces, if it's for anyone, if mm. it's for posterity, if it's for you know, future generations, if it's for you, if it's to create jewelry, if it's to sell jewelry, this is your, your opportunity right now. I'll have the 30 second clock if that's okay. And we're going to go one final deal, one final time. And we may be saying goodbye to the South Sea pearls as well. We've already said goodbye to the Tahitian. You get the trilogy, you get the trio, you get the three exceptional, naturally colored legacy pearls in this one foul swoop. I hope you're there, eight to nine oh, mil, monstrous me. sizes, perfect that we can see all the way around. Your There's three interest-free split payments as well. Yeah, what an achievement. Mm. Good luck, everybody. This will be the best deal we've ever done. In light of this, colossal changes in the market mm. which they say harks back to the golden era in the pearl industry in the mm. early 1990s your deal right now for the the trio 99.99 oh. for every single one of those and i said multi i said get two get three at this rate get five you get your interest free split payments as well which is what 33 pound 33 yeah which is the price of each pearl that's crazy there you go that's your opportunity right now take advantage be first be fast don't be last because you're going to miss out and we cannot replace these pearls we can never do it so this is it giving you everything we've got giving you the best deal finally had one auction with quantity everything has sold out do you know do you know something's just dawned on me dave you said 10 years 10 mm -hmm. years right that's it want the supply yeah that's like putting a you know like certain daytoners right i want to buy yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um or rolexes you know i want that one yeah and i don't want to have to wait the 10 years yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay as long as you pay like three times the price yeah, that's tag it, for sure that's what most luxury jewelry brands would or, or jewelry well, it's actually, it's brands actually like do. going into what watch did you say Rolex. Daytona. So, uh, yeah daytona yeah, okay it's like going into rolex in switzerland and say I want every Daytona you ever produce. Yeah. From now on. Not just I want and that one. And they're physically made. Every single yeah. one. Yeah. That's the reality. There's none for anyone else. No. No one can get these. Yeah. That is what's happening in this space for these legacy pearls. It's crazy, isn't it? We have it? 100. Do not think you've missed out because you haven't. This isn't no. a 10 points to auction or a 50. Okay, oh. there's 16 left, sorry. Yeah. There's still 16 chances, though. There are still mm -hmm. 16 chances. It's amazing because it really puts it into perspective. This breaks down to 33 pounds, 33 pence on interest free split payments. That's three split payments. There's three pearls. Yep. You're paying 33 pounds and 33 pence That's crazy. for a nine mil Tahitian, That's amazing. for a nine mil golden South Sea, yeah. for a nine mil uh, white South Sea. It's unbelievable. The ivory color. Absolutely. There's, there's 12 um, left. Yeah. We had 100, not anymore, never again. We're never going to bring you deals out, never going to bring you, you know, um, quantities, prices like mm. this on these pearls. You know, and, and who knows the effect that it'll have on even freshwater pearls, which yeah. are traditionally yeah, more true. affordable. Like it's going to have, they talk about a ripple effect. Yeah. It will have a ripple effect yeah. that cascades across the industry. Because everyone that could buy T-shirts has to buy something else. Yes. Everyone that could buy gold in the mm. South Sea has to buy something else. And you have this demand for even the freshwaters. They're going to go up. Of course. But this might be the last, last legacy deal on any pearls. Yeah. Mm. True. 
Amazing. I think that's pretty much sold out. There's just what I think one left. Dave, thank wow. you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, apologies, Dave. Uh, no problem. <laughs> apologies for the uh, the the Nan Hong. Okay, we will obviously do that. We'll reschedule it. Uh, I know there is an amazing masterclass to follow this, which you're not going to want to miss. Um, it's been always a pleasure to be with you guys and with you guys at home in the new studio in our new yes. temporary home, yeah. isn't it? Not yeah. temporary. Is it permanent? permanent. Oh, yeah. Amazing. So yeah. the new it's not finished permanent. yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No we problem. We kind of just uh, a lick of paint. And we we're, need. We need with fancy panelling. Yeah. We've got. We've got. Yeah. Monitors and things like that. So not no finished problem. yet. But Dave, amazing. as always, it's a such a pleasure. So thank you. Thank you to you guys as well. We'll see you very, very soon. I'm sure. Oh, isn't he wonderful? Bringing us the most amazing. current, on-trend, new, uh, uh, you know, essential news within the market. Now, um, we have Deb's amazing Lucite flower kits coming up just after the break. And of course, we have got your absolutely amazing Britain's Next Gem contestants joining us in the studio as well. Massive heartfelt congratulations to every single one of you that managed to get hold of those pearl opportunities. Make sure you get those home. Um, and, and, and yeah, congratulations. So don't go anywhere. Debs is coming back after this. <laughs> makers head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever we have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off so head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our bling it back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear by popular demand. Introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favorite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker, and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's gonna be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine, and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola, if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help.
never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back everybody. I don't know where this morning has gone. Quickest show in the history. I generally think so. Oh, I need to lie down. I know. It's so exciting. Bless Those pearls are incredible. Unbelievable. And it's always nice to have Dave here in the studio, yeah. isn't it, as well? Now, your masterclass, we're going to get pretty much straight into it because we also want to get your um, Britain's Next Gem contestants um, back into the studio as well. Now, the graphics are live. I'm gonna just going to say it as it is, as I always do. I saw the price of these Debs last night. I don't know how much they are. Generally. Honestly, right? Okay, let's do a live reaction cam, shall we? Oh, no, okay. Let's do it. Yeah, is this right, Roscoe? Yeah. The whole pot. For 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 it all. Why am I whispering like you can't hear me? <laughs> <laughs> the whole pot. Yes, for all of it. Oh, That's gorgeous. because I remember us first launching Lucite flowers, and they basically go. They were in little like bags, weren't they? they? And you've got. A, can I show the jewellery? Yeah, please. I was about to say, should we bring it? Pass. Have you got your mic on? Is my mic not on? I don't know. We'll have a little look. Well, I tell you what. Whilst you're having it, checking on that. And the earrings at the end. Let's bring these over. Oops. Um, should be on. Gorgeous Dan. Yeah. Can you pass those earrings as well? Thank you. Lovely, 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 lovely. Now. So uh, I think I recall when we first had Lucite flowers, it was a while ago, a good while ago, but weren't they in like bags like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought so. This, you have layers. I did an unboxing video because I got so excited <laughs> unboxing it. <laughs> I need to get out more, don't I? <laughs> no, do we? Oh, my goodness. Oh, you get absolutely tons of each colour. No, 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 that's not finished. Let not me finished. get all the, per the middle. Look at all that. And I've got another layer here. You get it in three colourways of two, three colours in each. So you've got the purple, the green and the blue. And then you've got the baby pink and the white. Yeah. And then you've got the reds. Oh. Hang on, I'm mix. You've got no. You haven't got. I'm missing. I'm missing a layer. I'm missing a Hold layer. Hold on, I'll get it. You get it. <sighs> Hold that thought. <laughs> I'm under the desk. <laughs> right, it's all good. It's like a. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Here's one of them. There made, you go. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So you've got kind of more like reddish like colours. The as red well. is the necklace that. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Sorry, it's too exciting for words. Tilt that forward. Oh. In fact, we could do it on the overhead. So it we? can be. Hey. <laughs> we just throw around the studio. That's there you the go. This is the thing you get that many. Oh my what goodness me. Right. Um, we have. Oh, and there's different flowers. Yeah, within. different flowers. So you've got. Do you know what you've got as well? Petals or leaves, which. I always use my flowers and then I used to kind of make leaves, mm -hmm. but you've got your leaves in all the colours. So you've got this gorgeous pastel colours. Shall we show these? Quite bridal as well, don't you think? The other colour? Definitely. Well, I've used the, 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 this tray because they're bright, so you can see them put better, I think. So can you see you've got these flowers? Like stargazer lily-like yeah, like yeah. shape. They're the ones I've used in my necklace. And then you've got your more calla lily shape. That's what I used in the bracelet demo this morning. Beautiful. Yeah, like a little tulip -y. You can get things in there, beads and things. Yeah, then you've got these lovely petals. Yep, or leaves. Oh. They could be leaves, couldn't they? Or shells, yeah, absolutely. Leaf shells, yeah, absolutely. Look how beautiful they are. 
Then you've got some more. Do you know what I should do? Let's put a little selection of them in front of us here, shall we? Um, the graphics are live. Use this time to secure yours because there's a real difference. There is. There's what? One, in two, two, three. Yeah, in sizes two. Yeah, amazing. And then you have got your fluted ones and then you have also got your petals. Can you see that there? Yeah? If I just lift that up for a little Sorry. bit. There you go. Look at the selection that you're getting. Oh my goodness me. Now, and um, you get that uh, across three different colorways. Yes, yeah. Amazing. So again, to recap, you have this lovely kind of bluey, greeny purple. I love that. Then you've got your powder pinks, the baby pinks behind. Right. And then you've yeah. got more your, um, a different shade of pink. Uh, sorry, then you get the reds. Yes, you get the reds. So you've basically got something, I think that the baby pinks is quite bridal if you're making flower yeah. jewellery or tiaras. Some people have that kind of fairy, um, yeah. whimsical feel about the wedding. So they, there's quite a whimsy, I think, about that. But then you've got, well, I just went with autumnal because this is my time of year and I just thought, you know, let's go autumnal, let's go seasonal. It could be your Christmas, mate. You could even make a Christmas wreath out of these. Yeah, absolutely. I want you to do that. But then I thought, I'm not on hobby maker, I'm on jewelry maker. I won't do that. <laughs> so I made a necklace instead, but um, my daughter actually went, oh, so that meant that I must have done something right because she just goes, oh, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> oh, normally, yeah. yeah. She's no, very that... used to me making loads of different types of jewellery, but it's a bit of me, these lucite flowers. And I know like, I'm a silversmith, and, but, you know, I'm not above lucite flowers. I love them. Oh, they're absolutely amazing. Just the sheer quantity that you're getting here. It's an entire stack. So much so I can't get them back together. If um, you have a look at the bracelet as well in the earrings, that's you can amazing. see how if you're not a big fan of having lots of lucite together, how you can just add one into something. And, yeah. Um, and then you've got this subtle flower and you don't even necessarily know that it's lucite. So if you um, saw the Capriccio bracelet that I made, this is exactly the same base. It's just a five bead netting. And then I have just put in between the netting, instead of like I did before I used four mil beads, flowers. Wow. Just um, an organic kind of um, flower garden. So quite corsage. Ish. That's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Well, everybody, we have got quantity of them. We're at twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence for the the tower. Effectively, there's over two hundred of these, and that is reflected in the price tag. So um, make sure you're checking out. Well, what are you going to demo? Because all of these pieces are absolutely fantastic. I will give you the red loose sites back, so I don't steal them. <laughs> Um, amazing. You know, <laughs> yeah, I bet. Right, I'm going to demo the necklace because everybody on social media was like, please demo the necklace. So I'm going to be um, as quick as I can. It's crocheted. It's easy. Really? Yeah, it's crocheted. And then the flowers are tied on. That's, that's all it is. Right, so what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you with different beads and different threads so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay? Mm -hmm. And all it is, if you do crochet, it's a chain stitch. So what you need is a crochet hook. Uh, don't use your very smooth yarn ones if you are a crocheter because it slips on the monofilament. So I used monofilament for the necklace that would be invisible. This is actually cord just so that for camera purposes you can see what I'm doing. Now you need to start off with a slip knot. And how I do a slip knot is I make a, a circle. I bring the cord behind it so that you've made sort of a peace sign and then you just grab that cord from the middle while you're holding on to the end and it makes a slip knot okay i'm not going to stay on that for long because you can go on to youtube and just put slip knot and the slip knot is so that you can actually move this knot up and down now please don't make that too tight because you need to get your hook through it now what you would have done before this and this is a time consuming part really is just string all of your beads mm. onto your monofilament in the case of the display necklace so with the monofilament that is the most time consuming but get one of the wide needles the wide eyed needles and just pop I didn't pop the flowers on I just popped get your beads soup uh, in the colors of your flowers that you want to make shove all your those beads in that you haven't used for other projects and you're going to pop them all so sit there watch the telly or whatever you like to do and just pop them all on until you've got them all it's better to have more than less so what it is is a chain stitch and crochet is just really about how you hold. You need some tension here on your actual um, whatever you're using and you'll get used to it as you go. And all a chain stitch is, is you yarn over your hook, catch it with the hook and then you just pull it through 
the yarn on your hook. So I'm going to do that again just to show you without beads, yarn over and pull through. And we're going to then drop our beads down. So drop your bead down, that's all it is, and you're going to chain stitch and you've actually got your bead there already so then the bead is actually caught right there in the chain stitch and you just continue doing that until you've got all of your beads on in a big long string and I'm gonna say it because everyone else has said it here's one I made earlier yeah. <laughs> Woo! Uh, look how organized you all are today so I just look, you can see I've got some of the glass beads, I've got some of the pearl beads from the kits this morning, I've got sea beads, I've got random bicones, I've just shoved them all on there. And once you get to your length, mm. you then want to either measure it so that you can go into um, four or three or whatever, I'm going to have to lift it off the mat, so that you've got sort of however many strands as you want. Is that monofilament that you use? It's monofilament, yeah. yeah. If you wanted to show, you could use, you could use um, cord, you could yeah. use um, tiger tail or do it. Yeah. Um, and so then I just want to show you how I attached the flowers. Once you have got your ends into sort of say five or four strands, you'll know, you're the jury maker, you're just going to attach them all together with a wrapped loop. So you just catch the ends onto all of the ends, onto your wrap loop, or maybe you're going to use an eye pin and just attach those on. So there's your anchor point, and you're gonna do the same on the other side so that these are all bunched together and aren't gonna move. And then all I did to attach my flowers, so let's take, actually I'll take a pink and you can see what I'm doing. You need a flower and then you need something that you're gonna use for the center of the flower. So I did this separately. You just want to cut some monofilament and now you're gonna see how invisible it is. It looks like I'm just kind of miming. <laughs> and you want to <laughs> pop on your flower. Tell me if I get my head in shot because my eyesight's rubbish. No, you're good. So there, I've got, it looks like it's floating on thin air. And then I'm going to pop on my central bead. So this is in, essentially your stopper bead. And then I'm going to take the end back down my flower, but not my stopper bead because he's going to stop everything from coming apart so that what I'm left with is the yeah. center of my flower let's move that out of the way so you can see and literally all I did was tie an overhand knot a few times on the back if you are worried about the security of your piece you can put a little dab of glue on there mm. you know if you're making to sell I'd probably suggest that you did that and then this is the great thing I put this on the bust so that I can see exactly how it hangs because when you're looking at something on the mat it looks completely different to when it's hanging so you might get all your flowers positioned and then when you put it on the bust it hangs differently you think I don't want it there so put it on your bust and then all you're going to do is tie these on so find a place an anchor point exactly where you want that flower to sit pop it through and I'm just going to do exactly the same again I'm going to tie an overhand knot three times bob a bit of glue on there and trim off the ends so that then you can just position these little flowers wherever you want them to be. Now, I've had to hurry up on this demo just because we're in the new studio. We've got lots going on today, um, but that's all there is to it. If you need any more help or advice, come and find me, JM Guest Designer, um, on my Facebook page, and I'll go through anything else with you. JM Guest Designer, Debbie, Debbie Kershaw. Kershaw um, on Facebook. I'll just ask me any questions if you need to, but it's literally crochet like, you know when Katie did the sea foam necklace? Yeah. It's just that, and okay. then tying the flowers on. So I know it looks like a statement difficult piece of jewelry, but it's not. Oh, you're fabulous. <laughs> well done. Now, okay, wonderful jewelry makers. We've got Britain's Next Gen contestants waiting in the wings. Uh, first, we're gonna show off your creations, your wonderful pieces. So, um, oh yes, of course it's oh, Wednesday. Yeah. You might not know this. So, what we're going to do, we've got Charlie and Isabel back in the studio. So, you're going to pick the winner out of the tombola, and then 
We'll get uh, James and Nikki can do the runner-up afterwards as well. Brilliant. So fantastic. Fab. Plus, obviously, you can show us our wonderful creations in a f your wonderful creations in a few moments' time. Okay, your fabulous designs, and it is Wednesday, of course. In all the excitement, the draw, it's the Wall of Fame. And um, we're not going to bother with the actual sting. We're just going to get get down. Go for um, it. So number eight hundred and forty-two is from Melanie. Hello to you, Melanie. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Melanie says hello, everybody. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame: a wire bracelet made with silver-plated wire and eight millimeter angel light, all from jewelry maker. Beautiful. I love the colours on the of, on this bead. Yeah, I do as well. Stunning angel light. Stunning. Line. Number eight four three is from Millie B. Hello to you, Millie B. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. You, um, Millie B says, morning, beautiful jewelry maker. Um, here's my wall of fame. I'm in love with this. Um, never thought I would own um, all down to jewelry maker. Well, yeah, you should stunning. deserve to deserve. It's absolutely gorgeous, Millie B. Well done. Um, 844 is from Christine. Hello to you, Christine. Oh, that's very pretty. Christine says, Dear Jewel Maker team, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. A bugle bead necklace, which is inspired by Monica's demo a few weeks ago. Stunning. The other necklace is Kumihima with nuggets in Moonstone and Carnelian. Good luck to all in the draw and thank you for all the deals and advice. You're very welcome, Christine. That's absolutely fabulous. Number 845 is from Anita. Hello to you, Anita. Oh, amazing amazing oh i recognize that design <laughs> very detailed um and anita says yes uh, hi everybody at joy maker i made this after watching debbie kershaw's demo that's me that's you <laughs> i couldn't wait uh, for the kit so i use six millimeter barrel oh, three millimeter beautiful. moonstone four millimeter faceted blue aragonite um blue chip drops and sea beads all from joy maker good luck everybody Stunning. amazing amazing 846 is from molly hello to you molly oh, oh very pretty molly. Um, the 10 millimeter freshwater pearl and Laramar chips are perfect partners as always but the size of our Laramar nugget is the star the necklace is fastened with a magnetic clasp all items from jewelry maker and I must repeat yet again the quality of the gems is first class thanks jewelry maker always at the top of your game the very best wishes to all oh bless you Molly that's very nice, isn't very it? Very nice. Uh, number um, eight four seven is from Teresa. Hello, to you, Teresa. Oh, yeah, that's joyful. Um, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. I've made two bracelets and a pair of earrings uh, with the rainbow beads using macrame, demonstrated by the lovely Mark. Threads, beads, and findings all from Jewelry Maker. Thank you for all the inspiration. Amazing. Number eight four eight is from Angela. Beautiful Angela. Stunning. Angela's saying hi all this week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a flower design pendant and bracelet with size 11 and 15 C beads and gold plated findings. Everything from Jewelry Maker as always. Love to all. Love to you as well. Yeah. Um, 849 is from Katura. Good morning. Lovely oh sorry, name. good afternoon. This is a pretty name, isn't mm. it? Uh, good morning all at Jewelry Maker. This is my entry to this week uh, of Wall of Fame, sorry. Black tourmaline tumble bracelet with sparkling sterling silver beads. Absolutely stunning, I think. Um, all items from Jewelry Maker hoping for a win. Well, fingers crossed for you fingers then, crossed. Katura. You've got to be lucky for Katura. Um, 850 is from Julie. Hello, Julie. Oh, oh very beautiful. Lovely. Uh, hi all, uh, this week my entry uh, for the Wall of Fame is a Labradorite and Sterling Silver bracelet which I have made for my growing Christmas gift stash, well done you Julie. Everything is from Jewelry Maker as always, good luck to everybody entering in the draw. Good luck to you. Last but by no means least is for, uh, Katie, your 851 Katie. Um, hi everybody, my entry this week is an 18 inch necklace, it's made using fancy jasper and silver hematite. Um, it also has Sterling Silver clasp and fine hope you like it we absolutely love it now welcoming back our two <laughs> beautiful ladies we have Charlie and Isabel how are you doing good you got this you absolutely smashed it you earlier it. on yeah. Now, it's lovely to have you back in the studio. So, do we want to do the winners first and then show? Yes. I want to Go turn on. it. <laughs> yeah, it's very, yes. very She's satisfying. turning on. I'll turn you're, the you're, Turn and dip. Yeah. There you go. go Perfect. So, the winner of this week's Wall of Fame. Amazing. Oh, oh, and then Isabel. I said that and then I couldn't open it. Yeah. Good luck, everyone. So, the winner receiving £100. 801. Oh, oh. Ooh. Tracy Austin, congratulations. congratulations. So you don't need to do anything. Literally £100 being credited to your jewelry maker account. Now the runner up 
will be in about 10 15 minutes time so just hold that thought um um so what have you been up to wow yeah show You've us your designs fun. now isabel <laughs> you chose the black opal i did choose the black opal um and i've put it in a oval shape on some point four uh, silver plated copper wire mm -hmm. and made it into a little pendant and given it a little bail to go on the top um, and then I couldn't find any colours that called to me um, until my friend here told me you can see reds in there so I went with the lovely pinks lovely. and made a really simple um, necklace on this is Fireline uh, six pound fire line wow well it's absolutely beautiful i love the contrast between yeah. them and like you said there charlie it's going to really draw mm. out um the reds that yeah. naturally uh, are displayed the within your own oh yeah, yeah we were lovely. we were saying as we were doing them they're really flashing it's, it's, so. it's, it's a challenge for us mm. and something that you'll become all too familiar yeah. about as well is that when we're bringing mm opal to wear you can't it doesn't it doesn't quite translate through the cameras um so yeah to actually for you to say that as well that working with oh, it yeah. the quality mm. is amazing yeah, isn't it lovely, um, and what about you charlie i went with simple just because the opals are so lovely so you've got some yellows and greens and then you've got the reds and the pinks and it they're just very easy to work with yeah so all on sterling silver um and just another little opal stacking ring to go with the previous work um, and they're they're just everyday wear aren't they they're beautiful yeah. I mean, you say it like and they oh, just yeah. pop. <laughs> i just made this I just, you know it's easy but that is beautiful you can see that in the jewelers can yeah you? oh 100 yeah. percent yeah. absolutely yeah. this is high-end jewelry like and and, and you said simple that but actually some of the most luxury jewelry houses it is simple yes, yes. That's yes. what isn't yes. it definitely it is simple techniques yeah. did i hear you just say opal's your favorite yeah they are is it there yeah you go. they are i've got a soft spot for opal yeah, yeah it is a it fascinating a gemstone yeah, it is. amazing yeah, well yeah. i mean uh, what, yeah, no. Are we doing the opal strand now? Yeah, okay, so here we go. These are, um, plus don't forget October 20, so you get an additional 20% off. And we're gonna drop straight down to that price tag. So this is the strand that you, you worked with, yep. um, and then Charlie, so the golden Ethiopian opal just there. It's all natural. This fascinating gemstone forms, um, obviously through silica effectively, that had over millions of years, and yet it was still only discovered in the mid 1990s. I find that absolutely amazing. Yeah, that is um, look at that that's what we're talking about that's what you see you see the wonderful flashes of reds yeah. greens all down to the positioning of those silica spheres I can't quite oh 49.99 I do generally remember a time when strands like this yeah. would have been 149 pounds Easy. I mean, how long, ladies, have you uh, have you both been shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker? Can you uh, nine, remember? Nine years. Yeah. Nine years. Yeah. yeah, me too. My engagement ring is a black opal from Jamporia. Is it? I forgot to put it on. So oh. yeah, they, yeah, they are they are wonderful, wonderful. The quality, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. They pop. They They're so like sweeties. Yeah. They certainly yeah. do. I know it's absolutely incredible. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. And you've got the honeycombs, which is uh, honey colours, which are incredibly rare. Um, amazing, amazing. Nine years. See, this is what I think. And I bumped into a couple of our jewelry maker customers yesterday. Like I said, when I popped into town, you know, and they have been with us pretty much for the duration. You know, it's lovely that our yeah. customer base, you know, do stay with us. And you know, and. You know, we do feel like even if we haven't actually physically met in person, it's one big family, it's a big, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I just felt like, oh, there she is when I saw her. <laughs> and I, I had a Kodak moment earlier where I just looked at you and thought, I got to keep this in my memory because. I watch this on the telly every day. Oh, <laughs> and now bless here you. I am for real. It's well, I have to say though, you know, genuinely, you have made it look so simple. So simple, because you said early on, it's very difficult to actually demonstrate. It's very isn't difficult. It's one thing to make really. beautiful jewellery. It's yeah. nothing to stay in shots. Someone's talking in your ear. You've got so much time. You know, it's a skill. And I think all four of you were amazing. Unbelievable. Mm. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely unbelievable. I mean, to be able to make jewellery, I'm in awe of that. Truly, truly, I am. And you've done. You've just taken it in your stride, ladies. You've been absolutely incre you. incredible. We've got some messages actually for <laughs> you. So, oh goodness me, I'll have to turn this direction. I can't read it from there. So, um, loved the show today. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you for picking my wall of fame number ah. much love as always and that's from tracy in merseyside well done, tracy. there Good. you go it's a hundred pounds everybody
party. Everybody's happy, look. And by the way, we've done Wall of Fame literally since day one here at Jewelry Maker, which is amazing. I've, I've won three times this yeah. year. <laughs> have you? Yeah. 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 I tell you what, you're on a winning streak. I hope so. You're on a winning streak. Amazing. Oh. Um, Karen in which it's saying, brilliant demo. At last, I had something beautiful to make with my mono monofilament stash. Have you got a lot of monofilament then? I've got tons of the stuff, have you? Yeah. yeah. You know, from back in the yeah. day, when you used to get it in every kit. Every single kit. So I thought, I've mm. definitely, I know what I've got. <laughs> crochet. You yeah. just crochet, 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 crochet. Just like we did with the chips once upon a time, didn't we? To make oh. Katie did the seafoam necklace. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I love crochet. I'm crocheting a tool holder that's Frida Kahlo at the moment. So I thought, let's put two loves oh, together. Oh, wow. I love it's awesome, crochet. doesn't Get it? Get to the bottom and I start with a ch 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 Can I also make a suggestion? I mean, it's not jewellery making, but monofilament is great for hanging up your cards at Christmas. Oh, perfect. And your, on your <laughs> Christmas tree, you know, <laughs> and you don't want to see yeah. the string. Yeah, because yeah. it's not an eyesore, is That's it? Great. Just disappear. Right. Yeah. Um, come here for all your top tips. Um, <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Ladies, you've been absolutely fantastic. And Thank I know you. we have got the other two contestants. They're coming in at the same time or doing it doing it doing it separately mm. um wow okay um what should be the lasting uh, last question until next time of course <laughs> Let me think. Have you enjoyed yourself? That's oh, the most definitely. Important. The best. Yeah. And make some friends, which the is best. lovely. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll be yeah. friends we forever. We will. We oh, will. Where she yeah. been all my life? <laughs> She's been so great. She has been lovely. Do you know what? You're lovely. like Yvonne and Natalie because they've got this bond they as have. well, haven't yeah, they? they have. This wonderful, wonderful mm. bond. Well, we've loved meeting you Good. as well. And I Thank hope, I think, I think when we first um, met, in the canteen. In the loo. In, oh, in the in loo. The loo yeah. <laughs> oh, the glamour. Oh, the glamour. Yeah, we were, uh, um, <laughs> we were saying it is one big family here. Yeah, and it's obviously lovely. that's not just yeah. In, yeah, in, you know, in, in, the, mm. in the studio really? here, it is extended. And Angela, we think you're mm. truly awesome, ladies. You. So Thank congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. We'll keep everything crossed for you okay. both. Let's give them a round of applause. Natalie and Isabel, give us a nice bit beautiful jewellery as well. Okay. Good luck, ladies. Good luck. Thanks. Thank Good you. luck. Right. Now, we do have the other opal as well, so let's bring that live. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, I know, amazing. I always say that our viewers are so talented. So talented. I mean, you can tell by the wall of fame and the people who show me on social media things that they've made, and I think, blows my mind yeah just incredible and those demos you honestly, and I are going to be out of a job soon it's it's not easy to stand here and do it. and i know people think oh you made a mistake oh, uh. but to stand in this space and with all the things you have to think about and not move your hands the normal way not move your head stay in shot mm. someone's telling you you've got this long it's a skill and to, to do that standard the first time that you've ever de demoed from all four of those people i used to train people to demo when i was at a different channel and i tell you what this four are cracking they really no, are. I haven't seen any of the others I know we've had another heat and I'm sure they were amazing as well I just didn't see it but being in the studio spot on thumbs up <laughs> massive thumbs up um, okay so we put the black if you prefer the black Ethiopian opal and um, we're gonna do another amazing mega deal Ooh. oh wouldn't it be wonderful are these kind of prices seriously if you have to make the decision then fair enough Oof. but if you if you don't <laughs> then just go for it what does that say what I think it says? I can't quite. 19.99 for black amazing. Ethiopian Absolutely opal. Beautiful. Okay, and look, you can get natural black Ethiopian opal. It's astonishingly expensive. In the same way, you can get natural diamonds. Astonishingly expensive. Yeah. Smoking is almost uh, uh, um, replicating Mother Nature's techniques, mm. and so it's deeply intensifying um, the colours and it enhances our ability to see those beautiful uh, spectrums of colour. Nineteen ninety nine with your free postage and packaging as well. So use your code Studio P and P to capitalize <laughs> on that as well um, lovely jewelry makers awesome 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 we I hope we've got quantity um, at 19.99 now I think we are about ready to actually welcome our second lot of fabulous contestants uh, back into the studio um, it's James and Nikki Yay! hello welcome hello. back have you enjoyed yourselves we oh, have, yeah. so much so much <laughs> Brilliant. 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 Now, I don't know if you know this, but I'll tell you, you're 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 gonna do the tombola <laughs> and draw. <laughs> I know, I know. This is the thing. We have peaked. Love that. Just because of the tombola. Yeah. Pinnacle of my life. 
we've already got some slower prices and now we're gonna hopefully wow. make some happier. I know, look, absolutely. <laughs> so um, the runner up, do you wanna, does one of you wanna give it a whiz and one of you give it a draw, whichever way you wanna figure this out. James, you give it a whiz. <laughs> give it a whiz. There is something <laughs> very satisfying. There is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There right, is go I'll, for it, I'll Nikki. Have a little fumble. Hang on. So, <laughs> the runner up, the runner up receiving £50 is. Drum roll. Drum roll. 830. 830. Ooh. Sue Gauntlet. Sue Gauntlet, you are the runner up. Well done, Louise. Amazing. You don't need to do anything. 50 smackers being added to your, <laughs> uh, your, your, your uh, jewelry maker account. Amazing, truly amazing. Now, um, do you both want to show us what you've made? <laughs> now, who wants to go first? I went first last time, so I'll go first this time. Go for it, James. So which strand did you choose out of uh, the opals? I, well, I got the darker opals. Okay. Um, that's on our screens right now, actually, at £20, yeah. pounds, which is crazy. James, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing, but go on, talk uh, us so through it. So literally, I just didn't know what I was going to do. Ooh. I've just got some strands of uh, my silver wire. Yeah. Um, threaded them up and moved them all about and see where they went with, with it. I um, love it. Put a, put a nice shape together, how it flowed, and then sort of incorporate the opals to sort of follow the piece, flow with it. Yeah. James, it's beautiful. I love the organic sort it. of shapes of yeah, that. I love it. Amazing, isn't it? And I, I can imagine that, you know, just around your neck and just with you know, it would draw your eye, just yeah. straight. And of course, all that sterling silver as well. You know, that's a it's big... really beautiful. You know, it's certainly, you, when you think about opal that in a, in a pendant, it's normally maybe one stone and then a simple bale. And yeah. it's, you know, yeah, but that is like a wow work of art piece of jewelry. I love it. I absolutely love it, and I don't think I've seen anything quite like that. It's almost you mentioned water earlier on. It absolutely. has that kind of nod yeah, towards um, the movement of water, which is of course how it forms. Um, amazing. And then Nikki, what about yourself? So I went with the lighter opal, and it was mind blowingly good. It yeah. was gorgeous. Um, and I did two. I did this one here because. I know opal is thought of as the eye stone. I know like in ancient times, they actually used to use it to potentially heal eye infections. So I did like an eye sort of weave oh, with lovely. it. Um, and I know of course opals are sort of associated with light and truth as well. So I put the three little ones on the bottom. So we've got past, present and future. I kind of like that Very idea. nice. I like the fact that you're putting your metaphysical knowledge Always. into this as well. Amazing. And then this one here again, going with the light idea, I wanted to do like a sun around yeah. this one. Because oh, this is a gorgeous that. sort of honey, sort of golden opal. So we've got just that sun just there. And look at that. I know, <laughs> flashes of green. Stone. And you've got to Gorgeous. remember that's under floodlights I know. here yeah. in the studio. So for an opal to actually have that level of performance is absolutely Incredible. unbelievable, isn't it? Um, have you enjoyed yourselves though? So much. It's been a very good so experience. Much. We've oh, had such a good you. time and we've all got on so well. Oh, you, I, and I will say the same to you that we said earlier on. You guys genuinely have been absolutely incredible because yeah. it's a very, 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 very strange. Mm scenario to find yourself in it's very alien and you're nervous and you know you've got to use your hands but your hands shake i remember my my hands shaking so just stop it my head was shaking yeah. <laughs> but my head wasn't in shot so that didn't matter like yeah. anything to keep your hands still and i was watching you guys and you were just so there cool. and, yeah, and calm you can't see what our legs are doing oh you like that <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, you've been absolutely amazing. I'll tell you one question I haven't asked you all. What's your favourite gemstones? Oh, I've got easy. Um, mine is Aqua Calcifedony. Wow. It just reminds me of the sea. It's yeah. beautiful. Wow. Closest thing to sea glass, I think. Oh, yeah. Is Aqua yeah. James, what's your favourite? I'm torn. Lab torn. Labradite and Opal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. So that's worked out well. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. The actual Got to work with both, so it's yeah, yeah, playing true. into my hands. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like we heard it, heard the memo. Um, amazing. Yeah. And I guess it always changes, doesn't it? Your, your favourite gemstones. It. You can't Mine pick does. Them. You can't pick in your favourite child. Which is easy for me because I've only got one. <laughs> yeah, there we go, there you go. Um, yeah, mine always changes. Does yours always change? Yeah, mine changes. No, not favourite child, <laughs> favourite gems. <laughs> wow. I walked into that one, didn't I? Favourite child. I walked into that one. 
Amazing. And then do you know what, you know, obviously what happens from here? Because I don't envy whoever has to cast <laughs> no. this vote. I generally don't, because no. you've all truly been absolutely amazing. So um, do we know what happens from here or? I think we just got to wait for the email and fingers crossed and yeah. hope we uh, make it. it but if we don't, we've made some friends, That's we've it. got an experience. Yes. Yeah, we'll all stay absolutely. in touch because we, we just get on so well. And we've been, because we all do such different types of jewellery, we've yeah. all been swapping ideas with each other and yeah. we're going to have a little meet up oh, how and show each that? other how to do different things. So. Oh, that's well, nice. it's, like I, it's like I said to Nick, if I had time, I'd have come down earlier and sat over and done a bit of wire wrap of it to teach us some of the, you know, yeah, This is my first wire tricks. wrapping. I don't wire wrap <laughs> really? usually. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? And James taught you that. No, no but I said if I had time, well. I would have helped. Oh, so. right, okay. <laughs> next okay. time. <laughs> next time. Next time, I'll be closer to this. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Well, it's, it, like I said, it's, it's, it's an experience. And you might have heard Scott earlier on this morning, our managing director, who I'm sure has probably chatted with you yeah. today. Um, and he said, obviously, with today's move back into this, very yeah. nostalgic for us. Yeah. This is where it all began for me and, yeah. uh, and Debbie. Yeah. Um, you know, um, then may, who knows what's going to happen? Extended hours, <laughs> um, Sunday sofas, workshops, oh, all of these <laughs> things. So, which is wonderful because then actually you do get to see people f and meet face to face, which I think yeah. is always absolutely, absolutely lovely. Um, okay, so Roscoe, we have some. A special, well, just a, just a well done. Just a well done <laughs> to oh. bring to... Yeah. Oh, I'll cry. Don't do things like this to me. Don't go. <laughs> oh, stay with us. Stay with us. Okay, so we've also got... Oh, these. Yeah, let's bring these to air. Okay. Oh, yeah, I use these yeah. in the bracelet. I've forgotten about these. Uh, <laughs> okay, which one do I start with? Mm. Pink. Mm. <laughs> You sound, you sound like my two-year-old. Uh. Uh. I was trying uh. to think of the word. It was pink. It wasn't pink, a difficult word. Pink, pink, pink. These are lovely. Should I just tip them out on the desk? So these kind of greeny, pinky ones are the ones that I used in the bracelet. And they actually, they tend to take on the colours of the beads that you're um, using it with. Yes. Can I see them? I can. I certainly can. There they are, actually. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. You get a real selection of these. Yeah, so they're kind do. of like faceted flowers. Different sizes as well, which I thought was useful. Yeah, loving that. Now, who was saying they wanted to have a go at seed beading? Me. Yes, James. <laughs> do you reckon the Lucite flowers would be a nice little introduction to? Oh, very much, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? They're really nice. He's just been saying how much he loves them, actually. I was, I was saying before that, because I saw the preview and I'm like, the, you know, they caught my eyes, the colours yeah. and the textures. Quite organic as well. Your star's quite organic, isn't it? Sorry, yeah. I just want to chat to these people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Let's absolutely. carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, they remind me of like Mark's, guest designer Mark's garden, which is always so abundant. Oh, yeah. yeah. Abundant. So you can put all these big blooms, little blooms with these lovely crystals as well. £11.99 wow. only. So you get a mixture of your sizes, six, eight and ten millimetres, 40 pieces. Um, ooh, sorry, um, with your silver <laughs> foil background as well, sorry. New desk. New, new desk with no brakes. Very slimy <laughs> wheels. So yeah, ooh. all of a sudden Debbie and I like face planting yeah. the floor. Um, amazing, right, next colour. What do you think, Deb? Blue, please. Blue. Blue, blue. I like the blue. They're pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? They are stunning. So they're very sort of, forget me not, if you're using it for bridal, it could be your something blue. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, you, you can sew these on as well, so that if you wanted to sew them onto bead embroidery, which we, there was a lovely bead embroidery piece this morning, wasn't there, with the shibori ribbon. Um, you could sew these uh, onto things like yes, that. Yes, Isabel's. Isabel's. Isabel's um, made You could shibori. sew onto something like that. So again, th these have got multi-uses, haven't they? Oh, definitely. You can be a seamstress, can't you? I could try. <laughs> what do you mean? You can't so. I'm a bit wrong. You can do anything. Well, no. I generally think you could. I, I haven't I have tried that properly. Faith. Thank you. I have that faith and confidence. <laughs> no, don't believe it. Won't hear it. <laughs> um, Eleven ninety nine only to get hold of this again. All those different selections of colours. These have got the foil back, so that means yeah. you're going to get those lovely. Yeah, those lovely sort of flashes. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. You get this. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, I know. And mix them all up together as well. So um, the last of your colours also Very is... Very festive, this one, isn't it? Very sort of this time of year. And a bit gothic, I think. Oh, yeah. I'm getting gothic vibes. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, edgy. Definitely. They are, they are a bit edgy. edgy. Dark and mysterious vibes. Perfect yeah, time of year. Absolutely. Yes. Mm. Would anybody describe themselves as, uh, as mysterious? 
Because we're having a slight. I'm not mysterious. I'm I'd love to be mysterious. Yeah, I'm too boring. I'm far too boring to, be, to describe myself as mysterious. My husband might describe me as mysterious. <laughs> 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 that best, yeah. But well, that's better than what my husband would probably describe me. Um, 11 99 again, you're getting a mixture of your colours from like almost papadacha to a beautiful red, and then you've got these wonderful. Um, sorry, dark, uh, dark colours as well. Um, I can do a quick recap as well, Debbie, on your lucite you flowers. This? Yes, because mine didn't have the red, which uh, so yours, you do get more, don't you? You get three tiers with the different colours in each tier, absolutely full to the brim. You know, they are going to keep you going. <laughs> I, I can't remember exactly the size or the gram weight, but I'm fairly sure they were in bags of about this yeah. when we first had the loose out flowers. Yeah. They were, weren't they? Were. they? Yeah. About 40 grams, I think. Mm. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I didn't think it was some, anything of this size. And then, do you know what? We took these too. 29 <laughs> The boxes Box. alone. Yeah, yes. Yes. I'm thinking, thinking they're great boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. A storage container on its own, yeah, I think, is fantastic because you can replace that also. Yeah. And they're boxes in their own right. So if you bought two, you just pile it on top of each other. You know, it's that kind of storage system. Oh, okay, yeah. So they've a bit like your um oh, what was the one? Deflectos. Oh yeah. Do you remember <laughs> them? Yeah. Do you remember yeah. those? Yeah. The deflecto trolley. Yeah. They're really cool, oh, yeah. actually. Yeah. They're really good. They, they would actually all stack up on top of one another. Um, that was, so I got one thinking, yeah, I'll organise my stash, and now it's just been raided by my children, and they use it as a bit of a toy up and down the, the hallway. Yeah, treasure box. Yeah, yeah. basically, yeah. Um, amazing. So how many have we got of these then, Ross? Okay, we've still got quantity, but... Yeah. Well over half the stock has gone. We had a, we had like two hundred and forty of these. So, oh, amazing. Um, yeah, they have absolutely flown. And I guess they would actually work with things like your your uh, coated quartz. They'd work with yeah. your. Yeah, I mean, I put them with pearls. acrylics. You can you can do, do, you yeah. know, put the, them with pearls. Put them with acrylics. Put them with you know if we we got the heshi beads. If you want to yeah. go really kind of young and vibrant, or you can go a little bit more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Put some quartz. Put some pearls. I like it. I like it, I like it. Who's your favourite designer? Mark Smith. Wow, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was that was quick. <laughs> I was talking jewellery designer, as in, not, oh, not ours, sorry. but <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> like, is it uh, Gucci or Tiffany? Do you take inspiration from any of those designers or do you just take it from, do you not care what the big designers do? Not for him. No, oh, good for I you. And I was hoping you were going to yeah. answer that way. Be I like Polly person. Wales. I do yeah. like Polly so Wales. So do I. Oh, I've not heard of it. Polly yeah. Wales. Yeah. Think what? She, is she called Polly Wales? Yeah. She, is, yeah. she does like, um, like the confetti it, jewelry. Isn't yeah, it? it's embedded ah. sand casting. So oh, she, I do know. She that. casts yes. in place. Yes, she? I know. Yeah. I do know. I love her stuff. Stunning stuff. Yeah. I know, amazing. And I like that. That's why I think what's fantastic about jewelry makers is you all are, I mean, I know obviously I'll wax lyrical about it and that's why they're doing this and they're doing this, but that's more really as a price reference from what gemstones they're actually working with. Yours are all one of a kind pieces, aren't they? Yeah, really. And you said yeah. this, James, yeah. earlier on. It gives it a personality as well. Yeah, 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 yeah very much. Nice. Absolutely. And yeah. do you all have a business? Because I know, Nikki, you said you all nodding profusely. <laughs> I try to. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> fantastic I mean love that and the fact that you've been with us for for a long time or long a shorter time. time did you say what four years uh yeah four yeah. years I mean it's still four years <laughs> yeah. still four years it's me like saying <laughs> Saying as if yeah, four years, that's four weeks. Four years. Four years. <laughs> like you can, you, you're mostly, if you were in university, you're almost a doctor, aren't you? <laughs> aren't yeah, you at four true, years? True. Almost a doctor. Yeah, four years, yeah. Um, I just, I can't tell you how well you've done today. Oh, They've done incredibly, haven't, haven't they? they? Yeah, absolutely incredibly. Just as my, oh no, are they back? Hello, gallery? Oh, there we are, sorry. <laughs> I disappeared for a Gone second. High. I thought I'd actually lost them. Um, I may... <laughs> It's right, they're just calling me needy. Oh, it's oh. fine. There's so something comforting about having them in your ear. Like, oh, when they go quiet, you it think. Is. It's generally anything. Now, that's why it's probably a little bit misjointed today, is because we've had new, um, yeah. It's 
<laughs> new cameras, no, no talk, things like I can't see names. Oh no. And it's just like that, mm. that makes a big difference, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, 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 because it brings our audience to us. Yes. yes, so it can be a quite, uh, a, a little bit strange, but we'll get there, we'll get it all sorted out. What, what are we all doing from here? Are you all staying and having a wild party <laughs> a while? <laughs> I, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I think you should. Yeah. 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 It's like an I idea. definitely yeah. think you should. Yeah. Um, because you all stay down last night. Yeah. 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 Oh, Adam's going to take you out. There you go. Amazing. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. First round on Adam. Great. So have you all got far to travel? About three hours. About an hour and a half for me. I'm not too bad. Okay, not too bad. Three hours. That's a bit more of a jaunt. Somerset. So okay. A couple of hours. A couple of hours. Mm. Liverpool, just down the road. Just down the road. I love that. <laughs> I'm two minutes away and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, sorry? Have you ever... Has anybody else won the Wall of Fame? No. No. Just Isabel. No, just Just Isabel. Isabel. Three times. I know. (laughs) One was Alison's birthday. Fixed. Oh, yeah. And two first prizes. Thank you very much. (laughs) Did I put... Yeah. Yeah. I must be (laughs) lucky for you then, Isabel. Must be. Amazing. So, do you all enter the Wall of Fame? Constantly. I'll try harder. <laughs> I will try harder and I'll talk to Carol as well to try harder with that too. We must, we must try harder. Um, have you got a favourite item that you've purchased from, um, from Jewellery Maker, be that tool or gemstone? Ooh, who wants to go first? I bought um, a heart, no, a flower die cutter. Ah, mm. the recent ones. Yeah, yeah they're That's awesome, beautiful. aren't they? Yeah. Didn't you have those at some point? No, I don't it think it was, was Claire. It was Claire, I think. Oh, was I it Claire? Claire. Yeah. Yeah. Claire. yeah. I did my first silversmithing course in the summer, so I'm going to practice on copper. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then when I get So the die cutter's your yeah. firm favourite yeah. at the Amazing. moment. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. What about you, Charlie? Uh, rose cuts, uh, opal slices. Oh. I like them. I'm a little bit addicted to them. I have too many of them. <laughs> wow, nice. Yeah, Rose cut opal slice. I still have some in my basket, actually. I so they're like the ones where the carrot weight's on the top, isn't it, as opposed to the bottom with the rose cut? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And it's just got a lovely. Uh, flash but with the angles yeah lovely. beautiful it is lovely I think but well, um didn't Jennifer Anderson have a rose cut diamond mm. yes. and it does make sense because the the carrot weights on top yeah you can it's kind of wasted underneath yeah. isn't yeah. it I suppose so yeah that's a good call Nikki mine is um the wave bangle dies and ring dies. Nice. Yeah. 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 I, I did clock those earlier. I wear on. them constantly. Yeah. So love it. Love it. Love it. I love it. Them. Again, love them. I've seen you with that tool. And James, what's your favourite? I've got to say it's labradite you sent me just because I love the stone so much. Yeah. And it was mm. such good quality as well. Yeah. There was no dull spots, it yeah. all had so much yeah. shine. Yeah, and, and genuinely it's once upon a time with labradite um, and with opals actually that we've all seen today, it's, it was a case of you have to catch the light properly to show the quality, yeah, but you don't need to worry about that. No. The, the, the quality is absolutely outstanding on our labradite right now. Um, okay, and also, what's your top tip? <laughs> now, do, what's your top tip to give to our audience? James, do you want so to start? So my top tip is, when you're beginning, don't be put off by what you do. Everyone has to start at the bottom and build the way up. Amazing. Do some work. Take a photo of it, look at the work you did down the line, and you'll realise how far you've come. Oh, that's, really that's, that's a lovely wow. tip. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. Lovely tip, because you do, we, uh, and we are quite critical of ourselves. I think it's quite yeah. Hum- yeah. It's human nature to do that. You yeah. criticise yeah. ourselves and be a bit tough on ourselves, um, too much so. And I think that's a great idea, just to give yourself a little pat on the back and how far you've actually come. Um, Isabel, what's yours? Um, mine is don't be daunted by your stash. Oh, True. Yeah. So if you've been buying and buying, should have that on a plaque, you know. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, go on YouTube and look at the guest designers' past yeah, videos yeah. because there's some brilliant ideas out there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Nonsense. YouTube's a wonderful thing, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. If not in the hands of a child, I was thinking. Kids watch some absolute nonsense on YouTube. <laughs> and Charlie, uh, be brave. Try something new. Yes. Don't hold yourself back thinking oh, I might not be able to do it. Yeah. Just give it a go. Yes. You know, you could be amazing. That yeah. could be your yeah. next forte, couldn't it? I think it could be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. did you start silversmithing then, Charlie? So. Yeah, I struggled with beading the thread. Just yeah makes me stress out um, and I do really like tools so it was just a natural progression but it's mostly from reading that I, I like remember you saying that it. to me when we first met I love a tool yeah love a tool amazing and Nikki do what you love 
you yeah. know, if, you, if you're enjoying it and you're putting your heart into it, it's going to be beautiful. Just, you know, it, it, I know people do it to make money, and, but I think all of us would agree, mm. if we didn't make money from it, we'd still be doing it's it. Yeah, of course, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yes. You'd we'll probably be gifting yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. You know, exactly. exactly. Give, it, give it your heart and it'll give you your love back. Well, they always say if you find something that you love, it's no longer a job, Absolutely. is it? It's uh, it, you know, it's a passion, and and I've always lived by that. Yeah, you agree. know, if we're lucky enough to do something that we all absolutely love, yeah. we're in a good place. Um, the team in the gallery are all saying how amazing you all mm. were today, and I yeah, um, been so you've all been so brilliant. Yeah. You have it's been such you. a lovely well, day. it's been such a pleasure. Hasn't it's been it? lovely. I've loved being. Can here. you not come every day? Is that all right? <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Can you come next Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> we quite like that. Yeah, we Debbie, when are you back? To Next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've turned my back I'm on you today. Oh, bless you. Um, you're fabulous as always. Thank you. As always. So you're you. back next Thursday. I love you. I'm back next Thursday. Yes. Is that with me? No, it's not with me. So I might have to just come and stalk you instead. <laughs> that's, that's fine. They're used to it. They're used to all the designers as well. I'm back with you bright and early in the morning as well. We've got lovely Azataza, um, which is going to be absolutely incredible, and also snowflake citrine with the fantastic Ooh. day can we all give everybody debbie and our amazing britain <laughs> next gem contestants a massive round of applause because you truly have been awesome <laughs>